Okay, here we are. All right. So, let's go into the options. We go sound. And I think the sound is too high, so we're going to turn that down to uh, probably here. Tell me if this is good. Yes, he had to go to the store. The store opened for him on at the time this released. Uh, he's going to be about another 10 minutes before he gets home. Or 20 minutes, I should say. Um, he, he didn't have any Baja Blast, and I told him I wasn't going to play with him if he didn't, so... Uh, he had to go get some Baja Blast. But he'll be, he'll be here, uh, soon enough. We're just going to go over some of the stuff. I'm going to play the first map, I think, because I'm going to, uh, unlock a, a trap that I, that I want to use. Um, without him, and then we'll, and then we'll jump in, uh, together. Uh, co-op there, once he's here. Uh, we are going to turn on closed captioning, but we are going to turn off the voice volume. Uh... I've heard everything they have to say a bajillion times. <laughs> uh, and let's see, everything else is going to be there. It, it's probably, uh, the sound is probably good. Scenario dialogue is fine. I really like the options menu. I just wish they would have, like, implemented this in, uh, Stadia earlier. <laughs> take, take a look at the graphics. We got full window. Um, we can go windowed if we do that. Let's see what happens here. Uh, nothing? Uh, okay. That's interesting. Uh, graphics quality high. We want that. I guess we'll, we'll just keep everything high for now, I guess. Or we could try, we could try ultra on everything. Let's do that. Can I go ultra? Ultra, here we go. We'll see what that looks like. Um. I found out with Steam Co-op full windowed works best appeared. Uh, you know what? That's, that's a good point. That's a good point. I don't know how it's going to handle uh, if it's uh, on the co-op thing. Yeah. Good point. Let's see. We can do... Now, this is cool. This is cool. Can we really do that? Oh, look at that. Okay. This is this is really good. A lot of games typically don't have something like this. Um, or if they do... Well, not a lot of games, but some games. And if they do, they only have it to where you can like choose one option or the other. Um, but being able to set all of this yourself, that is pretty sick. I got to admit uh, so, do we want to change any of this? Talk a large map? They have a large map. And, and the comm roster. Let's see if they change the, uh, the comms as well, because the comms were really underwhelming in, uh, in Stadia. So we'll check the comms. I didn't know they did a large map. That's really cool. Check that out, too. Okay, then we got reset scramble, save progress. I don't know what that does. Gameplay, right. So we do want to turn on... Show part-time, yes. Nearby health bars, no. Um, the drinking weapon switch we want. And where's the... Where is... Sprint toggle, sure. Where's the uh, grid thing? The grid pieces. Hmm. This should be here, right? Uh, have little grid squares on the on the ground. Ten viewers, that's crazy. Welcome, guys. We're gonna be starting the the uh, Doctor Boingo. Um, he had to get some Baja Blast, so he'll be with us twenty minutes, about twenty minutes from now. Uh, but I don't see in the options. I don't see the grid squares. Uh, unless it's in graphics, which it's not. Uh, I didn't miss it, did I? Yeah, huh. Um, I don't see it. Okay. Let's get into here. So we got our weekly challenges. You know, I was thinking that actually one of the best ways to grab skulls is to run through the weekly challenges. Because these are these are just easy enough, right? And they're going to give you all of the weapons and everything. Uh, as soon as I can, I'll, I'm going to unlock it. Um, now let's check our spell book. Oh, so we get the... Oh, that's interesting. We start with the Overlord staff. Uh, it looks like it's the same... It looks like it's the same weapon, but you start with it. And 20,000 damage. 
So, so it's the same weapon. You just, uh, it just has, it just has a different look, I guess. I'm assuming it does everything the same. And then I've got uh, Overlord Egan and Overlord Kelsey we can choose from here as well. Yeah, I thought it was actually going to be like, uh, because whenever you choose the skins, you have this like arrow down here. And I thought it was going to be that, but for the weapon, but I guess not. Uh, yeah, true, true. You don't have to like go back to the spell book on the main page to do it. Um, why don't why don't we run through through some of the weekly challenges instead, and then and then that way we can start the campaign fresh with uh, T. Wald when he gets here. Let's do that. And I think maybe this is an easy way to kind of rack up some early skulls if you're struggling, because these are the first like four or five are pretty easy. Now the question is, if we don't have anything unlocked, do we get to uh, use the stuff they give us, or do we have to unlock it first? That's the question. I don't know. I'm assuming they just give it to you. And not tied to the character. Hmm, yeah. Okay, so the menu looks the same. Everything about it looks the same. It just looks clean, man. Like, that's the thing about Stadia is if you didn't pay for Stadia Pro, you didn't get, uh... Or actually, we're gonna do butterflies only. Um, you didn't get, um... The 4K, like, resolution... And since I own the game on Stadia, but I didn't pay for Stadia Pro, I was not getting everything. Now, tell me if it looks crisp on you guys. I might I might have to turn it down a little bit. Ooh, yeah. Uh, the mouse. Yeah, this one's a pretty easy one. You just uh, keep the butterfly traps and put them around everywhere. And then just stand in the back and shoot stuff. Uh, it's a really easy way to get those goals. Um, I wouldn't really I wouldn't really care to use tar in this because if you, you know, confuse people with butterflies, then the tar is going to slow them down. But you want them to be able to walk back as far as possible. So, leaving the butterflies up. He looks distracted and keeps running. All right, that's good. We do want a couple of health pots here in the back with us, so that we, we can do that. But yeah, small bursts of shots are always good. There we go. Four gigs out of eight. Woo! <laughs> It's taking you a while to download. I mean, well, maybe. All right, more butterflies. Pretty good as far as YouTube streaming goes. Good. I restarted my router. I restarted my modem just in case uh, I was going to have any latency or issues with the network and in preparation for this, so. I don't have any uh, health pots in the back. That's a little bit unfortunate. And I hear something else out. <laughs> well, I am also really excited to see the, uh, the matchmaking co-op they have for this game. I'm really excited to see that. I'll be, once I, you know, once I get through the game, and I'm probably going to take my time uh, this time around uh, getting through the game. And once I, once I make it through, I'm definitely going to be doing lots and lots of co-op, I think, is um, that in the, uh, the Chaos Trial thing. I, I always forget what it's called. I'm going to call it Chaos Trials forever. You know, short bursts, uh, get the, uh, what did, somebody called it, um, oh, I forget, it's not, yeah, I forget what somebody called it, uh, not Bliss, but, uh, I don't remember, but, you know, get those sights back in order, uh, with short, uh, bursts of attacks, and be able to get all them headshots.
The headshot does a, a quick little uh, shock to them, shock to the system, so I guess it does help a little bit. All right, it's Archer here. It did not hit us. And we need a little bit of health. Oh, and we fell off, so let's die real quick. We're down to the PSN Castle pre order. Yes, for PlayStation, it had to do with the PlayStation Store. Um, they so they refunded you and they're gonna give you the skins the pre-order skins if you purchase it before release or uh, after release before August 9th I think all right cool we made that um, so all I gotta do is just uh, they refunded you the money all you gotta do is just rebuy the game and you will get the pre-order skins up until August 9th all right that was easy enough okay the next one we have is the color of money. Now, also, I will tell you that if you played on Stadia, there is a way, um, officially it works, I heard, to, uh, and I think there's the information's on Reddit, to move your saved game file over to Steam, so you could actually not have to play everything over again. But I want to play everything over again, so. All right, uh, what did we want to buy here? So the first thing I wanted to buy was, uh, well, I'll get Tar as I play, um, I think I wanted to do the Dwarven Warhammer. They don't have any new weapons, right? Other than the Alk, Alk Satchel and the Ring of Lightning. So I was going to try and use the Dwarven Warhammer for a while. And maybe even the Overlord Blade Staff as well. Because Dwarven Warhammer, um, Behemoth had mentioned, I was watching somebody stream and we were talking about this, that, oh, it's only reduced damage while spinning, so never mind. We thought the reduced damage would be a passive, but yeah, never mind. Um... I'll, I'll use the blade staff. I'll use the overload blade staff. Uh, so we're, we're going to keep that there. Uh, I'm not going to worry about upping that too much, but we are going to buy the only other trap that really matters, and that is... Where are you? Here you are. We're going to buy the boom barrel roller. Okay, let's look at the steam achievements here. What do we got? What do we got? So we've got complete the main campaign, acquire every item, get money, five skulls, rift lord, rift lord, Upgrades. Is any of this challenging? What's what is hard? What is hard? Uh, drastic steps. Rifflor DLC. Or uh, Rifflor difficulty. There. That's probably the biggest. Uh, two tears and scramble. The boom barrel is back. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, but they say it will be in PlayStation Store on the twenty sixth noon. Have they changed that? I thought the PlayStation and Xbox was two two hours ago. Or is, is it not in the PlayStation store right now? So they made an update that lets you download files. Yep. Um, let's see here. We got some scrambled. That might be tough. I what I saw from scrambled is that it's actually pretty easy. If you get uh, like a reduction of um cost of traps, then scramble becomes really easy, I think. Even without it, I don't know. It just it just looked I guess maybe the traps themselves make it easy. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, okay, okay, so here we go. Um, five, oh, five million to scramble. Never mind, that's possible. I thought it was going to be like five million score in a, in a game. I'm like, oh, that's a that's a challenge. Uh, okay, we got a uh, thousand coin and uh, complete all achievements. So, okay, so this is, this is all pretty doable. All of these, uh, all of this. All right, cool. So we've got our boom barrel roller. Now we're going to go through the color of money. Um... And we'll just do the we'll just do the weekly challenges until uh, Doc Boingo is, is here. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, in the disc, uh, in the link below this video is a Discord link, and that takes you to the robots uh, Discord page. I would just hop on there and ask them real quick, or check their feed. Uh, their Twitter has a lot of information as well. They did say for scramble, they could add more difficulty in the future, depending on yeah. Well, I think that they should have like uh, the at least the trap uh, discount not be so large. Because the trap discount just seems like it's a little bit over the top. So if they kind of like reduced the amount that the trap gives for a discount, um, I think that would make it better. Like like reduce it by 100 coin instead of reduce it by half kind of thing. I haven't checked so I can confirm. Okay. Yeah, it should be, as far as I know, uh, it should have came out uh, two hours prior to the Steam release. Steam had to get kicked back because of, uh, I don't know, <laughs> whatever reason I had to get kicked back for. Oh, well, that's interesting. I got to try something on this. Um, 10 points per left. Death. Oh, uh, yeah, I haven't seen that one yet. 
Well, the fact that you can... Uh, the fact that you can re-roll, I think, makes it, make, gives it a little bit of ease as well. Okay, so with this one, check this out. Watch the mana. It keeps ticking down. It didn't do that before. It ticks down for every time you uh, use the lightning staff. For whatever reason, I thought I just heard the, uh, the sound of uh, life, uh, life total going down. All right. I think this thing is maxed out. Okay, and they got a new stun animation, too. I've seen that before. Oh, whoops. I've seen that before, I thought. Um, so yeah, with this one, you definitely just want to stagger the, uh, stagger the enemies. Or, stagger the ballistas. And put them in the middle. How the new heroes? Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, his regeneration looks the same. I don't think they've changed Cygnus at all. Unless they've, um, fixed the, uh, the null problem that he had. Which, if they fix a null problem, then that's good, but... It looks like his regeneration is the same. Yeah, Lightning Staff did get a buff. Uh, how long is Endless? It's, uh, it's as long as you want it to be. I haven't played Endless yet on this. Um, I would imagine it runs a little bit smoother. Because it's not using Stadia to do the calculations. But it also probably depends on your PC. Are we supposed to get money from these guys? I could have sworn that they weren't supposed to drop any kind of currency. Okay, we'll do another blister there. Cool. And a little bit of tar here in the back to make sure. I don't remember if there's fast dudes. I think that's a different map or a different uh, weekly challenge. Yeah, the stun looks a bit smoother. That's good. This side's not quite as souped up, so I'm going to need to put uh, probably some ballista over over on this side. I'll read your message in a second. I just don't have this side uh, built up yet enough. Uh, let's build ballista there. Okay. And let's put... Oh. Wait, didn't Tar used to be 750? Yeah. It's not 500, right? Unless it's for this challenge, I don't remember it being uh, 750 like ever. So, I don't know. Uh, they did say in the past uh, they balanced three around the tier list made for two. Probably have some ready details for future two. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, you know, I mean, I don't, I'm not a developer or anything, and I know that it's hard to, to get things balanced, but uh, it looks like the, the change they made for the Lightning Staff is interesting. I don't know if it's a, a super buff or not yet, but the fact that um, it takes mana on different uh, tiers of charging does does make a little bit of sense, so that's nice. Okay, and then we're going to do that. PC, I played PS4, uh, is it 750? 70, yeah, yeah. I think it may just be the challenge, though. I don't, I don't remember the challenge too much. Um, I remember how to beat it, but I don't really remember like too many intricacies about it. Maybe people said this was a harder challenge and they and they did something with it. Uh, it's really not too bad. You gotta make sure you spread out your uh, ballista, because if your ballista kills something and they all target the same thing, then you're just wasting shots, and they're gonna go back on cooldown. So you definitely need to uh, kind of spread them out a little bit. All right, so we're gonna do um, another ballista up here, ballista back here. 
Uh, blister here. There we go. And we do have to still make the part-time, but I think we're probably okay with the part-time. Yeah, this is definitely an easy way to get skulls uh, if you're since you don't have a bunch of stuff unlocked um, before you play the actual campaign. Just because you have these challenges give you everything, no matter if you play them now or later, they're the same. They're the same thing. So, all right, Serana, you take care. I appreciate your work. And uh, hey, if you wanted to do any more work on the heroes, I saw you did the Cygnus thing uh, and the Warwick thing. Those look pretty cool. So if you wanted to do the rest of them. Um, I don't know how you did them, so feel free to. <laughs> ah, okay, they got armored ogres now. Let's see here. We may put an extra couple of things here. Get him a nice little stun. Good thing he got knocked down. What do you get up again? All right, cool. Yeah, I'll just go in and relink him if the link gets broken for him. Um, but that's all I changed on him. And I also added some uh, some new. Uh, uh, Time Lord went to the game files of the game of this game and he pulled out some of the uh, transparent images and so I had those on there. Okay. Easy peasy. I guess I forgot that there were sappers here. I don't know. Hmm. Get a couple more of those, and we should be good. Alright. A little bit happening here. Are any new orcs this, uh... I think they're all the same. I I haven't heard anything about new mobs yet. Um, you know, I'm a huge advocate for fire ogres. I hope they bring them back, and I'm sure they're thinking about bringing new orcs back. Um, and the order minions and the and ice minions as well, because they have so many ice traps. I think ice minions need to come back. Um, that way they have uh, enough, uh, you know, resistances and stuff. Uh, no, 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 no. We're not going to lose. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. <laughs> okay, he almost got through. Uh, let's see. This is the same code I use for my WoW RP characters. Sweet. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, hopefully they do. But as of right now, no. Other than the flyers, I guess they're technically new from the base game. Okay, I got some messages here. Is the T-Wall? It's T-Wall. What does it say? It did not install. Oh, I'm calling. It says 20 minutes. You got 20 minutes on the install? Can you hear me? Yeah, hold on. I just put on my headphones. Okay. I'm hoping not. Now, uh, I just upgraded my internet service. Ah, uh, okay, good. Now that I have a job again. Yeah, that's very clutch. <laughs> I was playing some of the uh, weeklies, uh, so I could just uh, pass a little bit of time and get a little bit of skulls. Anybody in the stream? I stream up or what? Uh, yeah, you got twelve years. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to open it up yet because I don't want to do got my download. It went from twenty minutes. Oh, minute. the stream, right, right. I got you. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll do I'll do extra extra crispy. This one's an easy one. Uh, I'll do this one and then hopefully hopefully T Wald, you're back minute. in for your end. Uh, uh, five minutes. Can you hear me? It it it's only gonna have five minutes left. Five minutes? I'll beat this in five minutes. All right, beat it in five minutes. You can't, but I, I definitely can. I've done it before. <laughs> okay, so there's oh, seven, yeah? seven fifty now, so I think they are just seven fifty. And let me know if T wall's too loud because I can turn them off. I mean down. <laughs> oh. Oh. Please. I love the look of the new tar. Let me tell you. Me too. I gotta tell you. He's gotta tell. He's gotta tell everybody. Hey, everybody's gotta tell everybody. Everybody's gonna tell everybody. All right, about cool. Baja Blast. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have your Baja Blast, I got mine. Like mine with me right now. Ooh. Yeah. I yep. Just, I, I got my Mountain Dew. Baja Blast Flash. Flash. I guess it's not really Baja Blast. 
Well, then it's not. Then it's not. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's Baja. It's got Baja. It's blasphemy. It. <laughs> it's Baja blasphemy. Yeah, this one. So when you use the right mouse button for the flame bracer, if you double stack it, uh, it'll it'll pretty much take care of uh, medium orcs. Although. I remember being able to do three of them in the mana pool, and it looks like I'm only two. So maybe they up the mana cost for the flame uh, for the flame wall, uh, which is fine. Just gotta refresh it. And then once you have two of them, you're fine. And then I think the tar here is fire. Okay, we get our cell. All right, let's go ahead and start. That way we can make par. And we're just gonna go down here and set up tar. Oops, scoop that one up. That's okay. We'll change that next wave. So we do get trolls. Uh, trolls are, uh, yeah, they're mowing outside. Uh, hopefully they don't come over here with a weed whacker because they'll get right next to the window. But uh, trolls are, you know, weak to fire, so uh, it's it's not too bad. Hopefully we don't. Yeah. Okay. Good. Let's say hopefully we don't have to jump off the edge and uh, and kill ourselves. Okay. I need you to actually move so I can grab this. Thank you. Okay. And there we go. Because uh, the rift on this challenge, you basically don't regenerate mana ever. Um, so you just have to get these mana pots as they come out. There we go. The gameplay is very smooth, I got to admit. And I love the look of the tar traps. You know, they're all nice and like uh, tar like. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Dude, you're kidding me. There's no way that's true. That's true, dude. There's no way. Swear to the holy. Lord of Mountain Dew himself. Shut the front door. I can't. It's already closed. Oh, my. Ooh. Open it. <laughs> Open it and close it. <laughs> A minute and 35 seconds. A minute and 35. Well, I've got about that time 35. to finish this. I didn't mean to pick that one up. That's okay, though. Bet. They definitely look more realistic. Yeah, they look crisper. Well, the thing is, is... uh. You know, you were limited in what you could do with the Stadia because of... All right, these guys are actually burning all the way, so I guess you don't need to double stack them. Maybe they upped the damage a little bit uh, and then made it cost a little bit more mana. Um, oops. I missed him. There we go. Okay. Snag this. Um, I think with Stadia, though, they, they definitely... Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe they maybe they did increase the graphics just overall before the the official release. Um, I'm not sure. But you're right. It does look cleaner. I thought it looked pretty nice on on people who had Stadia Plus though or Stadia Pro. I thought it looked pretty nice. Uh, what do we have on the left? Uh, is that an ogre or a troll? That's troll. Good. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Right, cool. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't uh, check her double jump. Oh, it's the same. It's still not good. I'm not going to say it's garbage. I'm sure there's a use for it somewhere, but it's still not good. It's just the slow floaty downy thingy. I saw Kelsey's new one, and Kelsey's new one's pretty dope. I, okay. I can see a use for it. All right, g'day. I might have enough for a right mouse button here. So I'll save the potions. Ah, uh, nope. Oops. So, uh... Alright, I, I see you. Well, look, it's almost done, alright? It's like less than a minute. Hey, uh, go ahead and like, go ahead and like, uh, uh, uh I don't know. Uh, just look around, look at the menu. Look at the options. Check your options out. Yeah, I am. I'm already in the gameplay section. Oh, okay. Good. First thing I record. I might have recruiters calling me today, but hopefully not. So my one guy, my one potential boss, I was streaming today, so hopefully not. Uh, okay, so we got 50 seconds left. I'm sure everything's going to come in uh, unless they made this challenge harder, which is also a possibility because they did. I think they reduced the tar in the in the last challenge. Uh, so if they increase the mana for the right mouse button for the flame bracer, then maybe they've also like moved the minions or, or increased minions so that way it's harder to get part-time if you build down here I don't know otherwise I would just build up by the other gate while it's open and the only one that's open okay need to take you out thank you and we need to do that
Easy. Oh, that was weird. Where's the sound? The sound cut off. That's pretty strange. <laughs> nope. Uh, okay. All right, T. Walt, you're in. Uh, no. no I am. Now you're Maybe. in. No. Okay. So, uh, when you get to when we play, you get to choose whether or not you want to be. Um, or here, let me let me invite you. I'll invite you. I can shift. All right, I just invited you. So much fire broke the sound. Yeah, maybe <laughs> fire overloaded the sound. Yeah, I might need to turn my music. Let's get yeah, music. I've got it at like twenty percent, and that's that's probably right for the stream. Am I supposed to write it? All right, you're in. Cool. So we're gonna go. Yep, we're gonna go to play, my boy. He says, Maximilian is gone. No one knows where he is. Uh, we can skip the cinematics. You guys can watch the cinematics on other people's stuff or, just, you know, play the game yourselves. Um, all right, so you, when you get to choose whether you want to be Egan or Kelsey, we can actually be the same person. Who, who do you want to be, Egan or Kelsey? Or are you watching the cinematic? I'm doing Egan. You're doing Egan? Okay. Um, all right, I'll do Kelsey. And what I'm going to do is use the... Oh, Paul, uh, Paulo, thanks for the sub. I know that's loud for everybody, but hey, listen. It's a sub. Hey, listen. Congratulations. Congratulations. It's a sub. You just walked into the Baja Blast Zone. <laughs> All right, look at this weapon. Here's the new weapon. Uh, we got the skins. Here, come look at me. Yeah, cool, cool. Hey, uh, really quick, uh, hit the letter B. For um for your stuff and then get rid of like your floor trap and then get the blade staff pull the blade staff that's a weapon uh, we just want to see it. you can put it back um just uh just grab that uh grab that blade that I have and uh, equip it real quick all right all right everybody go ahead and swing it this is what it looks like oh damn that's pretty so that's pretty dope. all right go ahead and right mouse button Hey, that's pretty dope. Okay, that's what it looks like. So if you have the pre-order or if you're on PlayStation and you order the game between now and August 9th, you'll get the sword uh, automatically unlocked. And even though there's two of them, I guess it's, um, it's not like a skin thing. It's just like another of the same sword, but with the with a different look. Okay, go ahead and uh, uh, switch back over if you want, or you can stick with the blade staff or whatever you want to do. Uh, you what? Uh, I'm ready when you are. Um, hey, real quick, go into your options. Go into escape options, and then go to uh, gameplay. Uh -huh. And then I want you to scroll down towards the bottom. It says show part-time. Go ahead and switch that to yes. All right. All right, and then uh, come over to me, and then we're going to go ahead and kill them. So whenever you're ready. Right. Uh, and then you press the letter G to get started. Now, one of the things cool about this uh, Steam release is that you can actually change all of the buttons to do whatever you want. Uh, go ahead and place traps. You got some traps on your inventory? Go ahead and place them. There you go. Damn. Okay, this boom barrel roller is pretty legit, dude. Because it can stack up at the beginning of a wave. Oh, man, that's so cool. Unlike an Unchained or, or maybe even three or, or two, I think, um, when you placed them. They uh, they wouldn't start dropping up until later on, uh, so that's pretty cool. I need some health. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get the well. I'm gonna get the health trinket actually, uh, later on, and it'll I'll have region on it, and I'll have health on these guys on this blade staff. You got floor spikes, right? You should place some floor spikes up here. What? You got floor spikes, right? No. Oh, that's right. You did you switch over to the blade? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got you. That's fine. Yeah, dude. Let's fucking kill him, dude. Absolute slaughter. Okay, I, I like the look of this blade staff way better. All right, even though it's the same trap, I'm gonna give it like a like an A plus tier. Oh, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna regen real quick. Oh, 
Opa, é, valeu. Valeu. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, quick, I'll be legless. Oh, you know what? I've never done this before, but if you, if you, you can do the right mouse button, press G as soon as you can, so we can make part time. Um, if you oh. knock him up with the blade staff with the right mouse oh, button, gosh. then you can shoot him with a range. That's pretty cool. I didn't even consider that. Okay, and it doesn't reload. Oh, it does reload. It, does, it skips the animation if you switch your weapon and come back to it. It skips the reload animation. Uh, just, I'm just. Oh yeah, you got the double. Oh right, right. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, here's Kelsey's new double jump. She can teleport, or you can stand still. So you were, used to be able to just stand still, but now you can actually move with the mouse button. You know, you, you, you totally could use it on I, I do like this new stun animation a lot because then you can tell. Well, I guess I was about to say you can tell it's still alive, but uh, yeah, she can fly. Isn't that cool? So she definitely. Uh, I know I've done a hero review before, and she definitely gets gets up there with Max and stuff. All right, just click. Uh, if you want to go to your spell book on the bottom right, you can do that to get new traps or unlock. All right, why does it keep asking upgrades? if you want spell book help every time? Bro. I have no idea. Built are annoying. Well, that's unfortunate. It says I've done zero damage out of the 20,000 for the blade staff. Huh. Well, I'm not going to use this as much as boom barrels. Um, okay, so I need to kill more enemies for that. Um, we get gravity pillar. The only thing some, else I'm looking for is tar and healing trinket. Um, let's see what else we can get. We could get the ring of storms. Should we do that? Trap reset. Let's go there. We'll do trap reset. Reduce cooldown. Uh, we can get ring of storms. We'll also use that once we get enough... Um, uh, trap slots. I've seen the Alka, the Alk bombs or whatever, the Alk fires, and they don't look the greatest. But, uh, the thing, so. Oh, yeah. Actually, we, I'd rather level up the trap reset first. Okay. Um. Oh, right. It's a cinematic, so it's probably turned it off. Say what? I got one of these things. Yes. And you can always, you can. Uh, swap out your blade staff for the floor spikes or anything else if you want. Uh, yes. Yes. All right. Uh, just press G whenever you're ready. Or I guess I was supposed to because you've already done it. I need 300 bucks. We shall be there soon. Oh, whoops. I fell off the edge. No. <laughs> Ripperoni. I need a blade. <laughs> oh, no. Easy slaughtering. All right, so the other, oh, the other gate opens right, and this gate also blade, stays bro. open. Okay, so so they do some, uh, some interesting uh, co-op stuff. You I wish these were blowing up. Do not. They blow up from here? Okay, they do. Let me let me come look at you. Oh, you are walking in place. Why are you walking in yeah, place? You didn't, you didn't notice that at all as you walk by me. Okay. Uh, can you jump? <laughs> can you move? <laughs> are you stuck? <laughs> You're not stuck, are you? I'm. Are you are you stuck? Do you want to be what stuck? Else can I say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, go ahead and die from orcs then. Let them attack you. Or you can just stay up there. I don't know. You know, you get that lane, I'll get this lane, I guess. Yeah, they're oh. coming from two lanes. Uh, they're coming. The horde is coming. 
The whole dishes are coming. Press G, press G. Make that part time. Hey, it's literally done. Though the trap reset trinket doesn't seem to reset the boom barrels because they didn't go back to the same. They didn't uh, start the triggering at the same time. New game, gonna get it soon. Do it, get it. It does look good. It is good. It's fun. We're just slaughtering orcs together. Uh, looks like you're having an easy time being stuck. <laughs> oh, you died. No, I got you. All right, easy. Oh, one of those. Orcs just died. Cool. Press G. Oops. Uh, I'm going to put it up one higher, but that's okay. See if that uh, blows up. Have you tried Poison Trap yet? No. Oh, yeah, that's the other one I'm going to get. So once I uh, once I get the... Uh, actually, that'll be the next thing I buy. Yeah, is I'll get the Acid one. And I'll, I'll use Acid Tar, Boom Barrels, um, Trap Reset, uh, the, the new Blade Staff, and the Healing Trinket, uh, and Barricades. That's, so that's kind of a loadout I think I'm going to go with. So, plenty of physical damage, uh, plenty of explosions, and just overall cool stuff. Then once you run out of mana, it just uh, keeps you wherever you are. So this is really sick. You can really get to some really cool places with this uh, with this new jump ability. It's probably my favorite new ability now. The bouncing saw trap. Oh yeah, well the bouncing saw trap is is pretty broken. It's really OP. Um, we don't have a Discord server. Uh, we're just kind of well he does I guess you do. You have a Discord server, but it's it's like a for other stuff. Um, no, we're just talking on Discord. Where? Although there is a Discord server for, for some voice chat for Orcs Must Die. If you go to the description below, there's a, uh, uh, it's the Robots Discord, and there are voice chats and channels for, uh, for mo uh, multiplayer, as well as an LFG chat if you're looking for people to play with. I'm sure that's going to tick up in, uh, you know, Steam accounts. Yeah, the bouncing saws are pretty, pretty broken in my opinion. They're really, really good. Um, sweet. Plenty of part-time there. But they're just a little too broken for, for me to use, and I've used a ton of them. If you watch some of my other videos, I use them all the time. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, boom Girl Dispenser, still can't upgrade. I forgot to use a Trap Reset Trinket a bunch. That's okay. Ring of Storms, uh, increase active duration. We're going to start using that. Oh, we get the Tar Trap, so we're going to increase slow. All right, cool. Continue. Actually, the bouncing saw with the tar and with barricades is absolutely crazy. Okay. All right, you look stuck there for yeah, a second. Where do I get barricades? Uh, barricades come out after two rounds or after this way or after this map. Some of the traps unlock as you play. You can't unlock them yourselves <clears throat> or yourself. Oh, you're right. What am I putting tar down for if I don't have boom barrels? Uh, okay, so... Go ahead and place some traps wherever up here. Uh, after wave two, the other gate Damn, opens. Bro, I can't hear a single word you're saying because it's. Oh, I turned it's the I turned the voice off completely. Which I should probably turn it on a little bit because I was hoping there's going to be sound behind that, but there's not. So I'll turn it up a little bit so you can hear this. What? You can go into the options and turn the sound down for yeah. voice. Okay. Can't wait to get the game. Yeah, the game is a lot of fun. All right, whenever you're ready, let's do it. Yeah. So the other gate opens at wave three. This gate is for two waves. Oh, right. Yeah, so the the trap reset trigger doesn't work on the boom barrels. That's a little unfortunate. I was hoping it would. <laughs> These guys don't stay the chance. Ah, oh, straight. But I'm definitely looking to do at least one endless map and do lots and lots of boom barrel rollers. So look out for that. I'll be doing that at some point. Say what? Right, 
doesn't seem very accurate. That's why. Oh yeah, it's uh, you know, headshotting with the with the bow is um, it's an acquired uh, it's an acquired thing. Uh, it's not the easiest. I'd agree. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a couple of little fast dudes. So we should probably sell our traps after this wave and go down to the uh, to the other side. Because we don't really have anything great dealing with kobolds yet, and so we'll, we'll need to take care of them. I don't know why I'm spam clicking. I can just hold down the left mouse button. All right, let's go down there. Ah, I don't want to jump. Oh. All right, here's where we're gonna set up, like in this uh, in this area. I put this up here. I can. Good. Do that. Ah, yes, and I can double stack. Here, I'll let you place the tar where I just had it. Okay. And press G, let's go! Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, LCD does that. You gotta go, have a nice day. Alright, Ripper, you take care, man. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. Yeah, with, with Kelsey, you can really jump a lot of places now. It's it's really cool. It's a really nice, it's a really nice move. I'm surprised they don't have both gates open like they did in Great Room. For, uh, for multiplayer. Don't worry, I got the shotgun. Here's another question. Uh, is it possible to play with you guys later on? Uh, so it's only up to two player, uh, but T Wald works nights, so he's not going to stay on for for uh, more than a couple hours. Maybe maybe more than like four hours or something, or or unless you want to stay up the whole time. I don't know. Probably, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's really up to whenever he gets off, but then I'll be playing co-op and doing other stuff, and we'll see. We'll see All what right. happens. I'm, the stream's going to be lasting for a long time, so, um, so if if he leaves and I'm still on, then yeah, definitely, uh, I'll be I'll be game for that. Okay, let's do this. Let me put us put it up here. We'll do that. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put it Ooh. Nice. Now we got both gates open, though. Yeah, let's, let's take a look at those, those launches. Oh, that actually, that one actually misses because it, it launches it forwards a little bit and it still has a forward trajectory, so. Um, yeah, that one's not so good. Probably placing it down here would be better. Uh, and maybe even at the top of this, uh, top of this ramp here. I do kind of want to see what it looks like when it's on the ramp. We got some guys behind us. Dirty. Fuck. Stevens. Did you say Stevens? <laughs> no. What? Stevens. Oh. Demons. Oh, yeah. I'm like, who's a. What's a Stevens? <laughs> Bunch of guys named Steve. Oh, no. Hey. Nice gravity pillar placement. Oh, I forgot to use this again. These are just so such a beautiful trap man the boom barrel rollers let me tell you all the explosions all right cool all right so let's see what it looks like when it rolls down the heel if it rolls down the heel wait ah! what well that's a weird sound what you guys hearing that that's like a grinding uh okay well you know it's kind of like a Nails on a chalkboard kind of thing for some people, I'd reckon. Um, so that's interesting. <laughs> uh, but okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a really strange sound. Yeah, definitely. 
I guess if you're not close enough to hear it, it's not too bad. But then that kind of defeats the defeats the whole purpose. Um, you know, you can upgrade your tar as well after this if you want to, and it increases the slow amount. Oh, you did? Okay, cool. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good upgrade to get, but, you know, there's really no bad upgrades in this game, right? Isn't that, isn't that what people say? Hey, we're making, we're going good on par, man. This is good. Well, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to put that in the bug thing, because I don't know if it's supposed to sound like that, or if it just will. Um, so that's pretty cool. The barrels will meet each other, and they'll, uh, stop each other from rolling in, so that's neat. Oh, I let something slip. This trap is, this trap setup that we have, dude, is just, uh, it looks really nice. Clean, very clean. Everything's all structured. Oh, was it? <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, let's see if we can upgrade the boom barrel yet. I want to increase this explosion radius. Yes. And we can. I don't have Okay, so we also get... I guess I didn't have any tar out there. What? No, oh, I, I removed it. That's right, that's what I did. Uh... Hmm. We still don't have damage for our blade staff. That's pretty strange. I wonder if we have to unlock the regular blade staff in order for us to get the damage. Uh, that's pretty weird. We don't have... Yeah, we didn't bring the lightning with us. We have the tar. We didn't use it. And trap reset. It's going to take a while. Yes, a healing trinket is what we unlocked. That's good. And increase max health. I don't have enough skulls. So let us continue. Yeah, that's not last. Was place, that bringing traps with you a different? What? How many traps can you bring with you? Um, you get an extra one after every level up to a max of ten. Okay. Are you sure? I thought we picked them out. Uh, you click the letter B before you start the before you start the game itself. Once you start the first wave, you can't go in and change it. All right, we'll see the we'll see the ring lightning. Let's see what it say. Uh, left mouse button is a lightning storm. Okay. And then he, yeah, there was something about the rift. Oh yeah, look, the rift has like a lightning cloud around it. So if you bring it, um, I think the rift does lightning damage in an area. So that's pretty cool. Okay. All right. So with this one, you get the two, uh, you get the two gates. Um, since there's two of us, it should be. Somewhat easy. Uh, you're just gonna need to make sure we get a little bit of tar and uh, some some boom barrel dispensers. So yeah, just roll that tar up. Oh, look at those. Those look beautiful. Look at those. Oh yeah, dude. They look so much better than the last one. Yeah, I got the uh, explosion radius upgrade. Uh, look at the side though. It's like golden. Oh, true. Yeah. Well, that was one of the cool things about Unchained is the traps looked really neat because they were like golden golden inlaid and stuff. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Um. We're going to trap up this side a lot, and then I'll just hang out the other side and kind of manage it. Should be able to manage it, I hope. Skidoo! <laughs> and you can also shoot the barrels to... to yeah, I charge them. Yeah. Nice. It's such a fast fire right now. Pew 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 pew! Uh, if you're asking, if you're wondering about the unique upgrade to get, you want to get the bleed, you, you just... Yeah, the bleed the is, is better. If you want to get the unique upgrade for your bow. Well, the bleed... I don't have the option for the bleed to start with. The freaking well, not yet. Out. Not yet. Exactly. But you will. And once you do... I should have placed I should have placed the boom barrels probably uh, a little bit uh, farther apart in time. That way they wouldn't both kind of trigger at the same time so you can get like a better explosion. So let me, let me fix that timing. And uh, let me put one more of those here. You know what we're doing? We're trapping this side, and the other side's gonna open. But that's okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go run over the other, other side and get some traps going. Mm. Put one here. Wait a second, and then we'll put the other one on an alternate cooldown. Okay. Go ahead and press G though, and then come over to me, or over to this side. Oh, I was like, you, 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 you press it immediately this time. Well, come over to my side. There's nothing coming out on your side. <laughs> Looks like the uh, lightning doesn't trigger the boom barrels though. So that's, dude. This lightning, dude. Oh, it's not. Well, it's on long cooldown. I was about to say, like, there's. All right, it didn't cost a lot of mana at all, but it's on a cooldown. So, 
I guess that's why. And it does a lot of damage too. That's pretty nice. And just the passive of having a little bit of extra rift protections uh, is pretty cool. I think Kelsey's gonna be my new favorite uh, hero with that uh, with the new uh, with her new upgrade. Okay. All right. Uh, you go ahead and head over to the other side, and I'll stay over here. Um, hopefully, you have enough traps and everything over there. Yeah. If you want to, you can push up those uh, floor spikes to touch the tar. Um, and then this gravity pillars on top of the floor. So actually, this is a really good setup you've got. Uh, I take that back. That's a really good setup. Because they'll... Is that too loud for you guys? That's a weird sound bug. Are they stacking? They're stacking on each other right here. That's strange. Let me go ahead and get him out of there. That's weird. <laughs> That's well, so... Uh, yeah. They got bugged. Maybe they were, like, trying to move. One was trying to move in the other one or something. I don't know. Um... I guess I can help out a little bit because my, my wave doesn't start right away. Well, you know, anytime you introduce new stuff, uh, you don't have me play with it, you know, then you might have bugs, so. <laughs> but I'll, I'll lower these down and see if it uh, still happens. Oh man, just having the boom barrels just there to help you, it's cool. I kind of actually need to upgrade the tar uh, anymore. I need them to uh, go over the tar because it's per second of them not, uh, or uh, it's per second of them being affected by it, but that's okay. We'll have plenty of time for tar to level up. Oh, other side. Nice. Okay. Cool. Both sides again. I don't know which side starts what. Um, let's go ahead and move that down. Uh, oh, runner. I got him. Okay. And that is the power of the gravity pillar. Gravity pillars are all really good against runners. I, I I know I said earlier that we didn't have anything for them, but actually, I think uh, gravity pillars are the answer. Yeah, I'll watch what you're looking for. Well, that's not too much of a cooldown then, huh? I just used it. Hmm... Maybe like a, one of the heroes gets like for the cooldowns or something. I don't know. Yes, dead indeed. Oh, you guys on my side. Okay. Oh, oh, we got one guy. Oh, you got him. You got him. Alright. Let's do this. More enemies on the way. Oh, I guess I could have used my levitate right there. <laughs> I just went ahead and like died or whatever. Yes. Explode. It's amazing. Man. So cool. Oh, other side. Kind of bouncing them back and forth for us. Oh, now we got both sides at the same time. I see. Oosh, kadoosh. Umbrella hallway, yes. Oh, man. I'm Like I said, I'm going to be using these and anything to complement these. So, the acid geezer's coming. Uh, of course, uh, barricades are coming. That way I can kind of, like, stack up boom barrels in a smaller area. Hopefully it doesn't bug the sound. I was kind of hoping I could get to healing on the uh, blade staff, but uh, apparently not right now.
it is nice to be able to like go into melee and have the boom barrel dispensers helping you like kill everything you know Dude, oh. those things are awesome they're like blowing everything up oh yeah they're, they're freaking sick dude they always have been in all of the games um also i want to let you know there is a sprint uh if you uh, press left shift you'll toggle sprint i don't know if you knew that yet i mean i figured i've been, I've been doing it have i not been doing it i have no idea <laughs> i don't know if you have <laughs> Mm, boom barrels. I mean, mm. I sprint in every Horrible. game with left shift, so I feel like I would already been doing yeah, okay. that. <laughs> well, there you go. Have I been moving slow? Oh. <laughs> uh, it's satisfying, you know? It's just satisfying. It is. Uh, do the extra damage to finish him off. <laughs> Oh, more boom barrels? Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, actually, this is the last wave, so... We got a runner! Oh, no! No, you fucking don't. Oh, you got him. Good. Okay. He got by you. I was like, you got a runner! <laughs> no! Oh. I'm glad I looked down the minivan. Well, don't worry. I can take care of these guys. Oh, my gosh! A couple of them slipped by because I died and oh. should have died sooner. I was kind of hesitating at dying, you know, and I should have died sooner. There we go. Why? Uh, thought like it was a good idea. No, I, I was, uh, I had, I had tried to levitate over there. I used the levitation to make sure we didn't lose a rip point and uh, got stuck because I ran out of mana. So yeah, that's what happened. I guess I get the mana trinket too with this build oh I was gonna get the stone staff as well because stone will cause him to take extra uh, oh the stone staff with the with the bounce instead of the extra range that'd be really cool okay now we get the barricade so we can go into the barricade and reduce health cost or reduce uh, cost and increase health that's what I would do right now is just beef up your barricade real quick and let's continue over down to split stairs you know, and make this this complete Baja Blast in my mouth. Well, I just took a swig of Baja Blast. Dude, oh, freaking best. I'm freaking jealous. Mm. Quit rubbing it in my face. Mm. Is this gonna blow up in the middle? I have no arcane shot. Uh, close. Mm. I do kind of wish they blew up a little bit sooner. Loading. What's loading? <laughs> uh, nope. That lag. Nope. That's uh. Oh, maybe it's the edge of the tar. Maybe that's what's causing it. Hang on. Let's let it drop again. Uh, we we can barricade one side if you want. Yeah, but or we can just kill everything in front of the door. You know, it's probably safer. It's probably safer to barricade one side. So, um, I got 800 costume barricades. I'll barricade this side, and then we can just kill everything up here. Okay. So go ahead and place a barricade in this corner. I know you can't see it, but in this corner here. Yeah. And then in that corner, and that'll push him against the wall. Yeah. One more cornering that Cade. The very corner? No, no, no. Cor cornering the Cade. Like, as if you're extending the barricade out corner. just by the corner. Oh. Yeah. There push you go. Push him into the corner. Yeah, push him in there. And that way, wall traps and stuff will get stuck here. Tar here is really good. If you have any more money, place like one of the tars there. I do it. There you go. Right Sweet. There. All right, let's go ahead and get it going. Forget orcs. Giveaway, let's do Baja Blast. Baja Blast giveaway. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Oh I, my gosh. I go to the store, I can go stock up and win. The, yeah, you are a genius. That was uh, Sir Sorted Book for the first. Oh my goodness, Sir Sorted. Yeah, that's absolutely genius. Uh, genius Holy there. Ogre! All oh, right, Ogres. Dude, I love his disability of it. Oh no. You're stuck again? <laughs> oh my it's god. It's the jump. The jump. When it happens. Oh, is it? Oh. If, no. like, if I, I think it's like, maybe if I cast an ability or try, she doing some They ain't going easy on them ogres. They ain't going easy. So yeah, this, um, uh, uh, right, the right, his right ability for the arrow, I guess anybody. Uh-huh. Oh, oh yeah. no! <laughs> it's pretty sick. Especially if you can spam him on the right next to you. What sure. are these magical swords? Magical door! Oh. Yep, it teleports you. Huh? Oh, 
there's boom barrel coming soon. Uh, yes. How long is that tar left that I'm let on fire for? What tar? What? I feel like you should be able to drop the, uh, the lamp in there. Never mind. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, you pointed it for rock up. Oh! Felipe just subscribed. Hey, thanks for the subscription, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, my dude. Baja Blast. Baja Blast. Ooh, I'm yeah, you need, you need to place the air wall. Yeah, that's pretty weird, man. You should uh, probably play a different... Uh, ooh, oh, crap, no. Well, make sure you uh, just shoot stuff then, I guess. Place traps. Uh, boar spike after the tar would be really good. The Oracle Archers will take care of you, though, so don't worry. Ow! Uh, you should, you can play some, uh, floor spikes out here, too, in front of the kids. Floor spikes? Yeah, man. In front of the kids. All right, in front, like that. Well, even like, even like right where this barrel is, because that's where archers will stand. Archers will stand up here and they'll attack you. So, if you have that there, then, uh, then they'll take care of the archers. It'll help. I'll use my arcane thing. Yeah, it's got to do with them getting stuck between two traps. Is what it looks like. Is that's what that's where the sound bug is coming in. So, that's a thing. Oh, you know I can put them up here. You know, uh, yeah, definitely do that. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Dodge the arrows, oh no! <laughs> yeah, orc archers are really annoying. Uh, the TNT ones are even more annoying because they damage your barricades as well if they hit the barricades. Damn it! I All right. And don't forget, uh, the fastest way to heal is to die or play Cygnus, I guess. Deanne, nice and I appreciate it, man. Okay, I'm gonna do that and. More boom barrels, because why? Oh, I, I should have put it up there. I was going to do that just now. What trap are you going to go for next? Uh, the next trap I'm going to go for is... Well, I'm going to try and get the healing trinket beefed up. So my next in my repertoire is going to be healing trinket. And then eventually, I'm going to get the uh, the acid uh, acid geezer. Um, acid geezer will be uh, slot number 9. And then slot number 10 is kind of up in the air. Uh, once I once we beat the game, I'm gonna remove the blunderbuss and just go blade staff. Um, if I can figure out how to get this blade staff to get upgrades, then I will. But as of right now, I'm not too sure about that. Also, I'm not I'm not sold on the lightning ring. It's just uh, you know, I was just trying it out because I haven't seen anyone use it yet. Oh no, you died! Uh, for hell. Uh, I was also thinking about the mana rage trinket, so I might do the help. Trinket, the Mana Rage Trinket, and then uh, Acid Geyser, and maybe get rid of the Ring of Storm to get something else. I don't know yet. Uh, okay. Yeah, they're probably gonna want to fix the sound thing. That's pretty cool. They slide all the way up to the like the gate. Press G, press G. I like the idea. Yeah. Thanks. Oh. Oh, I almost died. That's cool. I don't know how much I'm gonna money on this. You what? <laughs> Buying a bunch of random stuff up here. Well, yeah, that's how you play the game, dude. Don't forget, tar increases efficiency of traps. So, uh, tar plus traps well, equals equals good. Yeah. It equals good. Ring of Storms upgraded is awesome. I haven't, uh, yeah, I haven't used it enough to upgrade it. Ooh, that's good. Good catch. So, oh, you know what? I keep forgetting to use my trap reset ring too. Uh, you see that blue thing over on the other stairs? The blue barrels? You can hit them, and they'll fall and drop. And they'll uh, explode. They reset on go breaks and with the trap reset trinket.
Damn it! Get accurate. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it, you'll get better at it. The head, the headshots, and the hitboxes—they'll—they'll—they'll they'll, they'll come. They'll come in time. Okay. We need probably more barrels. If I put this here, is it gonna fly? It is right. It's gonna come out here. Yeah, let's do that. For fun. Okay. Challenge idea: boom barrel. Only map. Well, I'm gonna do endless, and I'm gonna try and get it to where I can only have boom barrels everywhere. Uh, it's probably gonna be on coastal hallways. Um, and it's gonna take a little bit to get there, so I'm gonna have to use other traps to do it. But I think I think we can do it. New traps are good. New traps are all good. Although there is a bit of an, an audio bug with the boom barrels, it looks like, and uh, a bit of a bug with co-op with him getting stuck all the time, just in the ground. <laughs> so. That's okay. You can um, avoid the uh, issue by simply not moving. Ah, that's true. That's a good point. But it's only your double jump that's causing it, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's not too bad. The Ring of Storms is just really solid for getting like a little bit extra combo uh, potential. Uh, yeah, you can see it. I mean, we're beating this part time like crazy, dude. We're gonna have to play. We're gonna start. We're gonna have to go as soon as we can. I should say. We're gonna have to go Rift Lord difficulty. It's raining barrels. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, cool. Now what do we unlock here? We unlocked. Da 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 da. -da, -da. The giant. Okay, so the next one's the uh, worst scenario. Again hmm. with the blade staff thing. I wonder if we buy the regular blade staff, uh, but I don't want to do that yet. Okay, so I need I need more stuff uh, for that. Okay, passively reset faster. We'll see if that works on on it. And uh, ooh, I would I would love to see. Oh, you know what? The binding range on the rift wouldn't be too bad either. But I don't think anything's ever gonna get close. So. Decrease time between lightning strikes would be nice. I just need to use it more. Um, boom barrel dispenser. Right, that's maxed. And barricades. Got to place 15 of them. Uh, healing trinket. Right. Increase max health. Let's go ahead and... Get the other stuff that we we're going to get. Look, I'm going to go ahead and buy the blade staff. I'm going to see if... Um, if that allows me to start upgrading the, uh, the special blade staff. <clears throat> okay. Got it. I got some DMs or whatever within the uh, right oh, messages. Looking for group. Oh, looking for group stuff. Yeah. Skip. Yeah. Huh? Are we skipping? Hello. Oh, I think somebody may have put. Is this you? I don't know. Maybe not. No. Are we skipping? Slams with sword get stuck. I think somebody. Is somebody watching it? I don't know. But cool. Yeah. So in the uh, Discord below, if you guys uh, want to, and the Discord link below is the uh, Orcs Must Die Three Robots official Discord. If you want to hop in there about bugs and stuff, um, that's a really good place to, to let them know about it. <clears throat> okay. Oh right, we're playing uh, new guys now. Okay, go ahead and do a do your double jump. Let me see. Let me see what that looks like. Yeah. Uh, okay. Whoa, why is it yellow? It's gonna you're you're it's gonna uh, bleed back into normal colors. Whoa! Woo, damn, they didn't fix that, did they? <laughs> Hell no. That's cool, dude. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> okay, so what they were supposed to do is fix that and. Uh, Multiplayer, well, the multiplayer, the fun. bug was if the second person, um, if like the person playing with the other person was Vorwick, their double jump would make them teleport, uh, like ad additionally far. <laughs> so that's crazy, dude. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, so this one's uh, can be really easy. Here's what you do, right? Do some cades, and this is actually gonna let me, um, upgrade the cades too, and then do tar here. Go ahead and place some more tar here in this area in this little box that I made. And then if you have any other uh, uh, trap, put it right in the middle. Uh, like floor spike or whatever. Uh, 
Oh, my computer's doing that thing it does when I play Total War. Oh, that's interesting. And then just keep placing tar all around it? No, I'm not placing back in the middle. Uh, you don't want to, you don't want to block it off. Uh, oh yeah, no, you don't want to do that either, because we want to, we want everything to like... Well, I guess it does increase their, uh, their path. Yeah, go ahead and place the barricade in the middle, that's fine. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, and then place another tar at the very end. All right, I don't you, have enough money for this. <laughs> now, uh, this is a war scenario. You can have lots and lots of orcs. Now, um, now you see the shift two? It should be on the right-hand side. What? Shift oh, two. Oh, yeah. Yep. Go ahead and place two of those. Um, I can't. I'm out of money. Okay. Let's go ahead and start then. I can't place one of those. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to wait until we have enough money for one of those and place it. And then uh, probably up there. Up in that upper area. And then we're going to um, just use that to nuke these guys. No. It's going to be a lot. So get ready. You stand up on this rock if you want to not take damage or something. I got to fight these. Let's go, dude. It's going to be really good. Place no. to fight I don't think there are archers anytime soon. So yeah, it's going to be a nice, brutal battle. Not a really good place for other oh, archers. Great. Well, maybe this is a bad idea. I, th I thought we had enough money to start with it, but I guess we don't. Although, it is shared between us, so I guess that's a thing. Ah. I, no! Okay, maybe this was uh, not the best idea I've had. You should spectate it on, bro. <laughs> okay. Um, you will die, motherfucking, motherfucking dog. If I had your teleport ability, it'd be easy to get back to everyone. I don't think they can hit me because of it. I'm, like, teleporting through them. Ah, interesting. You see this? Look. Hold on. There yeah, you go. Yeah, true. True. Yeah, I, still, I see they still don't have the uh, other thing fixed. Okay, I've got to dodge arrow shots. Okay, they can hit me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, I died. Cool, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Run away, run away. Frick. No. I'll clean up. You just make sure they stay in that little oh. box. You do, One do, whack. Do the best you can. Where to? Eh? How do I? Oh no! I fell. Ah! No! I... Just go through the portal on the back of the on the back side of the rift, and then you'll come out next to me. Okay. Well, this is supposed to be a better idea. So let me do this, and this, and this. All right. We'll just fire over here then, I guess. No, we co-op four-player. We cannot co-op uh, four-player. It is only two-player allowed so far. Oh. Uh, shit. Yeah. So I think it's uh, I think it's the archers that are doing it to us. Uh, I contact somebody to help because I pre-ordered the game on PS4, but the store haven't purchased the game. If I installed it. Uh, Discord and Reddit. Reddit has a lot of information about that bug, or about that issue. Okay, we have almost reached enough for another one of these. We'll do that there. Um, but basically, with the with the pre-order for the um, PlayStation, for whatever reason, they weren't able to uh, facilitate that transaction, and so they uh, refunded. They canceled the pre-orders. They refunded everybody, and then if you buy the game between now and August 9th, you get the skins and the new blade staff. So it's it's essentially like you've been pre-ordering it basically. Oh yeah, also those cauldrons uh, can also oh. tip over. forgot to tell you. What? The cauldrons uh, that are at the uh, thing, they they, uh, they tip over. I can't hear you. Oh. Hang on. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this was so. Alright, now we can move and do what we were trying to do. <laughs> Up here? Okay, so up here, uh, we're gonna put one of the catapults up here, and you can go. You can go sit in that one that I just placed. Uh, uh, Unchained did have three players, but right now they are only doing two players. And then up here, yeah, place one up here. That's fine. Uh, as long as you can see the box to shoot into it. Let me see. Yeah, that's fine. Then basically, what we're gonna do is uh, aim for the center, and then left mouse button to blow it up. And there's one on the other. There's one over. Over there, you can go sit in. And let me. Oh. Ah some... Yes. Yeah, sure. over there. Okay. 
Now this is the this is the cheese way to beat this, but that's fine. It's gonna be really cool, especially with two of us. Oh man, dude, we're gonna melt everything. Now normally in the center of this, I would put the uh, acid geezer, I think. I just wish I had your teleport ability, dude. <laughs> like, but the co-op one because it's doubled. Are you blowing him up early? No. Man. Oh, can we collide? Oh, dude. Oh. I, I doubt we can collide our boom barrels, but dude, what if we could? In the in the air, man. That'd be sick. Oh my goodness. Could I should wait. I should wait. From two different angles. Yeah, I'll take care of ogres as they as they run up. <laughs> Killing all of the orcs. Oh, there's an orc. How'd you get through? Oops. Teaching my own castle. Hey, there's another orc. How did you get through, buddy? I uh, can't put anything there, so do that. Do that. Okay. I brought three orcs. Actually, three orcs. yeah, you just keep doing that, and I'm gonna stay down here and uh, make sure nothing really gets through or whatever. Fighting lane headshots, Jesus. Okay. They're coming quick. Oh yes. That's all right. I got some defense in the back, so we're okay. What's shift one? Uh, shift one is a giant uh, flip trap that uh, flips uh, large quantities of enemies. Through a media shower and then a barrel shower. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Could we just not flip them off into the lava? Uh, we can, but it's not quite as good. Um, but yeah, we can set a bunch of those up in front of the uh, little kill area we have. Or even on top of the... Uh, up the stairs. The problem is it doesn't really do uh, a lot with the big guys. It doesn't send them very far. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe I'm going to extend this out a little bit. This little uh, chamber of slow and death that they have. Okay. Yeah, if you want to throw some of those around, uh, we can definitely throw them around. Yeah, you're right. Why would we use traps and we can just kill them with our hands? <laughs> nice. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna lie to watch. <laughs> yeah, you gotta put tar around it so that way everything gets slowed. And uh, even. Okay. Oh, yeah, you. Oh, I see you put the barricade, so that's good. It's tossing them in. We gotta. It's tossing them over it. No. <laughs> you gotta put some You're in the back. You gotta demons. put some in the backside. Yeah, we'll probably sell the uh, the catapult up here and then place. Um, so when, what you want to do is you want to do a string of tar, and then you want to do uh, the. Uh, hang on. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop in there. You just make sure we don't die or lose or whatever. Ah! You can do it. You can do it. I'll take care of all the reinforcements. Ow! Yeah. Oh no! They're attacking! Not the Kerberg runners! Wait, okay. what happened to all of our fucking traps? What the hell? Did yeah. you sell our traps? Yeah, I sold them. Freaking idiot. Well, that's weird. There's like some sort of like red thing that's stuck there. Looks like the red thing from the blade staff. What do you mean I'm the idiot? We had to, we had to afford our stuff, man. Come on, bro. Alright, well, we're gonna have to take care of these ogres. And luckily, boom barrel rollers are gonna help us with that. As is this lightning. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We were able to uh, break the auto attack animations of the ogres. That's neat. All right, you, you, you got it? Okay, good. You're getting the reinforcements. That's good. Hold the line! Hold the line! 
I'll, I'll pick up any of that, any of that spillage. Also, I have an idea for a war, some, a war trap I'm going to put down. Right here. I want to see an ogre go flying, but they're never on there. Oh, what? It just knocks him over him. Please. That was lame. Okay, just a bunch of ogres left. Okay. See you later, George. Oh, you better let me flying off the edge of that. <laughs> Oh, that's too good, man. Bam! I love that they kept that in there and they didn't fix that one. That's a good one to have. Saying what? Something about cauldrons. I can't hear you. You have to speak with conviction. I said out cauldrons. Cauldrons, yes, yes. You can attack them or press F. Oh. Um, attacking them is uh, more of a range. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, wait. Uh, play some, or uh, I'll sell this. So let's get out of the way. Or oh, let's E to sell. Idiot. Um, hold on. All right. You can place your your thing up there if you want. Uh, go ahead and grab those skulls down there. Down there. what? The skulls next to the barricades. Right, we're at, we're right next oh. to you. Yeah. There you go. I was. I, He's, you good? What, you've never said skulls before. Wait, what? <laughs> um, I need to sell um, one. I'll sell that. Okay, there we go. There is. Um, yeah. Look at how beautiful this is flip trap is going to be. Put boom rollers, rollers on it. Okay, go ahead and hit G. And uh, if you're done selling, you have to be done selling first. And then roller, roller. Okay, sweet. More enemies on the way. Would be funny if the flip trap was send out flying <laughs> barrels. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that when the barrel was on it. I was like, yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty funny, but that's okay. I sold your uh, your thing up there, by the way. Your boom yep. barrel uh, launcher. As this, as also, I sold mine. Um, so, just let you know. Wait a second. Please, look at these. They like disappear. They like disappear into the ground because they can't can't handle any more of them. Mm, I wonder if this will break the game if you put too many of these on there. Mmm. Barrel wall. <laughs> It's really nice to have to like back up into if you're melee or whatever. Oh damn! Oh okay, you. Oh, I was say I, was, I don't know how they blew up there. Uh, that's cool though. Yeah, get the stun on this puppy. They don't do a ton of damage though. Not as much as I thought they would at first. That's okay. It's not terrible damage. I'm just gonna heal up a little bit. <laughs> Alright, now next wave we get Craig, and Craig is a boss. He's a boss minion. This is working out really well, dude. Yeah. <laughs> now, what's interesting is that all the orcs are actually all moving to one side. They're not really splitting this barricade, uh, which is fine with me because, you know, that just means that they're. Uh... Oh, never mind. The ogres go to the other side. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder why? I wonder why there's a this difference there. All right, we'll use that, and we're going to run back here. As a matter of fact, we're just going to go ahead and heal up. Full health. Gonna let the ogres run in a little bit, and we'll hop through the power crew. Get power through the arc crew. What? What? Oh. That was a carcass. <laughs> so no... Ogre carcass it came out of nowhere. Right, is this gonna blow up if it drops from here? That is a negative, and it rolls somewhat far. Let's just here and see how far that rolls. Oh. 
a little bit, a little bit farther. Nope. Got it. All right. Press G. Okay, and we'll do <laughs> more boom barrels. Yes, as a matter in fact, yes, we will. Let us do a barrel here. And what does this look like? Yes, I like it. Press G, press G. We gotta make par. I already did. Well, hurry ah. up. <laughs> Kidding. Ah, making more of a maze for the explosion setup. Okay, Crag. I'm gonna go stand over on this rock and try and headshot him a bunch. All right, Craggy boy. Where are you? There you are. I have a way to stun him or stone him. If I had a stone staff, he'd be easy. But I didn't invest in that. And it looks like some of my shots are like going through him almost. That's okay. He's he's big enough at first. Headshots are beautiful, especially on the uh, lightning staff. They actually do quite a bit of damage. Damn it! It went it overshoots. I don't like that. It actually stays where you left it last if you jump out of it, which is pretty cool. Yeah, Craig, uh, he disables traps. Um, all right, Craig, good boy. You're going to have to die for me, buddy. Uh, all right, nice. Okay, we are solid. Good to go. Uh, okay. And we'll get the skull here in a moment. Pick that up. You know, I didn't think I'd have I didn't think I'd have any viewers today because there's going to be a lot of people really streaming this game right now. Say that again. There's a lot of they're moving really quick. <laughs> Dang it, you made me think they are moving quick through this tar. Uh, it was disabled, and that's actually a good question. Is it still disabled? Let me check. Well, now it's back. Oh yeah, yeah, it was disabled. That's what Craig does. He uh, disables traps. I got it. Okay. Oh, ogre boy. Dying is just living in disguise, right? Oddly satisfying. I make it. The biggest amount of orcs die. Dead in one blow. <laughs> oh, yes. Freaking kobolds. Freaking kobolds. Yeah, unfortunately, the, uh, the flip traps don't really do too well against the ogres. Alright, it looks like we're almost done. Yeah, oh yeah, we're almost done. Okay, after this, T-Wald, uh, we get to start playing Rift Lord, so... You better be ready for it, man. That's... Rift Lord's a higher difficulty. Is it more skulls? Yeah. Actually, you get five skulls for beating uh, a map per difficulty. So if you play on Rift Lord, you get 15 after beating a map that you haven't beaten before. Okay, let's take a look. So the Blade Staff we got damage on. Now let's take a look at the other Blade Staff. Okay, so you have to unlock the Blade Staff in order to get the damage increased. Or in order to get the uh, unique upgrades for the regular Blade Staff. Or the special one, whatever. Uh, healing Trinket, we didn't equip it. Um... Hard trap we did use, so we'll do remain slow. Bring the storms between lightning strikes, that's good. Okay. We get ice simulate and we get ripper unlocked. Okay, so go ahead and uh go back to campaign. Or I guess I'm going back to campaign and I'm starting it first. What's that? Oh here we go. Rip Lord. 
Okay. Yeah, head back to campaign. Uh -huh. Think. What? Are you are you still in the, the? No. Oh. Maybe I don't know. Am I? This is waiting for player. Uh, okay, let me just uh, close the game and reopen it. Rift Lord, huh? add you. Yeah, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna invite you again. Uno momento, por favor. All right, go and join. Let's play, Rift Lord. Okay, let's do it to it. Now this is gonna be the first. Uh, we're gonna play basically all the maps we've already played at a higher difficulty. And yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> oh, we get all the slot hey, trap slots. Okay. You know what I need? Food. <laughs> need food. Um, oh, I can so I'm just. Yeah, I got. <laughs> oh, uh. Okay, so let me let me rearrange some of this stuff here. So I want blade staff first. Then lightning, then health, then wall, floor, floor, trinket. Trinket will be last. I actually want trinket on zero. Um, that way, if I'm fighting, I can just scroll, scroll up on the mouse wheel and scroll down. So, all right, cool. I've got all my stuff uh, set up. And pick whatever traps and trinkets and all that you want to bring. And uh, if you want to place a tar right in front of these barricades, that'll be really good. And then whatever you want behind it, whatever you want on the walls, ceiling, it's all your choice. Let's see, can I make it all the way over here? And that's cool. All right. Region some mana, so I can make it back. Oh, darn it! My mind was muted. I'm eating. Okay, I just want to let you know, we don't have go breaks, so whenever the wave is over, if you need to sell something, you have to sell it within three seconds. Let's go. Fantastic. One of the Rift Lord difficulty edition things. Yeah, the uh, the trap reset trigger may not work on the boom barrel roller just because um, it didn't... Uh, doing the actual reset itself doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, you got the blunderbuss. Interesting. Shotgun. Yes. Become murdered, my orklings. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. Get a place of one lower. Oh, yeah, dude. Gravity Pillar is pretty sick, dude. With the, oh, that's sick. It, it rolls off, it blows up on the barricade, but it hits them or something. I don't know. That's cool. Yeah, game in the bag, dude. Except for this troll, maybe. Probably should put Ice uh, Freeze on my uh, shotgun secondary. I died. I'm coming. Hold the line. Hold the Lord. Do some three. <laughs> did I do I that? I need some dip for my chips. Do it. Okay, I'm place these down here. There we go. Now they get stuck on the barricades, so it'll be more consistent. Also, we get uh, ten less health. That's also a thing. I just wasted all of those right mouse buttons. They all blew out there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I don't know. Maybe it does work well with them.
Nice. Yeah, I should probably get the stone staff next, I think. Um, that way we can kind of handle these ogres and stuff. There we go. He's going to take bonus damage from that, so that's good. Okay, cool. Keep putting more barricades down. And I may do the stone staff instead of the lightning ring. Um, actually, yeah, probably. Uh, or, or I'll do the ice. I, I may just do the ice on the sh uh, shotgun. That'll probably be good enough. Since I'm thinking about getting the uh, mana rays shrinked anyways. Oh, no grenadiers, right. Yeah, these guys are pretty rough. Um, they throw bombs at you and they hurt your barricades, so hopefully we don't lose any. Looks like they didn't get a chance to... Uh, maybe they damaged one of them. Oh, he's going to damage them. There we go. Okay, we killed him, though. Eh, he didn't... Uh, maybe he didn't damage it. I don't know. Strange. I thought he was going to damage it, but it didn't look like he did. So when they are airborne and pulled up in the air like that, they take double damage. Um, from everything, so shooting them when they're in the air is really good. Nice. Now, part time was a little tight on that one, um, mm -hmm. but that's uh, generally what you expect with Ripboard. I need to upgrade my auto uh, attack. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to use the health trinket. I should have used it. Boom barrels work really well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let me get the stone staff here. Where you at? There you are. That'll help us uh, quite a bit. All right, whenever you're ready, click continue. Damn, bro, I got an upgrade. Hey. hey, what? I didn't get to upgrade. What? What upgrade? I wanted to upgrade. Uh. What the hell? Hang on. Um, let me let me let's back out. Let me uh go to quit. Tell me what happens when I quit. What happens to you? Your I'm right screen? here in the menu. Quit okay. to at the top. Moto Man Dan, co-op buddy. All right, go ahead. Go do your upgrade. Do your upgrade. I'll wait. I'll wait. And then once you're done with your upgrade, let me know. And then um, I'm also curious as to what you see because I don't have the option to click play. So maybe you have to like, ready you up first. Do you see at the top? I do have to ready up first. Okay. All right, go ahead, and, go ahead and do your, go ahead and do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. And then we're ready up. You ready? If you want to ready up now, you can. Uh, I'm just reading the Discord a little bit. A little bit of Discord. Wait, where's the bleed? Uh, there it is. So, yeah, you need to upgrade. Let's go, Orcs. Man, I can. Okay, and that's good. All right, let's do it. I'm ready up. I'm ready up. I'm ready up. I'm going to go get the dip. I'm ready up. Uh, hang on. Two o'clock. Okay. All right. Two hundred subs, you make good content. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it. All right, we're ready up. Well, you know, my channel has been exploding in the in the recent recent past. Um. Okay. Let me rearrange my thing a little bit. Stone staff comes second. Uh. Then we go. I, uh, lightning, healing. I gotta use my healing, so I, I can't forget. Um, then barricades, then trinket. Okay. Cool. Oh, we didn't, we didn't place any traps. I don't have. I, I don't have all my traps. Oh, okay, no. You don't click ready. If you're not ready. <laughs> Wait, you clicked ready. I mean, Jesus. That's okay. Is anyone here to chat? Uh, no, you're not alone. I just think everybody else is playing right now. I think they're playing while watching, like, have me on the background or something. Which is what I would do. Damn, this fucking ring of lightning is insane, dude. It's absolutely crazy. See, when you stone them, they're so much easier to headshot. Oh, he's out here. Alright, 
I would say let's sell this and we'll go downstairs. Let's just run downstairs real quick. Alright, and we're gonna add tar up here. Oh. Alright, cool. Now let's just have our uh, kill box area in here. Oh, uh, 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 remove that cage. Oh, uh, wait, uh, crap. That cage, uh, doesn't work for, um, big guys. Big guys have a problem with that cage right there. The big guys need, like, a two-by-two two area to walk through, or else they're gonna destroy the cage, so... We're gonna have to take care of the Sogar before it destroys the barricades. Almost finished the download. Hey, awesome. Alright. That's something they don't tell you in the game, and I don't think, uh, everybody knows, especially Unchained, because Unchained, you could, you could open it. So yeah, just make sure if you can place a tar there, then an ogre can walk through it. Uh, otherwise, they wouldn't be able to. Um, but if you want to like, if you want to do a snake, you'll have to start here. If you want to snake it. Oh motherfucker! <laughs> Dude, I do it all the time. <laughs> I do it all the time. Oh yeah, you know what? Lasers are really good. I forgot to tell you about lasers. I've seen them. But... Use fire forever. Yeah, essentially. They don't have cooldowns or anything. They don't do the best damage in the world, but they definitely do damage. Oh yeah, this stone staff barrel combo and melee, I'm man, dude. Crazy. Okay. Where else can I strategically put this? Right there. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, does Endless scale up? Uh, it does, so... Um, Endless doesn't do any bosses other than... Uh, as of right now. Um, other than... Money Bags. Uh, money Bags doesn't take any rip points from you, though. He just... They'll try and run through your bear, your your, uh, your setup. He doesn't target you, but if you kill him, he gives you 500 coin. Uh, so he's like a he's like a test mob basically. Every five waves, um, you only get one of them every five waves, and it does scale up by increasing health and increasing the amount of minions, and increasing the minion speed. Um, but it's still pretty easy to get to like wave 100 plus, uh, and I'm going to be attempting that as well. I may have to turn down the graphics to do it, but. Uh, you actually can, if you have enough traps and everything and the setup is good, you can actually probably survive forever. Now, I haven't tested it, but I got to like wave 150 or so on, on Stadia on one of the maps, so it is possible. Oh, you got the grinder! Hey! Cool, that's a good trap. Endless on Cove is going to be insane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, that's a, that's a beautiful trap and a beautiful place for it, man. I didn't know you're so good at this game, dude. I thought it was. I thought everybody was uh, playing with a noob. Oh yeah, I thought I may have played uh, a. <laughs> <laughs> I thought everybody was playing with a noob, dude. <laughs> Does the stats have a cap? I don't think they do. And that was actually one of the uh, one of the uh, underlying issues of. Um, uh, it's hard to tell when I can use that again, or maybe I just don't have mana. Come on, stone staff. There we go. Man, everybody's all stuck right here. Um, that's one of the underlying issues of the Stadia thing, is that, uh, because they didn't have a cap, um... Oh, crap! No! I think he got knocked over by the ogre. No! So the ogre has a charge where when he charges you, he'll knock over enemies. And one of them knocked over the barricade, so we lost a rip point. Which means we don't... Dirty. We don't get all five skulls. No. Um... Let's do it. We try. Oh, I should have uh, maybe upgraded my stone staff mana cost a little bit. <laughs> Something. That's okay. You don't like upgrades, do you? Dude, upgrades are... Why you upgrade, man? That's ridiculous. Oh, of course, of course. All right, same thing. Um, start here, and then uh, kill them all, and then move down there. Well, yeah, dude. Upgrades are noobs. We're not. We're pros. No, that was really close, though. There's no way to survive forever. The speed boost would be so fast. Uh, yes, but the, the slow still works, and more, uh, more especially freeze, and there's area of effect freeze, 
that will just affect all the enemies and um okay i don't know what i don't have in my okay it's the wall street spell there you go uh i'll bring it i'll bring the arrow walls just to get them um so yeah so you're uh the freeze there's area of effect trap so no matter how many mobs they're gonna freeze them all um and there's enough there's enough ways to do like pepper damage to kind of kill everything and there's also lots of area of effect distraction so with the area of effect distraction you can send enemies keep going back and uh, you'll never really have too many issues with it Trinket, let me get hit. There we go. How do you kill 10,000 HP? Uh, you just keep distracting it into your kill box until it dies. That's how. They're airborne to take double damage. I mean, I don't think it's I don't think it's likely that they're gonna get there anytime soon, but theoretically it's possible. Distraction is really is, is um, how you get late game endless. So the there's like a, a flower thing that like shoots a little pod, and the pod is uh, bursts in the area of effect, and that area of effect uh, it's pretty big, um, and it distracts all the enemies in that little area. I would say coastal hallways is the one map if you're gonna try it. Coastal hallways is the map to try it on. Now I will say also in in Stadia, it endless reached a point where enemies would actually move. Um, incredibly slow because they move too fast. They move so fast they were slow. So stun until the flipper or push resets. Uh, yeah, you can stun until the flipper. Heavy ogre, 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 heavy ogre. I was distracted, no! <laughs> it's okay. Uh, yeah, that kid's fine. Uh, oh, that's. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, I, I would say butterflies and um, the flower pod thing is good uh, against uh, if you're trying to go endless. Let's see. Um, but yeah, stun and knockback is also really good. But I think what happened was like it was they increased their uh, movement speed so much that they ended up going negative. Like it was a, it was a multiplier that kept going positive so much it like ended up hurting them and so they stutter stepped a bunch and and yeah you just kind of like wait for them just to die to everything as far as i know there's no captain of the amount of enemies multi a tornado box this war with boom barrel spawner isn't yeah I, the tornado is huge though. They'd have a hard time like really making that work Oh, we probably could have sold those cades and replaced them a little bit better But this is going really good now we just gotta watch out for the armored ogre to like nuke on them dunk on them dudes I'll save my lightning amulet for that well, the Lightning Amulet did not save us, even though it has a passive uh, Rift thing, it did not save us from losing a point last time, so maybe that's not quite as good as it seems, unless you're building around the Rift. Okay, Armored Ogre from our left, so we'll have to take care of him soon. Beautiful! Oh my god, look at that! He just melted him, dude. Oh, there's another one. Oh. Right. Stoned to death. 
All right, easy day. We got the W this time, boys. I mean, if Nerf and Bus happen, Tornado Box or Boom Barrel Spawner. I think the Boom Barrel will be the war tie item. Well, they have the Boom Barrel Launcher, the big catapult thing. It shoots Boom Barrels. All right, uh, go ahead and upgrade if you need to. Primary attacks, heals on hit. Oh, you know what? Not yet. We might do that, uh, but then we're gonna- hey, Thanks for giving me the time to upgrade. Hey, yeah, no worries, no worries. Oh, I gotta do damage with the stone staff. That's pretty rough. That's kind of a annoying one to get. Uh, healing trinket. Oh, we just need a little bit more on that, so it's good. Then the icon looks like it's basic floor trap. It is, right, and it's actually, uh, it's actually like a- Oh, um, you mother trucker, Oh, I'm sorry, dude. dude. I'm, dude, I'm sorry. All right, all right, all right. Dude, I'm I'm, my point. I'm <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. We'll kick back. Go ahead and do your upgrade. <laughs> Oops. I wish they had a ready up for you at that point. That would have been nice, because then I wouldn't be able to start without you. Um, yeah, let's take a look at it, because it is the same size as the tar trap. So you are correct in the fact that it's the footprint of it is not that big. Um, but the range of the tornado is massive. Like, the tornado itself is just ginormous. I don't even know where it is. No, no, I don't want to upgrade. <laughs> Now, you're, now you have to upgrade, dude. It's not true. I, I literally just oh, you thanked you, and then you literally started it. <laughs> like, thanks do... for getting me time to upgrade, and then you started <laughs> I thought like, you wow. were done. I thought you meant that, like, okay, now I had time to upgrade. I'm good. You know, come on. Uh, I, I think we're going to also do the Arcane Dragon. Um, there's going to be a couple of cool places for that. I don't know what it's I'm It's a PC buying, version. This buying. is on PC, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm ready. We'll do it. Okay, ready up. There we go. This is on PC, yeah. yeah. I do know what I'm buying. I, I, I read it. All right. Read what I was All right, good. If only the uh, living uh, uh, tell me if you can hear my chips so I can mute it. My, yes, yeah, my mic. I haven't noticed yet. Okay. Well, you may not have because of the, this, all the sounds. All right. Get them. Let's get them. Oh, yeah, I gotta hit the continue I every time. Well, you got to come up here. This magic is not well, no, I have to hit the continue force. to load them. Okay. Keep the orcs at bay. Must travel elsewhere for answers. Okay. We fight the bad guys. Yeah, thanks, thanks. That's the only thing I have to upgrade with uh, for the Nika upgrade stuff, so. I might actually try and get the uh, ice on the... Um, I don't know. Wait. That's weird. Why? I started and my shotgun started at one shot. <laughs> it didn't start full. Um, pretty cool. Uh, weird. When I, first saw, uh, when I first saw it, when someone... When, let's play it. Thought it'd be a mini score only. Tornado act like a four gravity pillar and left him up and hold him. Yeah, it tosses him around, so I don't like it because it can end up tossing the enemy. Oh, you got the snow blower. Yeah, the snow cannon. That's pretty dope. Um, I don't, I don't like the tornado because it tosses him, and it, if you put it in certain places, it can toss him into the, like, into the rift that you're trying to defend. Um, so I don't like using them because they're a little bit awkward, but. But yeah, they are they are a really small area. Um, they just the tornado is massive. It would be like up to the wall, up to like that wall there, if it was to be placed in this map. But even if it was a regular trap, I put, probably wouldn't wouldn't even use it just because of the fact that it'll knock orcs far away and possibly outside of the kill box. What about the spawn of or of the orcs? It will decimate them. Uh, I mean, it it'll pick them up and throw them. I wouldn't say decimate. <laughs> we can give it a look if you want. We can we can use it on the next war scenario. I'll try and figure out where it is. I think you have to buy it maybe, but right, we're gonna headshot a bunch. Get these stone staff. Get all that damage racked up. I don't see that ice cube. Uh, yeah, it, it does like a spray. It's like a fire hose. Oh, there it is. Yeah. It freezes. It freezes really good. Especially against like shooting the freaking barricade. It's shooting at enemies, and therefore, oh. yeah. But it's like it's like spraying across enemies. No, I don't have any more mana. Oh, all right. Oh, come back to me. Come, come back. back. My friend. My friend. Here I come. I wish the animation was 
The nozzle's not turning. Okay, let's go, 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 go. You see that? Nozzle's not turning. All right. Nothing but uh, traps here. No, we don't need barricades. I mean, I'll, show you, I'll show you what it looks like, but yeah, personally, I don't use them just because of the uh, just because of the fact that they that they can ruin your kill box when you build it. So hopefully, we make part time. I don't know if part time is super doable with this setup. Um, but we'll see. Just because on uh, on multiplayer, you have more orcs that spawn. So Ding! oh no, the coin! No, the coin! It bounced away. Oh. Oh, I got bombed. Yeah, you usually like layer a bunch of those in the back. A bunch of those, uh, um, what are they called? The snowblowers? Yeah, just put a bunch of them in the back there. Back? My yeah. Back. Like behind us at the towards our rift. How far back, bro? Just, however, I don't know. I haven't used them yet, so I have no idea. I don't know what the range is. It feels like a back. What back? Back like, behind like, the freaking... Like back here, on the ceiling. Back. Why not right here? Well, I mean, that's fine too. But if it shoots Great. forward, it'll probably hit more enemies than trying to shoot around them. But I mean, I don't know. I'm kidding. You, you can. Um, who will kill box at spawn and war thing? Kill box. Oh, hang on. I gotta try and okay, these, no, we do got fire guys, so they don't uh, they don't take fire damage for the, for the fire guys, um, but they do take extra ice damage. You can see the gravity pillar it does, uh, but that's a four trap. So it, like so it, like pushes them up. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Freaking Cyclops mage. There we go. That's uh, gotta be a bug, right? Are you getting these through the wall? What do you mean? Yeah, fine. Like, yeah. If it, yeah, if it starts if it starts shooting at enemies through the wall, I'd say that's probably yeah, that's probably yeah. not intended. Look it. it does have a long range though, so I don't know. Um Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, I see what you're saying about the no, tornado. No, if you like place it and it would push enemies up. Yeah, I could see that. <clears throat> What's the best trap and weapon? The stone staff is overall, but it's really good to combo with the with the longbow or with the uh, well with any weapon. It's really good to combo because you can line up headshots on enemies pretty easily. What the heck is in front of me? The bridge on the first, yeah, the bridge on the first is probably the best one to use it on. Um, we're gonna play the first one again. Uh, uh, one sec. What, what are you what are you asking? Oh yeah, your your arrows aren't firing. firing. Another firing. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Were they firing or were they not? They they're firing, but they're getting stuck somewhere. I have no idea. Uh, how's the game? Uh, you said yeah, I'll use the tornado. I think I have to unlock it. If I have to unlock it, I'll use it. But I. I can't remember if it's something that you get later on, but I think you unlock it. And then, let's see, Best Cookie says, Hey man, how's the game on Steam? Any better and steady? Yeah, it's a, it's a lot better. Not only did they do upgrades to make it better, um, just in general, like the game in general is better. Uh, that's what I need to do. But also, uh, it, it, yeah, it, it looks better, feels better. Doesn't lag as much as probably higher quality for you guys as well, um, because you're not limited to having to buy the game or having to pay for Stadia itself in order to get the uh, high quality stuff. Ooh, there's a lot going on. Alright, you said, uh, no, you're fine, you're fine. 
Also, why? And I'm saying, Johnny, you're fine for uh, spelling. I don't, I don't know how to spell anything. I didn't even graduate. I'm kidding. I graduated, but I still know how to spell. Um, also, why is there a giant grinder on the wall? The first map. I. Uh, yes, you can. You can place uh, small flip traps, and you can also place the big one if you get the indoor upgrade. The the flip trap, the giant flip trap, has an upgrade that allows you to place it indoors. I need to get a reload speed on this. Upgraded. Okay, there we go. I was working, uh, so I couldn't download right away. Can't really play. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is, this is great, man. With uh, two players, you're seeing a lot more orcs than you would if you're, or a lot more enemies than you would see if you were uh, playing at one player. Ooh, I died. Come back. Uh, but why use when you have League? Uh, not sure. They don't do three on Stadia. Lack so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's way better on. If, if if lag was your was your issue on Stadia, then this is way better. As long as your computer is like good enough to handle it. I mean, I'm playing on all, all ultra graphics right now and I'm fine. Um, my computer does this weird thing where the fans kind of feel like they're working too hard, but they do it for um, what other game? They do it for uh, Total War Warhammer 2 as well. And that's a, that's a really graphically heavy game, so. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't know why my fans doing that. It's the it's only other game it's done it on, um, and I couldn't figure it out. Okay, you gonna you gonna upgrade? Mm -hmm. uh, no, not at all. Not at all. Uh, Do I have time? Yeah, go ahead. I gotta upgrade. Is that you. okay with you? Go ahead. <laughs> you let you let me know. You let me know. Okay. No. Oh. All right. Let me get the uh, tornado box. Where you at tornado box? There you are. Oh, tornado. Cool. The freeze will, yeah, no longer lift, but it will freeze, and it, or it does physical damage. Now, uh, there's also a wiki, and that's in the description of the video. Um, I'm ready. Almost looks like the uh, game sign went up for some reason. But the wiki has information about the uh, tornado box as well, but I'm we'll ready. use it on the Can next uh, War Scenario. I hear you. I'm talking about chat, dude. Jesus Christ. I know, but dang. Jesus Christ. But dang. Freeze will make it useful. Yeah. The freeze actually helps it a lot, but you have to kind of counter other things or put other things with it. Uh, okay, so we've got. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't upgrade anything in particular, so. Sure. Yeah, why doesn't glue stick to the inside of the tube, Dewald? Um. Actually, here, let's build our kill box right here. In this little, in this little area. This will be where we kill them all. This box that you're standing in. We're going to have put uh, barricades on the other side and force Sorry, them all over here. Sorry, my mind was broken after that question. Oh. I'm trying to unlock the answers to the universe. <laughs> oh, <right>. I see. <laughs> all right, what are we doing? Barricade? Nope, no barricades. Just okay. uh, tar or whatever you want inside this little box and... Uh, and then we'll kill we'll kill him in here. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the audio bug here. Um, you ready? Uh -huh. Cool. Um, build your PC yourself, and your internet's just not the best. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, some people have uh, decent internet, but they just don't have great computers, and so they'd rather pay for Stadia, and that's fine. Um, and some people are the opposite. Um, they have great computers and. They don't really care to have good internet and uh, play offline games, so it's out there now for both, uh, for both parties with uh, Stadia. It's nice, even more people playing it. Yo, So Moon, what's going on?
Oh yeah, that's a good. Oh, that's a good place for it, dude. That's solid, dude. Okay, you stay there. I'm gonna go some do some Caden. There we go. All right, they're gonna walk into this room now. I will have to go and watch it for uh, sappers, but I'll take care of that. Um, said the unique upgrade. Is it pick one or you can use both? It's pick one. If you have the upgrade uh, equipped, then it will do what the upgrade says that it will do. Uh, now, Steady can get destroyed uh, by a raging 10 year old without lagging. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> True. Find channel by accident. Learn a lot from your videos. Also, learn your content. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You know, I, I kind of. Uh, single-handedly did the wiki, um, so I have game knowledge. Ask me anything you want. Uh, I don't really know too much about the new stuff, uh, but I do know quite a bit about the old stuff, so that sounds good. Money! Oh, I've also done lots and lots of endless. Uh, starting though, not so much flyers. I haven't really done too much with the flyer maps. Um, I have beat them, but I didn't really like play them a ton. All right. Uh, if only things for Stadia too. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that's so that side's basically gonna sit there uh, until I see sappers, and then we're gonna take care of them. Otherwise, or oh, and there they are. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, they didn't. Yeah, it's okay. Good. Yeah, they kind of uh, nerfed a little bit the explosive guys from from way before, so they're definitely easy enough to take care of now. I should have probably brought the bear video. Oh no! That, uh, little guy, little guys, no! We need to get the range increase on this so we can take out these archers with, with these. Huh? Said we need to get the range increase, or I need to get the range increase on this stone staff so I can take out the archers with these. Okay. Just stream with the webcam. Well, I mean. I haven't taken a shower today, so my hair is all messy. And the birds, I mean, he's, he's chilling in the cage, I think. Oh no, more of them! No. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, I got him. Okay, I got him now, I got him now. Let me place a cage, there we go. I, I totally don't remember <laughs> when they come out. <laughs> but okay, I got a new barricade over there. Oh, sheesh! Sheesh! Oh, uh, you got him? All right, you got him. Okay, I made it. <clears throat> What's the max combo you can get a single player? I think I was, I heard something about um, times 18, but I've gotten, I think times 14, I think is the highest. Uh, I could try and do some theory crafting on that, but I'm not certain. Oof, okay. Ah, oh, I didn't sell it. Oh, yeah, it Um. Yeah, more cars, nice. Okay, we gotta watch out. This uh, TNT archers might hit you. <clears throat> so just back away on the corner, and then they'll uh, walk into the pillbox. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, is it your side or because streaming? Is that what's kind of pixelated? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Place brimstone next to the barricades? Yeah, I just don't have any brimstone. As a matter of fact, what I would what I would like to do is lasers uh, in front of the barricades, or actually right outside the door, uh, on top of the uh, top of the door. Maybe you're stable to own the community, you and your bird. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Not my bird though. My girlfriend's bird. He just likes me better. Ah, I'm uh, I'm oh, in the archers. Okay, sweet. Uh, yeah, these dude, these boom barrels are freaking killing it, dude. Love it. We're getting a time 16. Very practical. Nice. The one at lasers? Because I haven't bought them yet. Holy moly. And because that's the. Uh, it, it's. Um, I have a build I'm going for. And uh, lasers aren't part of that. I'm going for a boom barrel roller build. And everything what? that helps boom barrels okay. is what works. Say that again, T Wall. Did they just hit the barricade? Uh, the TNT archer shot at you. 
and the and the extra explosion damage. Oh, the barricade. Or the I'm barricade, sorry, yeah. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. No, yeah, just the barricade. I was like, oh my lord. He falls off. I mean, I've definitely done this uh, before on Stadia and stuff, so I'm not looking to play too hardcore, but I just want to play around with the new stuff quite a bit. Although we may bring lasers for a different level. Bending. All right, so these barricades. So I'll, I'll pull this one back. Voice is kind of getting sore right now. I don't know why. Double stack those. And hey, look at that. We're already over here. Need some more bar blast. But yeah, I may. Uh, I may introduce lasers. Bending. You ever the boom about the boom barrels? Um, yeah, I'm very happy about the boom barrels. Absolutely. Matter of fact, might as well get more of them. Shooting me from the right. Steppers. Oh. Easy. Oh, hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the leaks. I got the leaks. Don't worry about the leaks. I got them. I got them. I died. You're fine. I think they increased the mana costing on the stone staff because it's so good. Um, I need to blow that up there. There we go. Hey man, we gotta get back to our. All right, you, uh, you, you just head your head, head yourself back there, and I'll take care of these guys. Hey man, there's no longer. Oh, the freaking mountain hunter! Damn, these guys are having got it out. How the fuck I live? I can't live. These guys are a little bit, uh... Oh, goddammit. No grenadiers. Yeah, they're pretty tough. Oh, nice. Good idea. Okay, we got it. We got it. Nice, nice building in the back. Easy peasy. <laughs> oh, crap. I am not paying attention to chat right now. Holy crap. Uh... I'll splash more boom barrels. I think it's I think it's doing work for us, right? That's what we uh, need. Okay, uh is, oh, is Dr. Boring on an OMD veteran? Yeah, he's totally an OMD veteran. He's played this game many times, right? Right, 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 right I died. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. No, we got him, we got him. It's okay. We can do it. Hey, nice, nice spam dude. NT Archers, you gotta go. Sorry, 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 but you gotta go. Damn! You got that right mouse button. Spam, dude. Alright, this is going really good. We got this, man. This is easy. Alright. Sell this crap. Alright. Go back to our kill box and uh, not do that again. We have a minute. <laughs> Two minutes to beat this. Uh, I think we might be okay. Uh, why are there trolls and why do you have 10 rip points? Uh, we have 10 rip points because it's the difficulty we're on. And they're trolls because that's the difficulty we're on. As opposed to not having trolls, I guess? Um, there's always been trolls in the game, I think. Uh, why are there enemies from way later in the game there? Uh, I see you guys are having a hard, uh, or YouTube's having a hard time rendering everything. So, I'm gonna turn the graphics down here in a second. Um... Good. <clears throat> yeah, it's because of the Rift Lord difficulty. It really like it really like uh, tries to kick your butt. I'll be able to upgrade the stone staff though after this. I got some hunters here. Yeah, Knolls can jump over barricades and they'll target you uh, generally. Also, uh, with the with the uh, addition of an extra person, we may not make part time because of that leak, but we'll see. Yeah, I know. 
We'll try. I should bring lasers. Uh, if I if we don't make this, I'll, I'll buy some lasers and put them over there on the right. But I really need to be fire lasers to be that effective. Yeah, I don't think we will. Um, it's really close, though. Holy crap, that's close. Oh, jeez. It's so close, man. Uh, yes. Hunters do zero damage if they walk into your rift, but they'll target you most of the time. No. Oh, we saved the rift. So we saved whatever, whatever's on the other side of it. Uh, fight the Game. explosive enemies carrying with us uh, with the sword. Yeah That's kind of the idea there. Um I'm get the lasers. They're gonna help us with the uh... Dude Fortunately, I can't reduce our cost so that's a little bit unfortunate, but that's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world uh, what other upgrades do I, get? Uh, I have no work. Oh, hey, bud Well, Jen, it looks like he wants to join. Fly this cage and walk over here to me. All right. I don't know. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Well, he can. Uh, oh wait, do we want to retry, or do you want to do this one uh, first? Do you want to retry or no? Uh. Yeah. I have consulted. Yeah, let's retry. Okay, I'll kick back out there. and you go ahead and ready up when you're ready. I can't ready up. Yeah, it's still loading. Okay. Oh. uh... Okay, I'll 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 turn the graphics down a little bit for the stream because it looks like I'm seeing it on OBS. I'm gonna be honest. Even on my ultra settings, this game doesn't look like super beautiful. Right. You know what I mean? Well, you should have seen it on Stadia. <laughs> what was it? I don't Apple. have everything in max. So I don't have enough skulls. You gotta get these skulls down here at the bottom left in order to upgrade stuff, and you gotta beat levels and whatnot to get skulls. Um, since it just came out, I haven't gotten the skulls yet. Uh, yep, the bird is out. I sit on my shoulder. You're probably gonna walk over my keyboard and try to eat my mouse pad. <laughs> Typically, that's what he does. So. I'm ready, by the way. I'm ready. Well, All I right. Mean, you can obviously. Yeah, yeah. You ready? You okay. Yeah. You good? Let's do. It. Let's do it. So, birdie eats the mouse pad again. Come on, bud. Uh, All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll bring the lasers. Uh, we'll try and <laughs> try and well. use them over there, but um. Yeah, okay, so for now, uh, same spot. It's really good uh, to build here and to kind of catch everything in this. What's your OBS streaming bitrate? Oh, that's a good question. And hang on, let me check the graphics a little bit. We're going to go, we're just going to turn them down to high and we're going to leave them at high. So, uh, and let's see here. Uh, Steam release does reset your progress to an extent. Um, I think my bitrate, what, uh, stream... Uh, I can't I can't change or see those when I'm live. So yeah, I don't know. That's weird. It's not there. Um Yeah, so in the Steam release it does reset your uh your progress. However, um there is a way that Stadia has allowed you to lo download your local files or download files locally, so that way you can um export them over to the other games. So I could have I could have uh taken the uh, whatever, whatever I have from the other game and moved it over here, but... And then that defeats the purpose of doing it all over again, you know? Going through the challenges and everything? Come on. Who doesn't want to do that? Oh, I should have done the stone staff first, maybe. I don't know. Do you know when we'll be able to cross-platform? Yeah, I'm not really privy to any new information, but the last time I heard anything, it was never. Um, at least not right now. It's not a thing that they're working on. Those explosions are pretty pretty wide, actually. That's that's good. So yeah, I think I've got the everything I need for the. Okay, I'm going. Yep, good. Uh, did you buy lasers no. just to not use? Oh, I, I bought lasers to use them. I just, they cost so much money that I got to wait till I have more money. Um, I'd rather build the barricades and everything and, you know, work on the kill box a little bit and then I'll, and then I'll get the lasers going. Um, 
they're really only to take care of the sappers, and for now I can kind of take care of the sappers on my own. These are other oh, TNT archers. Okay. Yep, they have it on my uh, on uh, number zero. Man, I need that range so I can get those uh, dynamite archers in the back pretty easily. Okay. Yeah, I'm on mana. I really probably should get the mana trinket as well. Um, but I may not be able to include that in my in my little thing that I'm doing. Man, you're doing some kind of jig as you're moving around, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's called the, the jig. Oh, you got the acid. Yeah, that's really good. Um, so acid makes enemies take extra physical damage. Um, which boom barrel rollers are... A some... Assuming they are, uh, could be physical damage. Okay, they are expensive because I don't have them upgraded yet, but they should help. And we're already over here. Yeah, so they took care of those guys. Yeah, that's good. That'll help me not have to go over there. Uh, this, why does the snow launcher use acid? It is, an, it is a unique upgrade when you're using an item uh, long enough or, or meet some sort of criteria. Then you get unique upgrades and... Uh, the snow launcher has an acid upgrade, or it does acid damage. Wouldn't that combo with tornado? Uh, it's kind of hard to use stuff with tornado because tornado is so large that the acid sprayer probably wouldn't do too much with the tornado. It gets pixelated during heavy effects. Higher bitrate can solve that. Okay, I'll give that a look, ninja. After you buy the, so you can do the freeze. Um, you like the freeze upgrade? That's weird. I just heard the sapper noise, but there's no sappers. Yeah, I heard it. Huh. I didn't see him in the minimap. That's weird. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Oh. Oop. Yeah. That's really a good spot for a boom barrel roller, I think, in my opinion. Um. Yeah, after you buy the unique upgrade for the freeze, it still wouldn't necessarily do uh, a ton of good because the uh, um, acid is lingering effect. Well, it lingers for a couple of seconds, yeah. Alright, cool. Some more lasers. Fill that in with lasers, and that should help us against all of the sappers that come out of there. And that'll be fine. So, ask them and let them walk into the Windy Boy. Um, yeah, but the Windy Boy is a little bit, uh... No! No, don't take attacks! No, don't take shots! Hey, Jane, could you close the back door? Oh, she may not be dressed. Uh, all right. Yeah. Hey, T. Walk, go ahead and uh, go no. ahead and pause it real quick. Press escape. I did. It, it, it doesn't pause. pause. It doesn't pause. No. I don't think it oh. pauses. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Something good. Thought it would. That's okay. I was thinking we could, unless there's a pause out. Yeah, there's not. I didn't think they weedied so soon. They just weedied like the other day. Did you be able to close the back door? I we I guess we can't pause. I was trying to pause. Uh, Jen, Jenny, Jen. Okay, cool. All right, mm. that's fine. We're good. Yeah, the uh, so when orcs attack you, they also do some like area damage. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't brothers. care. I was trying to hold him there, so... Yeah. You're fine, you're fine. I appreciate it. Like, I don't care if they hit the, the thing. Yeah, I, yeah, much done. To I swear, they literally came by, like, two days ago <laughs> to, to do that, so I don't know. Um... There we go. Do that, and... 
Yeah, easy boys, easy. And more of that. Come around the corner. What? Ooh, lasers. Okay, I can hear stuff now. Uh, Dr. Boingo, what is your field of practice? Ninja asks. My practicing field? Yeah. Uh -huh. What'd you say? Huh? What would you say your practicing field is? Um. Sitting in a chair. <laughs> what? Sitting in a chair. Sitting in a chair, being lazy, yeah. That's, that's, that sounds about right. Sounds about like T-Wolf. I'm counter. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to actually uh, raise your voice here. I turned you down a little bit. Uh, raise your voice. Okay, there we hey, go. Hey, troll, don't you do it. I was... Well, now you're loud. Uh, who's that? What? MTB Alexander FR just subscribed. Hey, thanks for the subscription, man. Good, was it? Nothing too important. Dynamite stuff. Yeah, you're good. Oh, watch out, whoop. dynamite stuff. Uh -huh. whoop, 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 whoop. It was just one of those kids next to you. As long as it wasn't one of the kids on the side, we're, we're fine. Even still, we're still fine. Um, hey, wouldn't some blade spinner facing Are down you be useful? Uh, is how you're gonna let him get through? I mean, I had to. I died. <laughs> just came back. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> blade spinner. Are you talking about the wall blade launcher? Um, I mean, yeah, it'd be okay, oh. I guess. It'd, it'd, be, it'd be fine. It's actually sometimes better horizontally, uh, depending. I'm gonna replace these two gates. I should have thought my stuff, but I didn't. I missed. Click. Here, there you go. So now those gates can take a hit, and they still won't get through. Okay, we're gonna have some more uh, Noel Grenadiers coming in. Go ahead and get some boom barrels up here. Ouch, I'm dead. Ooh, exploding after it died. You know, I don't really like the exploding after it died thing because it assumes that, um, it assumes that the saw blade is going to be near enemies when it blows up and expires. It has to expire in order for that to, uh, for that to occur, so, um, you know, I, I don't think that's uh, that it's worth getting the uh, explosion. I think the bleed is better for not only combos but overall damage. Because if it if it bounces and then it like flies out into the middle of nowhere, um, I guess if you put it vertically and you have an enclosed room, then yeah, that's fine. But if you put it horizontally where it can affect more enemies, then bleed's better for it. You already have a doctor that sits around. <laughs> Yeah, well, he's not an actual doctor. I wouldn't trust him. I wouldn't trust him. You don't know that. Oh, that's true. You could be a doctor now. Have you, know, you ever? He's yeah. A, he's, oh, a, he's, a, he's an IT guy. I had, to, I had to break it to him the hard way. I still got to turn my music down. This <laughs> is loud. I may need to as well. I don't know how loud it is for you guys. It, it's probably it, it seems like it might be really loud right now, so I don't know but nobody's saying to turn it down for me Yeah, I turned mine Below 50% Much more tolerable. Well, I you can hear you a lot better. Yeah, adding ice damage. You can see how it does that oh, Adding does ice damage We got 35 seconds by the way. Yeah, we're fine Ooh, it's all that explosion. All in the hit. It's all in the hit. Oh, yeah. All right. We got three skulls. Uh, I got four skulls. As, I can uh, actually do something with that. But as a doctor, I recommend uh, Baja Blast 10 out of 10. Jesus, you're loud. <laughs> okay, I'll turn you back down. You just need to be consistent. I'll put you at 100%. Add you at 70. <laughs> I had you at 70. Then I'll put you up to 120 because you're quiet. Put me at 81. Oh, Jesus. Don't ever put a somebody above 100 80 okay you're you're now at zero i'm kidding <laughs> yeah you, you get zero for the next five minutes um okay so i got 
four. I do want reduced collateral damage taken for the Cades. Uh, ceiling Leech, that's what it was. Okay. Let's say continue. I love I this tune. So. It's my jam. <laughs> even though you didn't even you ask if I was done upgrading. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> oh, fine, upgrade. Uh, no, I'm already, do I'm already done. Okay, then ready up. I have to load in! Well, then load in hurry. I've got the quicker, gear faster. cogs spinning right now. <laughs> the little one then. and the big one. And I got barricades. barricades How much is acid geyser? Seven? Reduce acid cooldown. Acid geyser, you son of a beach. <laughs> it's a geyser, not a geyser. <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, he's my doctor. You know, he recommends uh, prescriptions of daily intakes of Baja Blast. <laughs> Large consumptions at once. <laughs> Large quantities of consumption. No ice. Make sure it contains no ice, but it needs to be ice cold. Exactly. Okay, so we can wall off one side again, but we're going to need to put some lasers up for uh, zappers that come out. Uh, I think, actually. Maybe it's easy enough without needing it. Okay, so what's the deal with these strange Put it at 1423322121. What? Put what at that? Score? I'm not sure what, what numbers, what, what can get to that high of a number. Um, so we're gonna have archers as soon as the uh, ogres come out, so it's gonna be really annoying for us to fight. Matter of fact, we may want to fight at the door. You oh. may want to fight oh. at the door. Oh, oh, God! Oh, no! <laughs> out here in the wild. Bam. Do it now. Bam. Do what now? I have no idea. I think they're talking about uh, doing something with the uh, numbers. I don't know. The numbers. What are the numbers, man? The numbers don't lie. Oh my goodness. I will put the lasers down here pretty soon, though. So that way we can not have to worry about sappers. And it'll kind of help everything else. Oh, the mana. They definitely, I really feel like they've reduced the mana, or they've increased the mana cost on the stone staff. I seriously think so. Either that, or I just don't ever play Kelsey, and she's got a different mana pool than the rest of them. Okay, start with that. No, the sappers! No! Oh shit! Oh crap! Oh crap! They added. Oh, they add more of them because it's co-op. Damn it! I was like, I'm pretty sure we're fine. Uh, okay, let's restart. You just what, uh, escape, the re escape and retry. Yeah, they did. I didn't even see where they came from. <laughs> yeah, it was the sappers. I tried to get up there. Right, so it was the sappers. They came out of this door and they ran straight for the caves over here. You're saying something and I'm not even loaded in. Oh. Okay, here we go. I see you when you're... Okay, so they came from this door. And they were like, hey, we're going to go over yeah, here. Yeah, I saw them do that. And they I blew up the barricade. I tried to blow them up, up before they blew it up. Yeah. I tried to shoot them. And I think I think what actually slipped through is when you were focusing on them, something slipped through behind you. Um, I think yeah. so. Yeah, so. we both went cut. We both cut two yeah. and went, yep. Uh, In that case, hmm. let's do the barricades on the other side. Let's do the barricades here. Well, we can hold off the barricades if we don't need them. I mean, well, I we, guess we do need them. We, it's nice to have we them. Do. And so we should build our kill box over on this side. And then what I'll do on wave two is I'll is I'll stand down here. You can stay up there, and I'll just take care of them. I won't use the ceiling lasers yet. Um, I'll save the money for for some other traps on the other side. Uh, yes, you can. Gravity pillars and the laser beams are the two traps that have infinite range, so you can place them up there as well. It's also a pretty good idea to use gravity pillars, but use a laser or two in front of the doors. Well, if I had the upgrade for them, um, the uh, Crap. The range on this thing is just small. If I had the uh, the extra lasers upgrade, then it would definitely be... Uh, I could put it just like one or two of them. I wouldn't need more. But since I don't have the extra lasers upgrade yet, I kind of need... Um, I kind of need that first. Imagine having to fire his bow and arrow. Like this in real life. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Yeah, you're gonna be sore, dude. <laughs> I've been practicing. Yeah. 
Right. Oh. Three. Go. Oh. Nice. Incoming. And look at that. It's up again. And skadoosh. Oh. Wow. Nice. So, yeah, it's the trap reset ring. It's pretty cool, you know. I'm oh, they're freaking archers popping in the whole time. But, uh, you know, but... laser. Well, I have to do damage with the lasers to upgrade them first. What I can do, don't staff the sappers. Take care of them. Okay. Yeah, some I'll take care sappers. of the Nogrenadiers as well. I'm curious to see if this will reach. So, don't judge. It does. What's happening? Do you need me? What you mean? Are you okay? No. No, I was just uh, oh. placing an acid trap. I didn't realize you left. I see. Look at that. It reaches! <laughs> Bam! Okay, so maybe the uh, maybe the uh, snowblower is also a new trap that does um, uh, thing. Uh, how high oh, up it is? It depends on the weight of the orc. If the orc is heavy, then it's going to go higher. Um, if it's a lighter orc, then they're... Or, I'm sorry. If it's a lighter orc, it goes higher. If it's a heavier orc, they uh, they don't float as high. But it's on a, it's on a timer, so... Um, depending on when they reach that area within that timer. So that's part of it. It's a big part of it. Ah, uh, burp got me. Okay. Um, I'll let you place a couple more traps there. Just want to make sure... We don't get any sapper issues and I can upgrade uh, those lasers and that'll help against on. some of the small guys okay so that'll take care of sappers coming out of that gate we'll just do the same thing for the other gate I think sappers come out of the right gate now next um, oh barricades damn it yeah dumb archers dumb archers are dumb now what if the gravity pillar reached all the way down gravity pillar does reach all the way down my freaking lord. But it's Get out of here with your nonsense. No. It's but it's why. Ah, oh, they beat me! <laughs> they beat me to death! Oh, crap. Um, I need to get faster reload hello. on this thing. I gotta go. I went the wrong way. No. I went the wrong way. Save me from your shame, me from my share. Look at all of them in the air. Wake, wake up. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? Uh, so oh, arcane my. damage or laser beam? I got bite, bite, bop, boop, bop, beep. Uh, I'm not sure I understand the question. Let's see. Let me let me reread it. One sec. Let me make sure we don't lose any lives. We're still good on part time. Okay, everyone else is stuck over here. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. There you go. Okay, I don't really like that. I want to sell that. Okay. Kind of do it. Hold them up in the air for a little bit too long. Uh, it's, it's nice to have though, you know. Um, so is, I guess. Arc is arcane damage better or more laser better? Um, arcane damage is okay. Um, but lasers because they have such a such a wide range of effect. Uh, I think in general, I would say the lasers are better. Uh, okay, we got sappers coming out of somewhere, but I don't see them right now, so I think we're okay. Oh, those are coolest laser beams. I just realized that. That's cool. Yeah. Dude, it's the arch. The archers keep shooting the barricades because they're trying to attack us. Um, they're, they're really uh, annoying you, on this. Well, oh, okay, attack me, sure. I gotta look get close enough at. to keep them all no, there, man. Boom, baby. Out! They're killing me. Oh. Yeah, they've they've increased the man on the stone staff. It's still really good though. Probably still better than ice. I don't know. Uh, remember to upgrade lasers. Yeah, I will. Um, I have to do enough damage with them or something to get the unique upgrade unlocked. But I should be I should be able to do that after this map. I just don't know if we're gonna use them a ton uh, for all of the maps. It just really depends. All right, I'm gonna run down here. Uh, I'll replace that barricade of yours since it's really hurt. That should take care of most things coming out of there. And then in the meantime, we can just do more boom barrels. 
Uh, have you ever heard of Dungeon Defenders? I have heard of it. I have not played it. Um, there are plenty of other Orcs players that have played it, though. Um, so if you're wondering like how it compares to Orcs Must Die um, 3, uh, I would just ask one of them, maybe. Um, Wanderbots, I think, has played played uh, Dungeon Defenders. Let's see. Ju Mr. Juice Bags. Um, I don't know if Vermillion Phoenix has played it or not. So yeah, we got Sapphirts over there on the left, but they should all be dead, and they did. They all died. Oh, but he's getting all up see it. Can't pick up a freaking orc from the darkness in the crowd. Of all the orcs. <laughs> yeah, I know there's too many of them. <laughs> That's really cool. They have, they have a really long range, uh, so that's neat. That's really neat. <laughs> easy peasy, let me go easy. Right, but I'm going to go ahead and put one more laser out here as I need to. And everything else is going to be up here. Let's do that. Like this. Load dungeon defenders. Yeah, I never ended up playing it, but... Uh, I mean, I heard it's, I heard it's in somewhat similar. Yeah, I wish I was seeing this so I could just go to sleep and the or uh, archers won't attack me, but here we are. They're sticking onto each other there. I need to launch it correctly over there. There we go. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I know what it is. I, I know it's also somewhat similar to this, but uh, yeah, I just haven't, uh, I haven't ever played it. I did look at playing it because uh, when Unchained went away, I didn't really have much to do, and so I was thinking uh, maybe I'd give it a shot. But I never, I never ended up playing it. Damn, those explosions are cool. Wow, that kill streak. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of orcs, you know, and ogres and stuff. All right, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get them. We're almost there. Boom, made part time, didn't lose a life. That's easy. Squeezy lemon. I got the giant flower shaft. Yeah, we've we've already unlocked them. That's just part of this part. Okay, so we're gonna do the. Uh, this is now. Let's see where is it? Tornado in a box. Yeah, I can't do anything until I lift them. So I'll show you a tornado in a box on this one. This is gonna be the war scenario. Um. And I can do the stone staff. Yes. Okay, stone staff upgrade. That's good. Um, I'll do blade staff mana upgrade. Or no, actually, no, not yet. I'm going to do uh, a little bit more into lasers, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you know what? I think it's I think it's better to do the additional lasers. Uh, okay. Okay, I continued. I hope you're ready. Yeah, okay. Very good. More Baja Blast. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. Ah, taste it. Do you taste it? Easy. You feel All right, blast. we're playing the Cygnus and Borwick now. Now you get that insane teleport. <laughs> Stupid freaking sword, though. I hate them. Dude, they are they are bottom tier for me. Um, but that's okay. All right, so let's get this. I'm gonna get rid of the flip trap, and we're gonna do the tornado. Extra the friends awaken. Yeah, you know, I, I thought about uh, maybe becoming more of a variety streamer, but I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm really. There we go. Uh, I don't know. What do you want to set up? You want to go into a room? There's a oh, room back here. We can do it. Um, mm, nah. No, not the same guy. Let's um, right. let, let's build. Let's build inside. Let's build inside. I'm gonna have those out there so we can kind of take a look at them and stuff. Let's actually uh build up here, and inside this room in here. 
right behind this door. So we'll let them through the door and then we'll just kill them all right here. And if you got, yeah, if you got the, um, uh, cannons, lay the cannons in the back so I can put the lasers in the front. Well, now we know the door actually stops the explosion chain from happening, so that's neat to know. Okay. Alright. So we'll just, um, you know, we'll start it and then we'll let them kind of go over there. I love the first uh, DD and, and it's like a reboot. Yeah, like I said, I never played it. I've played other games, you know, uh, League of Legends, Total War, Warhammer 2, uh, Dungeon Keeper. I have that on the channel, actually. Rollercoaster Tycoon, all that stuff. All right, let's take a look at the uh, tornadoes. So it'll lift them up. And it tosses them. Now, the smaller they are, the farther they fly. And so one of the problems with using it sometimes is if you have your kill box... For example, if you have like a tornado right here, it can lift it up and put it over there and it can like miss your kill box and stuff. Uh, whenever you play your first war scenario, you actually only have access to two of them. Oh, you brought the regular flip traps. Hey, that's pretty good. You only have access to two Just slots, so... We're getting overwhelmed, you know? Always be yeah, you're right. Uh, archers are going to shoot at us though and they're going to hit the barricades, so... <laughs> we need to, we need to maybe put them a little bit farther behind. Never! Okay. Yeah, so we only have two slots right now. Now, when we play the next war scenario, we're going to have, um... We're going to have another uh, two slots, and then the next war scenario gives us our last two slots. So I don't... I didn't bring him with me. He might have... He might have them, but... Um... What? The, uh, giant flip trap. No... Yes, I do. Yeah. So that's... That's kind of how those work. But yeah, that that small corridor of flip traps uh, for you is uh, that's actually a really smart idea. Because they clump up, so they don't move as fast as they otherwise would. Get the archer. I'm getting them. It's about to burn to hell. Oof! Ah, he's stuck. I, I just killed him. Oh no! He bonked me on the head very hard. I've seen the on the traps that yeah, cause they all they spread out and stuff, yeah. Okay. Breaking orcs. Mana. I need more mana. Do you like throwing in a box? I don't. I hardly ever use it. I think the catapult's really good if you set up barricades for it. Um, and I think the ballista's really good because it has a stun and it does a lot of damage. Um, it's really good to take our bosses. The catapult is. Or not the, I mean the ballista. Um, and we'll get it on the next war scenario. We'll get the ballista. But other than that, I don't really care for the war traps too much. I, I think prefer I to just this. have like a, an actual kill. Oh, uh, there's actually one war trap that I do like a lot, um, and it's the tower. The tower works really well because uh, you can like make your own makeshift kill boxes in these giant areas. So I do like that one. I'll say. Okay, he's gonna have to come up here, I think. All right, there we go. Sad. I mean, they're cool, but you know, I've I've played this game for for the last year, and and I've used them, and I've I've had fun with them, but you know, personally, I just think the efficient the efficiency of um of other stuff. But here, I'll put it on the bridge. I'll put it up here. More on the way. So we can see it on the bridge and flying, making them fly off. And I want to do... I think I want to do a boom barrel roller here, yeah. And that'll force them to come out here so we can kill them next to the boom barrels. <clears throat> but I'll show you uh, really cool setups with the tower. Uh, the tower's really nice. 
And you can actually place war scenarios on top of the tower scenario. Or the, the on top of the tower war scenario. Trap. Am I am I saying the right things? I think I'm messing up what I'm saying. You can put like ballistas, catapults, banks of archers. Um, even the tornado traps you can put on top of the war towers themselves. As well as other traps. Um, one of the cool things is the guardians to put them up there. Ah. No. Bah, uh, one of the other reasons I don't like the uh, tornado, even though it does take a bunch of them off, um, it's because it doesn't do anything to the big guys. So the freeze is nice, but you gotta really combo it with something else that works. Um, I don't know. I, I can kind of see use for it now that I think about it a little bit more, but... There we go. I just did the trap reset, so it, uh, so it could trigger again. We can get a bunch of them. Since we're able to kind of hold everything uh, together so far, I think we can probably afford a bunch of those and see what they do. Uh, you got it. You can charge it up, and it does like a long-ranged attack. It's it does like a pierce, I think, and I don't know. <laughs> I just did a video on it, and I just don't know what it does because it's uh, that's how good it is. Yeah, I. <laughs> it's it's infinite range. It's like a ranged attack, basically. It's like a single range attack that uses mana, and you can just like bring a ranged weapon. Yeah, but then the ogres are, the, are what's hard to take care of uh, most of most of the time, especially armed ogres. They just have so much health and everything. We're gonna headshot this guy with lightning. Runners, no, not runners. Damn it! What the? Kind of late reaction was that from this trap? I skipped another tornado. I see you, you want to flip him backwards. That's pretty smart. Oh. Uh, okay, I got him. Beautiful. Yeah, the, those runners really do uh, do a number on us. Um, let's see. So the boom barrel dispensers don't actually automatically pop up. Oh. Oh, I got bonked again. Bonk. Here we uh, let's see. Headshots are easy. They're easy if you can stone them, yeah? Otherwise, it can be difficult, especially if you stun. Stunning and headshotting at the same time is, can be a little bit challenging. Alright, I'm gonna move this back here. If you want to keep throwing barricades, you can. Or I'll do, I'll do a couple. <clears throat> uh, lone ogres are easy to kill, yeah, but... Did you get, like, three armored ogres together, and with the stun staff costing more mana now? Um, it can be a little bit annoying. Well, I think the crossbow is the best thing for them. Crossbow with extra like headshot, or or even the the longbow is good, because if you stone or freeze the enemy, they take bonus physical damage, so that's good. But we do have a lightning damage, and armored ogres are supposed to take bonus from lightning, so <laughs> at least I got a ton of health. You say the man, yeah, but then I mean, yeah, I just like killing the. I like being part of the killing of the orcs, and not like, you know. I like the tornado. Now, I, I think they uh, randomly move around, um, but I'm not certain on that. Wonderful. Working out really well. <laughs> Let's say get caught in the tornado and tosses them. No, I just didn't land the them. But this looks damage. What's the way to what's the way to do ogres then? Tell me, tell me. <laughs> it is pretty fun. Boom barrel rollers? Boom barrel rollers is good. Stack a bunch of them. 
Yeah, I wish that cooldown for the um, lightning ring was a little bit easier to see. Because I can't tell. I can't tell when it's not on cooldown. When it gets close. There we go. This isn't really going to do anything against Craig, though. Oh, we got some dudes walking back here. What the heck? That's what I should. All right, we're good. They must have got yes. Yeah, so they got tossed over there because of the tornado, I think. That's how they ended up over there. <laughs> I saw one get tossed off the bridge because of it. Oh, look there they go. <laughs> giant flip crab. Yeah, the giant flip crab. I think it can do stuff to the ogres. Um, you can actually. It makes them Knock, just knock them over. Yeah, it doesn't send them very far. You have to like get them right on the edge of it for them to be flipped over. Um, the small flip traps also have an upgrade to do that, but again, the range that it throws ogres and stuff is really small. I'm gonna get rid of this corner cade. Uh, who we got over there? Slide orc just sleeping on the job. Okay. There we go, we'll do that. <clears throat> well, ogres are weak to ogres are weak to headshots. Um, armored ogres, however, have a physical resistance, uh, but they are weak to lightning, whereas uh, regular uh, ogres are not. Or they might be. I'll have to read the tooltip again. It will damage everything it doesn't kill. Oh, I mean, everything damages everything it doesn't kill. <laughs> the trap does. With the addition of acid, I think it's going to help against armored ogres. Nope, there he goes. <laughs> See you later. Sucked into the tornado and thrown off the edge. Matter of fact, I might as well. Yeah, I think this still does more damage. It's got a slower rate of fire, so it's a little bit clunkier. <laughs> All right. Just doing good. some work, dude. Ah. And the birdie's like. Throwing his toys all over the desk. <laughs> oh, correct. Okay, there we go. I think we're okay. I want attention. No, I gotta run. That's how to spell ogre. It damages everything. What? <laughs> o g r e. Oh, you spelled O G E R. Yeah. That's okay. Ogre is one of those weird English words. You know, T Wald, I gotta admit, I've never tried all this stuff. Um, his toys keep falling off the desk. Uh, but this is actually looking pretty good. I <laughs> just tossing them back. <laughs> oh, come on, here it goes. Oh, he made it. You know, there's an item called the Wind Belt where you can push enemies. Oh. Yeah. I really wanted to. I guess we're getting that next. <laughs> <laughs> it does cost mana to use, but. Yeah. Oh. Well, dang. That's kind of disappointing. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't use a lot. Well, at least it didn't. Uh, they may have upped it a little bit. We'll see. It does move them a little bit, but just not enough to flip them over. Unless you put it at the very edge and they're caught on the very edge of the giant flip trap, then it will. Um, but now we've got the ogres to deal with, and and now they're tough to deal with. So it looks like they. Oh, I don't have the physical damage, so you can get the tornado upgrade to either do physical damage or to freeze. Um, physical damage might be the better choice here. But we'll maybe. Okay, sweet. There we go. 
Do what you don't have to fight now. If we have it, yeah, true, true. All right, we get the boss, Krieg. Uh, I'll put another tornado there. Then some boom barrel there. Yeah, yep. See if we can hit Craig at all. Over here. You know what? I can go stone staff him and take care of him with lightning rod. As he moves away, okay, cool. There we go. Got the skull. All right. Now we'll go help out back up here. Now we should be good on part time uh, still. Point. Making it through, do ya? Boing. <laughs> now we could get some guardians. Ah, we got to run our. Maybe the boss to. Oh, yeah. I mean he's. He he's didn't not, he's not too he hard. got flung. There's actually <laughs> easier bosses. There's bosses that, that are. That was awesome. There's bosses that are just more of a joke than him. Wait, what do you expect? The first boss. There are also bosses harder than him, though. There are easier ones. I think he went to attack you or me or something and he hit the barricade. Or he got stuck. It's also a possibility. Huh. He's like, he like thinks he's stuck or something. His padding is making him attack the barricade for some reason. Uh, which it shouldn't. Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah the, to this out. barricade here in the back is causing him to attack the barricades. He can't pass through that. Which is probably uh, it's probably okay. Well, yeah, this one right here. It. This one right here, because it causes a like a. I thought it only. I thought they only destroy when they get near it. Well, it's whenever they can calculate their pathing, and it looks like they can calculate the pathing there. Oh, the bird just took a snapshot. Hey, thanks, bud. <laughs> He's walking on my bird. keyboard, and every time he does, I'm really worried. Oh, really worried that he uh, is gonna press the power button. There's a power button on my keyboard. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could pull it out. I don't know. I, I don't know if I can disable it or not. Well, it's blocking sell it. Well, we can't sell it until the end of the round, and it's already the, the last the last wave, so we're not going to be able to do that Arr. yet. Okay, Black Pops a mage. So unfortunately, what, what they would do is they would just keep attacking Cades until they got to that Cade, or until they've made themselves uh, a, way, a way in. That's what they would do. But we're fine now. Yeah, so he, he had the padding, so he just starts destroying Cades until he can get through. <laughs> well, I guess it holds him there. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. And that's uh, that's not a bad way to look at it. You know, if you use war scenarios enough, or war traps enough, then um, you can just place Cades and have them attack the Cades. And then have your war traps do the work. Okay, now, the next, the next level we haven't played yet. So if we beat it, we get like 16 skulls or something. Okay, uh, go ahead and level up if you need to. Level up some stuff. We go increase reload speed. It's gonna help us a lot. And let me check. Yeah, okay. So let's uh, let's continue on. Let's do it. Indeed. 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 Okay, this one's fun. I like this one. I've read all so we can build a kill box back here. I don't remember what yeah, where we ate. In this corner. Um, and then there's another kill box area in this room. And this gate opens up in this corner. Those are two good places for it. Congrats on beating that on Rift Lord. Thanks. Gracias. Well, I think multiplayer adds a level of difficulty because part-time, I... 
I don't know if it changes or not. I don't think it does. Um, for that, you unlock Rift Lord. Well, for beating it on War Mage, you unlock Rift Lord, and then we went back and played everything on Rift Lord difficulty. Let me see if I got any PMs. Uh, doesn't look like it. It's an LFG thing now. Okay. Um, do you have any traps you're going to put down? Down here? Um, yeah. Now, some people kill right out the gate, and it's a possibility that we're going to need to do that. Um, I don't really remember what all comes out and how easy this is to make part-time, but uh, we'll see. Find out. I beat it long enough ago that I glitched it into Endless and haven't looked back, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah. We, get the, we get the same stuff every time. If we if we beat something. So for beating the basement it says we have the uh or or beating the map before the basement it says we or not the basement, split stairs, it says we have the barricades even though we already have them. I wouldn't say I'm a pro, I mean I got my buddy T Wall, I've learned everything from him, you know. I've learned everything from Dr. Bongo here. I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be, you know, nearly as good as I am today if he wasn't there. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, Dr. Boingo's experience was playing Orcs Must Die Unchained for like... How, how long was it? Um, a couple of hours, maybe? I played a lot more than that. You play Unchained more than a couple hours? Sure. Yeah. You helped me get a couple of achievements, but I don't, I don't remember it being more than a couple of hours. I guess you had, you had to play like to get to to get to the multiplayer level. I think it was. All right, cool. Oh, there's one in the kill box. You got him. Sweet. All right, other other wave op uh, door opens. That door does not open, so we can just kind of focus our efforts on this side. Yes, dog trap is good. So this can definitely be a tough level because you get the Earth Lord, um, and he's uh, he's a bit of a challenge. Holy moly. Might be 163 years. It might be. <laughs> yeah, holy moly indeed. And then these small guys that break apart from them, uh, they just run towards the rift. They don't really do. They don't really try too much to do anything else. Uh, we're gonna do a couple of lasers here on this corner, and we'll do lasers on the other corner. Staff is good enough to, uh, with, the, with the additional help of the boom barrel rollers. That's good. Oh, played the game for 163 years. Yeah, I, I believe it. Okay. That's a long time. It is a long time. <laughs> You're about that old, right? Alright, right, we got both lanes now, so uh you stay on this side and I'll go the other side then. You stay on this side. Uh okay. I, I think we can swap between them, maybe uh maybe not. Uh yeah, okay. We can maybe swap between them. I don't know. Just let me know if you're having any issues. Um okay, I'll I'll stay over here. Oh my goodness, I I I don't know. I see some big guys over here, so I'll stay over here for now. Um we do have the the Lasers on this side. We don't have lasers on the other side. Well, you know, you're technically right. If you do say you're doing every, uh, anything throughout your entire life, you are technically lying because you, at some point, have not done that. Done other things. Even if you've done other things with it. Damn it. No, I died. It's okay. I can get back in time. Maybe. Oh, me too. I'm gonna do this. And freaking archers, man. Oh, are you okay? Uh, yeah. 
There you go. You go back to my side real quick. Mm, there he is. Okay. Like a glove. Our lasers OP. Uh, lasers are really good. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call them OP though. There you go. There's some lasers for you. And another boom barrel roller for you. And I'll put another boom barrel on this side. So they can stack up. Um, they're good because they're consistent. And they're a consistent source of damage. So if you can, like, um, keep the enemies nearby them, then they'll always be doing the damage. So that's why they're, that's why they're good, you know. Um, the, the problem with them is that they... They aren't very... Uh, they don't do a lot of damage, I guess. But... The fact that you can really keep enemies underneath them is, is makes it really good. So, uh, hey, your bear uh, might have been archers on your side. Oh, runners over here. I'll try and help oh, you out. Fuck. I. They come up so quick. The yeah, the knolls, yeah. I'm to play straight. There you go. I'm gonna need to actually get some help and stuff. Looks like I still got runners on my side, so I can help out here a lot more. And some smaller good dudes, that's fine. Okay, we get a good old. And we're still getting runners, so yeah, those lasers work really well. Um, I'll upgrade the tornado for the next war scenario. It's not going to be useful right now. Alright, we're going to extend this out. Like that. Okay. That side's looking real good. Um, yeah, that barricade's hurt, man. Uh, do you have enough money for another barricade? If you do, Don't I would... Worry about it. Well, I was about to say, if you do, I would save it in case that one goes uh, goes down. And you can replace it. Uh, fix it. On this side, an armored ogre that is a okay with me. Oh, I mean, there we go. Did the lightning did the thing. There we go. going on but like I said I think it's because people are playing the game as they're watching the stream and that is exactly what I would be doing that's the spray is pretty dope dude all right we uh, we're looking pretty good on part-time it looks like so that's good crap I goofed it up dude I goofed it up that was my fault <laughs> the wall that's my fault what I placed the barricade wrong yeah no that's wrong okay just didn't want you to be like what the crap are you doing like I said he's the he's the good one at the game and I suck oh here we go sappers we're gonna take care of them or they destroy the cades all right cool now we got sappers on this side Easy. TNT archers on the other side, so just be careful with them around. 
It's on your side there. I'd be happy or sad. Uh, you know, I'd be happy because that means a lot of people are enjoying the game and they're also enjoying the content at the same time. So I would be happy. Oh, uh, you've got a lot of exploded guys. Oh, grenade. Yes, sir. Alright, I'll come to your side. Looks like you're doing okay. Sweet. I'll uh, just take care of these TNT archers there. Cool. Alright. We sell that Kate I placed on in, inappropriately. To, to making another wave. Yeah, I think we're okay. Yeah, I got you. Oh, dude, he's, he's taking the damage, dude. Somebody over here. There we go. Okay, I placed it correctly for you now. Um, all right, here's some more. Just another boom barrel roller for you. Um, I'll place one here. Okay, there we go. Some some moons there. There you go. You still got friends. Oh, no, the sappers on this side. That's okay. One of the reasons you do the uh, the spider walls, as I call them. I started to call them, I guess. It's because it, they'll they'll attack whatever's closest, which means they're not gonna still um, they're not gonna really ruin your Cade setup. Okay. Cool. All right. And over here, you're doing good. So, all right, I got sappers from the top, so we'll take care of them. Oh, TNT archers, never mind. We'll still take care of them. You got sappers on your side. Okay. Got those TNT archers. Uh, sadly, when I tried to play at 7, it said you had to buy again. Are you on Steam, yeah. Sun Moon? There's a giant arm. There's what? There's a giant soul arm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you're on Steam, you shouldn't have to, but, um... You should have been able if you pre-ordered the game. But yeah, if you're on PlayStation, then yes, you do have to uh, re-buy the game. However, they refunded you the money, so you should have... Oh, Xbox. I haven't, I haven't heard any problems with Xbox, but since the game came out on Steam, I haven't really been looking at the, uh... I haven't really been looking at the chat there on Discord. My partner's working so... fine, so I don't know why it's annoying. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. Easy, dude. Seconds. 53 seconds. Alright, now we're gonna get a lot of skulls for this. Let's go ahead and get our upgrades up. Alright, we'll do the barricade, and yeah, do increase reload speed, we need that, uh, we got the healing, we can do lasers, sure. Do lasers up. Oh, need uh, primary attack heal. I thought I had that already, I guess I didn't. Uh, we're not going to use it on tornado until later, you can refund item upgrades. Well, we don't want to because we don't have an... It's going to be another two maps before we can use it again. We can't use it on these maps. All right, T-Walt, let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I'm looking. Tried to buy it. Because uh, my partner said they refunded, so I tried. It said oops, so I don't know what to do. Um, yeah, uh, I would maybe take a screenshot of the error that you get and explain how you got it and put it on Discord help. And somebody there may have seen the issue and knows what to do, or um, or they should be able to figure it, figure that out. Okay, I don't know. What, uh, I'm ready. Okay. PlayStation will be refunded between thirty to sixty days. It takes that long? I bet your refunds would take like maybe two to three business days. All right, Clissa. Alright, so we got the three gates. Here, let me uh, take you to the room. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just walk through that water? Those differences could have made their friendship stronger. Oh. Well, that's a change. This used to kill you as soon as you jumped into it. I wanted to Does find out if it did. Oh. <laughs> so I could flip enemies into it. I was like, oh. Hey, that's interesting. Yeah, that's new. Oh. I wonder what else is new on this map. Um, this map could use a little bit of work. So, uh, okay, so over here is where we're going to have our kill box where I'm standing. So we're going to put um, barricades on the other side. On the uh, uh, This is after uh, wave one, I think. We're going to sell everything and build back here. And then we're going to barricade the other side and put lasers in front of it so sappers can't get it. That's right, man. Yeah, I mean, that's the best you can do is, is try. I have no idea. I don't know anything about Xbox. Um, you're not Jesus in disguise, I mean. I mean, how do you know? Do you uh, ever know? Um, you can put tar up here if you want. But we'll sell it as soon as, like, start just spam selling everything as soon as the wave is over. And we'll have trolls coming out, so that'll be fun. Okay. You know, I just thought of something. Boom barrel rollers can be used pretty effectively, I think, with um, with the decoys, actually. Yeah, I forgot to change what I was putting on. Oh. No. I have to go the whole way. That what I want. Oh. How do you know when the wave's about to be over? How do you know when the wave's about to be over? Uh, it just kind of feels like it's going to be over. I don't know. <laughs> it kind of feels like you got less and less orcs. You don't see anything coming in. Can't walk on water. Oh. Oh, right, because we sank into it. Yeah, you're right, you're right. This is the last guy. Or no, there's a troll behind him. These trolls are the last guys. Okay, this guy is dead. So, 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 so. Oh, we got time. Okay, you go over to the other side, and I'll come over to this side. More enemies what? The you, go to, you go to the other. You go to the other side. Go to the other side. Hurry. All right, start placing some cades to make a kill box. And then traps and stuff. Sweet. Beautiful. Now, there might be TNT archers, so we can't fight too close to the caves. We'll need to watch out for that. Okay. I actually, uh, we could have fought in front of that gate for another wave, but I didn't know when they, uh, when they switched the waves over. So, you know, there's that. Wow. I guess I didn't teach you enough. I mean, this, like I said in my map overview, this map is forgettable. Brother, yeah. you failed me. It's definitely forgettable map. Oof. We're just, did this fluff thing and got it everywhere. Should be able to take it. Because why you didn't even just tank the damage. Well, yeah. You gotta tank damage, man. Um, okay, I'm gonna put more lasers on that side. It's gonna prevent the sappers from doing anything. Uh, one more. But it's probably okay. I'm gonna do a no trap challenge for the game of Earthlord. Uh, yeah, check out Behemoth. Um, Behemoth. Orcs Must Die. Three, I think is his name. Uh, on YouTube. Um, he's also, I have him on featured uh, channels on this channel in the about section. Um, I would check him out. Uh, he does a bunch of, uh, he does a bunch of challenges like that. Of course, it's all in the uh, st uh, Stadia release that he has it on right now, so. Oh no! No! no. That's fine. It's a good, uh, it's a good decoy. It's a good decoy. We're good. 
It stops him from doing anything to this back area. Did this guy die? Oh, fire. right. Lasers. Hey. Uh, Where the heck to go? You're fine. We're good. We need to put more damage traps out here, I think. And, uh, yes. Yeah, we, we definitely need to hide. Uh, hide, hide, hide. Come back here. So they don't attack you. It's the PNT archers. No, TNT archers, no. Okay. Okay. So that was on cooldown. It's not. It's not. There we go. It's still on cooldown. No, I died. We're okay still, we're okay. Okay, and last guy. Cool. Uh, one guy left. There's one guy left. Alright. Um, so let me get some, some lasers here then. Are annoying. Uh, Moto, I tried the skill farm. Told me it's not working. Uh, does it have to be on warm difficulty? Uh, it has to be on endless. It won't work on any difficulty necessarily. It just has to be on endless. The reason it has to be on endless is because when you get um, when you die on wave one, uh, endless counts that as being completed. Um, so yeah. How do they die? I don't know. It has to be on endless. Endless. Um, I'll give it another shot. They may have changed it uh, since I did it, which I don't think they would, but I'll give it another shot. Actually, we'll just... Oh, fucking... hate these things. Cyclops mages are so annoying. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. There we go. Just block shot him in the face. Um, we can maybe try it after this. I don't know. We'll see. We try. Okay. Yeah, just like you know, make sure you get uh, the high score and then and then lose, and then the API get you a, at least one skull. Survive the wave one and kill zero orcs. Phone's going off. Hopefully, it's nobody trying to give me a job. Oh dear. I would pick it up. Nah. Did you nah. Delete my I ain't too worried about it. It's a Friday. They can email me. Yeah, uh, it was uh, some damage being taken by the barricades. Um, I just had to buy the, the game again, thanks. Yeah. So I don't really know anything about it or anything about the Xbox store. So I don't know what you would need to do. I wish I did, but I have no idea. Okay. I'm going to do this. More enemies on the way. Take care of some of those sappers from that gate. So, sappers shouldn't be a problem anymore. Um, just TNT archers. Uh, and I may move those barricades up. Uh, so, what they're doing is they're walking into the room to see that the barricades have stopped them. And then they're running back. Um, the problem with that is... They're, it's kind of taking them longer to get through the kill box, so I may push those barricades up and and just run on that. <laughs> the tiniest, smallest sword in this kill. <laughs> Bet he's proud. <laughs> oh, actually, he got uh, he got to that cave. What can I do about that? I don't know where he came from, actually. He may have came from the center. I know a way to stop Gene Tierras. Uh, you can dodge him, or you can force him to attack you from another direction. Uh, or stone him, or freeze him. They're all possibilities. Um, the best way is to actually not, not take aggro, so you gotta stand far enough away. More lasers, <laughs> I guess. Um, okay, got that, there we go. Where the fuck 
are they walking over those? Ooh, watch out. Well, it's because I had to place it later on. Um, okay, I should just drop them a bomb, so that should help. Okay, we got five, we got four, we got three and two. Just clicking all their buttons on the keyboard. No. We got nine. I should probably get the barricade heal instead. No. How did it? Man, they're really wanting to attack the caves more often uh, nowadays. I don't know why. That's incredible. Freaking archers, dude. All right, we need, we need the damage. I don't know why they're attacking these cades, dude. Like, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna put some, some stuff here. I don't know. There we Money. go. That should help. Uh, yeah, give me a new high score. Mm, happened rip. Did it work? If it gave you a new high score, did you get the skull? That's the question. Because it should give you a skull with the new high score. And a kill streak. It didn't? Ah, okay. Uh... Interesting. I'll have to give it a give some stuff another test then and see if I can get that to work. Yeah, they're taking some serious collateral damage from something. Archers and stuff, dude. Crazy, I don't know. Just gonna like focus archers for right now. There we go. Some TNT archers, I'll take care of them. Yeah, that's pretty crazy you can run through that now. You just not be able to do that. Like these guys are all taking their damage. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're actually just going to do this, and that should help take care of those sappers. So that way we can move those cades up. Come on. To make sure we get that part time. Oh, come out, oh, 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 like, oh, I don't get oh, it. Oh, oh, I didn't know you were in trouble. Who are you shooting over there? No one. I was waiting for the round to be over so I could sell my cades before the timer expired. Get over there then. All right. You got him? Kill him, kill him, kill him. Yeah. Right. Kids back here. That way they see it. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and actually just have the lasers here. Okay. You gotta say hell. Oh yeah, pink commands. Nah, they're still they're still crap. Because they like they're the same color as your as your icon. I guess it's I guess it's your icon is white for your character, and my icon is uh, white for mine, so. Maybe not. Maybe not too bad. Oh no! Okay, so my laser defense in the middle is not good enough. Probably should put tar down there then. It's okay. They're fine. Most of them will go through that wave, I think. Or go through that area. Alright, they got TNT archers over in that area. Do watch out for. Okay, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Just uh, keep them there. Alright, sweet. There we go. Alright. I took one TNT archer shot, but I don't think it's going to hurt the kids. Oh, Look, they're all bunched up over here. You see that? Oh, I see. They've, they've increased the explosion radius. Of uh, archers, interesting. Yeah, they they. Long time 
Sure. Yeah, they've got the hitboxes. You see that? Yeah. You see how it's picking? They're like, why? Why are they stopped there? Look at the group stop not coming through the kill box. Why is that? Mm. Like they're all stuck there or something? You see that? Yeah, I, I see it. I know they have hitboxes. But I also know that it was supposed to be not this bad, I think. What do you mean hitbox? Enemies have hitboxes, and they collide with each other. Nice. Uh, we're not. We're about to not make part time because of that, actually. <laughs> no, no, we will. Come on. Uh, get over here. I'm coming. I'm coming. I just gotta get this ogre because he's gonna chase me over to this side. Um. All right, we can. There's a lot of big guys, and they're kind of hard to farm through. Ugh. Ooh, whoop, we're going. We're going. Yeah, we need to get them in here. That's not supposed to be that way, I'm pretty sure. Shoot your yeah. ass off. Almost, almost. That is A-OK. -okay. We almost got him, dude. Just head shot, 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 shot. All okay. right. Uh. Yeah, that's, that's weird, man. I don't know. Oh, they got they got stuck. They're not supposed to get stuck though. So. Yeah, I was like, what the? Why is there? Why are they breaking? And then, no. Oh, nice, bro. Nice, bro. Nice, bro. Okay, now we got another um, another one of those uh, maps. So here we'll spend some skulls on this. Now you can always. Uh, Put the tornado in a box, and for any of them, you can actually uh, go in and um, undo the item that you get. So, uh, what do we do? Freeze? You want to do freeze, um, Johnny? Or you want to do deals physical damage? One you choose, second. and then I'm gonna go into the. Uh, okay, we need to use it first. Oh, not the right. Uh... What'd you say? What am I doing? What am I choosing? I'm asking Johnny which uh, which up, tornado upgrade he wants okay. to see. Oh, gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay. If it deals damage or it uh, freezes and doesn't lift him up. Uh, in the meantime, let's see, what else do we need? Uh, we can do ceiling lasers. Can you get two unique upgrades at once? Nope, you can only choose one. Okay. Uh, I would do, if you don't have it yet, do the um, collateral damage, uh, reduce collateral damage taken on the barricades. And Blunderbuss, I'm going to do... Yeah, I have an upgrade on my Secondary freezes. barricades pass level too. <laughs> mm. um, we can do this one. We'll do the reduce. Well, uh, we'll just get rid of the reduce cooldown since we don't use it too much. And we'll get the. Uh, we can do the freeze. Just show you guys freeze tornadoes. Freeze tornadoes. All right. Let's hop in. Nice we uh, we're playing yep. this map. What you... Oh, yep. Oh. Whatever this uh, this map. Bye. Yep. Let's do it babe. to it. Front lawn war. Oh, you could have told me we're doing war scenario. I would have. Dang it. Well, what, what would you? I was about to buy some stuff for war scenario. Oh. But I didn't think we were doing it, so I was like, oh, never mind. Yeah, dude. Oh, never mind. You want me to? Right, you want me to restart it? This one's a good one. Oh. Okay. Oh, I should have bought archers. Like regular. I've used my healing. Uh oh. Okay. Of so. So. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. If that is truly your goal, are you ready? All right, check this out. This See where I'm at? I don't think you're ready. See where I'm at? Double no. jump. Double jump. Teleport over here, buddy. I can't do that. That's a glitch. That'd be it. Um, his teleports are. advantage of the game. No, <laughs> his teleport's in the game. It's just. All right, see I these would... barricades? See these barricades? No. No. Go, go ahead and replace them. I need money for other stuff. And then put the three barricades down. Touching this rock. You're back? Okay, hey, I got the um I got the ice NATO. I got the ice NATO for you. Uh, I'll go ahead and place it down there actually. Um so basically what we're gonna do here, uh Tewalt, is we're gonna build a couple of these and we're going to force them to go through all of them. Yep. Uh and then we can have our ceiling traps, you can have wall traps on the outside, you could have um 
other stuff, so this will be a pretty good setup. Uh, did you win? No, why ice? Why ice? Um, it's either ice or it does physical damage. One of the two. And the physical damage doesn't make it look any different. Uh, but the ice damage makes it look different. So to show you what it looks like, did the ice. Uh, TNT archers come out, so we do need to be a little careful playing around that. Hey, you win. Why, why can't I have the blunderbuss? Around. <laughs> yeah, it's just, just take care of the TNT guys. <laughs> They're pretty annoying. Can't no, they be. went around. Oh yeah, they gotta, they gotta, they gotta check the uh, barricades and see if the kids are there. Is it here? It's here somewhere. Where, where? I don't see it. There we go. I think I, I think I killed it. All right, there's the freeze NATO. Yeah, next worst scenario, I'll make it physical. I can do that. Uh, hello! Um, I know you subbed to me, uh, but I can't read Japanese anymore. I don't know, dude. How are you? <laughs> hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Wonderful while we're having. Yes. Better against everything that way. It can be. It depends on your setup. Because ice will freeze the boss, whereas the damage really won't matter too much on the boss. So, you're gonna buy OMD3 today. Do it. You died? Oh, yes. How did, how did you die? I got bonked. Badonk. 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 I see. I see. Actually, the freeze is pretty good, I'll be honest. I'll just build another cave there, that's fine. Yes, you can put four of those right in that little square box. Um, actually, all along that side. Mm -hmm. The freeze, the freeze NATO, if it, you know, if it was consistent, uh, it would Yo, probably be one of the best crap there is. I did not mean to place that. That was a complete accident. I can't sell it either. Not yet. You can't hear in a second, though. I'll catch him. I'll catch him. I need them to come to this kill box right now. Okay, go ahead and get ready to sell it. Ah! Oh! Hey, you sold the whole thing. Uh, that is one of the cool things about this uh, trap is that um, you can sell the. Uh... Did I get that up? I may have get that up. Hey. Yeah, maybe not. I wanted to put my freaking butterflies. Put them above it. They'll still reach everything. Do if they you put them... Yeah, they'll, they'll they'll reach everything if you put them above it. They got a nice little range to it. I don't have money, and I think my PC is pretty oh, I bad. Bet. I mean. Eh. You don't. You probably don't need too much. You know, we're playing with some of the higher graphics, so um, I'm sure that I'm sure it's do playable without without uh, getting too high of graphics. Oh no! You sold my lasers. That's why I'm like we're struggling here, and I don't know why, but it's because you sold, sold my lasers, buddy. You should have put them back. Well, well, maybe I should have. Maybe uh, you shouldn't be able to so easily sell the whole trap. Uh, I, I like it that way because it makes it easier to, uh, you know, manage. <laughs> so I'll be honest. Okay, I'm going to get rid of your gravity pillars and I'm going to get rid of your uh, snub lower so you don't have the to worry about heck it. You, is. you don't have to worry about it. I'll put my lasers back. Your snub lower d does well, but it's, uh, you know, it's a ranged weapon or range trap, so. Oh, butterfly. <laughs> what snub lower? Oh no, TNT archers. Run away, run away! Come uh, run away! Scooch. No, no! They're getting in! Okay, yeah, come no back, shit. come back! What? What? Alright. We are... okay, we're okay. Hey, I already made it past. Why'd you tell me to come back? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 
Uh, still team TR's though, so still be careful. Oh my gosh. They've increased that range, dude. That's gonna be, that's gonna take a while to get used to. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to get used to. Hey, they're stuck in the Nope, and the uh, explosion radius killed me. Oh, they got more team TR's just coming out now. Oh, there you are. Man, it's hard to see him too. How did he move backwards? Why did he move backwards? I was gonna headshot him. There he is. Yeah. Shot on him. The image quality uh, was bad for OMD3 on PlayStation 4. Is it really? Oh, here, I'll go take care of him. What? What? There's a. I think there's a cobalt at the gate. I'm gonna go take care of the cobalt. Oh, it's an, it's an orc. You're an orc. Not a problem. You're a problem. Your mom's a problem. Ooh. <gasps> so is the Steam version an upgrade over the other one? Yeah, it is. I mean, it's an upgrade just based upon the fact that it's not limited to the graphics. The quality of the graphics is not limited to the um, to what you're paying for. God damn it. Ah, oh, I died. I truly hate these swords. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got it. All right, got the lasers. Well, that's good. Can you place another barricade back here? Look right there. Laser tap is strong. It is strong. Um, it works really well with the uh, tar on this map and on orcs that or maps that don't have fire orcs. It works really well with um, with the fire lasers instead. But I didn't get the upgrade because I'm I'm using skulls for other things. Uh, yes, yeah, Stadia can run games that your PC is too bad to run. That is correct. That's kind of the idea of it. Yeah, we're still good on um, types of enemies. Yep. Yeah. These kids are taking damage from something. Maybe archers? Wait a minute. Or probably last time. What's up? <laughs> oh, hey, there you go. Even though we can just place tar traps. That's fine. I got a tar trap right outside of it, and it's got slow over time, so it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna place uh, Bloomberg Roller Shop here, it looks like. That'd be a good spot, spot for you. Uh, the only good thing about save, you ask me, yeah, I mean, it's got its purpose. Um, so. And, it, and, and I, you know, some people are gonna use that feature, and as long as you're using it, it's worth it, right? Run Cyberpunk, give me a refund. Uh, you have uh, Cyberpunk on. Well, I mean, I heard Cyberpunk just didn't do well in general, but if it's on there, I don't know. Aren't doing any damage. Oh, yeah, I don't think they're trying to attack you yet. Oh, you're talking about the swords? Oh, they've, they've been swarming in this this whole time. Well, yeah, true. Like when I've, I've just been sitting here, and they they like get around me. They just, Perish. <laughs> yeah. Personal computer version OMD3 is bought this time. Well, they got that PC giveaway. Um, Robot's doing a PC giveaway for orcs. So if you're, you know, wanting a free PC, that wouldn't be a bad, uh, wouldn't be a bad chance at it. If I can, once I can afford it, yeah, I will. Ah! They mean to pull him back here. They break him. They'll run. They'll run through the kill box. Okay. Uh, I still can't afford one. Wow. I'm not getting a lot of money here. What are you trying to afford? Do what? What are you trying to... Another tornado. Oh. Yeah, I got 6,000 gold. What? We'll put down some freaking traps. Put more of those, <laughs> okay. uh, put more of those acid sprayers down. Put a bunch of them. Does it stack? Uh, the damage probably does. Nope, I died. 
I'm getting swamped and now I die. Don't, don't die. I can't get in there. I'm gonna play some without dying. Did you get the upgrade on the Hell. flip traps to flip uh, ogres? Heavy enemies. Yeah, sweet. That's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, I can afford it now. Right, Here. All my money. You happy? Oh, yes. Uh, it's nice. So uh, I go to sleep. Good night. Yeah, good night to you as well. It's 2 p.m. for you. It's 1 p.m. for me. You must be over on the East Coast. Oh, no. One made it through. Is he going to get flipped? Hey! Yeah! Oh, shit, yeah. There he went. Look, 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 look. No, one did make it through. No, I know he got caught by the flip trap. No, there's one, exactly over, by, there's one over by our gate. That's what I mean. Oh, what? The sap or the cobalt. This is regular cobalt, though. Okay, they're starting to get a lot through. And I got one. Yeah, you're fine. I got him. Boop. Yeah, well, we weren't even standing there. We were just... Yeah, true, true. Goofing. I even notice. I got my voice turned down because I don't want to hear the characters talk all the time. But then again, it's like... And I miss the announcer saying, Oh no, there's something happening. There we go. In the Mercus State, okay, Florida. Oh, I've heard about Florida. I've actually been there. Um, but only to go somewhere else. <laughs> I just did. Bob Tornado. Buy more of them as we can afford them. Now, the boss on this one damages barricades and he targets barricades. But I think we have enough uh, stuff to take care of them. And honestly, I think the tornadoes will do well against them. They're just expensive. Once we get that kill streak money, kill streak money is 11 times whatever the kill streak is. You know, playing on PlayStation? Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure a lot of people are. I'm sure a lot of people are playing this game right now. Right, another tornado? Yeah, see, for some reason. Oh, I guess they're getting frozen. <laughs> this is nice. They really can't. Getting frozen and sprayed down. Sweet. Alright, this is working out. Pretty good. Alright, last boss here's Gorbash. Okay, they changed his icon. They changed the boss's icon, it looks like. They made the star a little bit more prominent. That's good. Yeah, look, he's not hitting me. Yeah, because he's he frozen. Wasn't. No, the other guys that are right oh. behind him. <laughs> They weren't doing damage. Well, let me tell he you a secret. Right let, me, at me. Let, me let me tell you a secret. I think here's why. I don't know if this is this is actually or not. Um, you can only be targeted by three enemies, and if there was other enemies that had targeted you but hadn't made it to you yet, then those other enemies uh, would have would have not been able to target you. That's my theory. What happens if you flip a frozen enemy? They just move, but they're still frozen. Oh, it would like shatter him. Oof, I died that time. I would keep trying to right mouse button the lightning because you were able to do that in chain. Whoa! Oh, damn. Oh, so that was sick, dude. All those boom barrels just happened all at the same time because they're all frozen out in the same area. That was sick. <laughs> that was so many. So many of them. All right, let's see if we can do something again. I just need this one in the front to roll to roll out. Come on, go ahead and roll out, dude. Do it. See. Nah, not, not as good. That was a really cool... Oh, there we go. There's a big explosion. The basement is hard? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's supposed to be. But it's beatable. Um, I'll definitely show you the trick to do it. It's kind of... It's going to be like a short on part-time if they haven't changed it. And it's still, still pretty beatable. Uh, in my opinion. Alright, we're going to have to place this like that. And a couple of these up here. There we go.
That's how stonks work? What? Stonks. There's an escapee! Yeah, true. An there. escapee! Oh, I got him, I got him. Oh, wait. Boom! Yep. Dang, I missed No, he's, well, he's too fast. He's fast. Um, I have a just shot. explodes all at once. That's how G, that's how GameStop stomp works. Speaking of, I wonder what AMC's at right now. Yeah. <laughs> I do have stonks and AMC right now. I think we're ahead of par. Uh, I think we're ahead of par two. All right, let me check the stonks because that's a good that's a good point. <laughs> good reminder. Thanks, buddy. I don't think it's going to explode anytime soon, but if it does, um, I may want to. You look at it and it's so, at twelve thousand dollars a share. <laughs> yeah. I no. Here's what happens. I look at it. You'd and it's be like, buying me a match. And it's like <laughs> down, it's down like twelve. And then I zoom out, and it was like four hours before that. It was at like five hundred. <laughs> no. -uh. That's how it happened, dude. Oh, that's a, okay. I was like, what? Yeah, I catch it at the bottom after the explosion. But yeah, cool. Spike wall. Um, all right, so now we're going to undo the upgrade so we can get our skulls back. And we'll do that again when we get the next one. We got to place uh, scenarios or else it's not worth it. Uh, and then we get the trap reset trinket. It is uh, one o'clock. Uh, what does that mean for you? Are, you? are you out? Or you got one more? Or you got five more. I am gonna break. You gonna break? Yep, I'm gonna break. Okay. I will keep playing. Um figure it out. Dude, Sweet. I just I just got an email back from an inter for an interview about a place I applied to like two and a half months ago, probably three months. <laughs> Damn. I was like, wow. But anyways, all right. All right, dude, it's fun playing with you. Um, we're playing tomorrow together, right? Uh, yeah. Tomorrow morning. Okay. So I, I don't know if it's tomorrow morning. Oh. Because uh, you know, it's the weekend with the wife and all. So. Gotcha. All right. All right. Well, just let me know when we're playing tomorrow, and then I'll start the the co-op stream up, and I'll go ahead and change the stream now to non-co-op. Um, or actually. Uh -huh. Maybe I'll Expert, try to right? do. I'll just find people. Um, yeah. When it's well, my stream. Well, I'm gonna continue streaming, but uh, but he's uh, he's getting off, so. I'll be back. Or, oh, I won't be back, but yeah. I'll see ya. All right, dude. Deuces. Yeah. Okay. So we're back to solo, which is fine. Uh, we can keep running through it. Um. But let me change. What is it you call Dr. Boingo? I call him T-Wald because his last name is Thomas Waldman. And uh, he went by T-Wald back, back in the Marine Corps because it was just easier to say. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and change my stream stuff. All right, real quick. I've got a live with the co-op stuff, so let me remove that thumbnail. Change to, uh, I'll just do something else. Let's do an orc archer. Then, oh, D3. Okay. All right. Changed the name and the thumbnail, so that's good. And it's my chat still out. It is good. All right. Uh, so we can keep playing. Let's see. Uh, we have endless. We do a couple of endless ones. Um, but I'd, I'd, I'd like to maybe try uh, coastal hallways on that and stuff, and get a couple of uh, other other things. Green tea wall stepping crowns. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, we've got our uh, we've got our favorite flavors. All right. We've got them all picked out. Okay, so without him, we don't have uh, all the traps we want. Uh, do we have skulls? I don't think we spent any. Yeah, let's go spin our skulls if we have it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, actually, we're going to do fire damage on this one. And... Uh... Oh, we had archers for the last one. Okay, archers are really good on that. Um, we might have to take this one a little bit more seriously because we don't have... Oh, the, oh, we can get the geyser. Okay, let's get the geyser now. Uh, we definitely want to try that. We want to try the arcane dragon as well. 
Um, yeah, I've got the Earth Staff uh, upgraded already, so I don't need to do damage with it anymore. Okay, um, I'm going to... I'm going to remove the Lightning Amulet. Do I do that? I don't know, do we have everything we need to beat this? We don't have any... Well, we got four traps. Yeah, let's just... We'll, we'll try to use what we got. Alright, Ripper. Let's trap it up. Tell your boss not to fire you. <laughs> uh, Apollo, nice idea. Okay, for some time, just got back. Yep. Yeah, we we, uh, we made it. Alright, we'll try this. I'll <clears throat> try the setup. This might work. Start with... Some like blade staff action. Kabam Kabooey. Nice, very good. Is there anything that will affect uh, big, big size orcs uh, versus small? Uh, yeah, flip traps flip distant. Uh, the distance is different that they flip based upon size. Um, they have higher hit points and stuff, so yeah. And then the amount of um, the amount of height they get. Okay, we need to sell, 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 sell. Alright, I, I didn't get all of it, but we got a lot of it. So let's place our kids up here. Let's go down and get our kill box going. Probably just does more damage in general here. All right, how the ceiling laser working out? Um, let's see. This has got the lasers. Um, fire damage. Yeah, fire damage is good. Uh, because enemies, some enemies take more damage from fire damage. Um, I don't know exactly if it's better for any particular reason other than that. Um, but. There are fire immune enemies that you have to deal with, so as long as you can deal with them. But this map doesn't have any of those fire immune enemies. Well, it has the Fire Lord, but it only has like one or two, and you can take care of them with other traps. You know, the Boom Bar Roller works, your your auto attacks work, Stone Staff works well, well against them. More lasers sort of does more damage, but it does lightning damage. Um... And I think it's, like, reduced by a little bit. From my experience, it's better to use uh, fire lasers. Okay, I was trying to sell that. Uh, so you would get um, some of these. Placed around. So those guys should not target the kids up there because it's... Uh, their pathing is, like, goofed up because of that. So. So. Oh, there we go. But yeah, the Stone Staff worked really well against those guys. Uh, super useful. Will you ever do some co-op with Behemoth? Uh, if he wants to, yeah. Absolutely. I know he's really good at the game, and he does lots and lots of challenges. Um, the special upgrade for the boom is, uh, is uh, increased area of effect. I think that's just really the just the default one to go with, honestly. I don't see why anyone would ever do anything different. There we go. Yeah, the lightning really helps clear stuff out from around you if you can if you get a little bit overwhelmed. So I think I'll keep the lightning uh, the lightning ring on for a while. I need to like maybe move these lasers around a little bit, but uh, you don't get a lot of time between uh, between waves to do stuff. So, so 
Let's move this car over a little bit. And uh, get a ceiling laser here. I'm going to stagger these a little bit as well. Okay, good. Yeah, we definitely want to take out the sappers as they show up. As we can. There we go. Uh, the new game mode is accessible, but you have to beat the third war scenario in order to unlock it. Damn, that's good. Bunch of explosion right there. I think it's the third war scenario you have to beat. Uh, what is it? Um, Mage Tower? Yeah, you got to beat Mage Tower to, to do it. And how does an Earth Staff work to turn them into stone? Yeah. I mean, that's a good, that's a good point. <laughs> You're not wrong. A discount come soon i want to play the game yeah um i'm sure they're gonna put it on sale at some point um i just don't imagine it would be any time in the near future okay barricade didn't take too much damage it is a lot of lasers you know you just kind of have to, to cover the whole area right Man, those explosions are dope, though. Free on Stadia. It's not free on Stadia anymore. Um, I thought it was at first, but it's not anymore. Okay, a couple of those. And car here, car here, and here. Okay, car here. Yeah. All right, cool. Kind of choke, choke point everything. Yeah, we got ice. We got ice in the uh, grenade now. So if we end up using it, it's going to be better than the explosions. It's a laser tag map. <laughs> the lasers are good. They're especially good against sappers because they, as soon as they touch them, they explode. You just got to make sure you stagger them so that way enemies don't slip through the cracks. some of them might still but that's okay barricade this one maybe I don't know. uh all right we're gonna do another tar and tar and tar there we go okay uh, we'll do a couple more boom bar rollers good sir i think moto is cheating a laser tag <laughs> the environment lasers yeah I mean, it's 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 useful, right? Like, it does that solid overtime damage. Um, okay, so we got this guy. Just gotta make sure firelings don't walk into our kill box and then explode in there. You know, fire tar works really well. We got the uh, slow over time, but the fire tar works really well here. I'm assuming we're still able to make part time with this. I think we can still. Friend Lester, yeah, he did. He had to, um, he works nights. So, uh, right now it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so yeah, he, uh, he had to go, uh, make sure he doesn't like mess up his sleep schedule. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the acid geezers in between that. So I think I may remove the uh, health trinket and put the acid, bring the acid geezer. Or geyser as some people call it. Okay. And the bird pooped on me again, so I got to take care of that. Jeez, you're fluffing hard, dude. Okay. Good there. Okay. 
We'll put those two barricades out there uh, just for safety. Wasn't for your own city. How'd you get, how did you how did your giveaway competition turn out? Uh, yeah, the giveaway was fine. Um, we only had one person that was uh, supposed to be there show up. But the other four didn't show up. Um, so what I did was I still held it, and there was somebody else in the um, who was part of it that uh, decided he wanted a key. So um, we just did the uh, the quiz giveaway, and I gave both of the keys away. Uh, how do you? You essentially go say, yeah, I live in uh, Kansas City. All right, we're going to lose that barricade. That's fine. We got enough money to replace it. The other kids are going down. That's fine, too. We don't need them. No in-game competition? Well, there was going to be an in-game part of it, but um, since only two people showed up and I had two keys to give away, we didn't do the in-game stuff. We did the quiz stuff for fun. I was about to just not do any of it because, I mean, what's the point, right? But they wanted to, so we did the quiz part. Okay, let's do more lasers. And just more lasers, really, I guess. You know, why not? Lots of fire and explosions and lasers, and it's all beautiful. Uh, you missed a giveaway. Yeah, you did. I might do something like that in the future, but who knows? Who knows? It'll probably be a while. Quite a while. Uh, it's funny how the orcs go, oh, they're barricades. He's going to death trap instead, yeah. <laughs> they see the shining, the, the shining pretty lights. Oh, I maybe shouldn't have done that. We're definitely making part time, so that's good. All right, excellent, excellent. Kevin, you mean, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Cool. That's done the fun. I love the boom bear rollers, man. It's so sweet. They're awesome. Okay. Uh, let's get the acid geezer leveled up a little bit, and we'll see if we can start using that with us. Oh, this map. Yes, this map indeed. You don't remember your childhood? Curing your mother's fever, teleporting the family cat down hmm. to the tree. I remember. And yeah, stuff kind of happened when I was around. Just good timing and luck, right? No, it's not luck. Some of us have to work to use magic. For you, it just happens. Yeah, this map. Uh, this map's a pretty tough map to start with. Um... Especially if you don't have like everything upgraded um, and you don't have all the options because of this guy. It's the introduction to the ogre, uh, armored ogre. He can be a bit of a pain. But this lightning ring works wonders on all these guys actually. Just uh, try and kill as much as we can here.
Wall charges work work probably better than the boom barrel rolls here, but uh, you know, we're not using them so. going to do some laser shenanigans down here just because there are um, sappers that show up you know I've got a feeling like I am still seeing um, the co-op amount of enemies because I don't remember there being a wave 2 opening the top gate so uh, that could be a thing I just don't quite know yet let's go while uh, runners are getting through this acid stuff Spawner might be a little bit OP. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Uh, it's really good. Um, I think the wall charger still might be a better trap. Well, it's only 850 though. So for the price, yeah, definitely. Just because the wall charger will take care of the armored ogres quite a bit faster. Okay. That's good. Now we'll go down and put a couple more lasers. Wall, yeah, Wall Pusher and Flip Trap, they're both really good here. Oh, there's Fire Fiends. May, I just haven't played this on Rift Lord, like, any time recently then, because I don't remember Fire Fiends either. Huh. I'm gonna stun a bunch of guys here in this area, and then... <laughs> We're gonna pop all the boom barrels all at once. You ready? Oosh. Yeah, <laughs> like mosquitoes. Archers right now, but yeah, these armored ogres can eat it for part time a little bit. But I think we're okay. Now we need to put a few more lasers on this side. Okay, that's probably good enough. I think we can handle everything. Oh goodness. him through now but we're gonna go ahead and place one more laser here there we go and he's gonna come back at us and we're gonna have to run this way to make sure he doesn't hurt us and do that so that way we can not lose all right cool well uh, maybe we shouldn't have gone over there um, because we didn't get to keep everything in an area uh, so we may lose here And this would be the weakness of the boom barrel roller.
Yep. Okay. Alright, we're gonna have to retry. Um, we're gonna go with the, uh... We don't have the wall blades yet opened. Or wall charger, I mean. Yeah, the boom bar roller unfortunately just can't handle itself uh, without uh, us <laughs> to help it. So, let's take a look at our traps here again. I think we're going to need to do that. We're going to want to do that. Maybe. I mean, I guess I didn't really need to stay down there so long with the knolls. Yeah, the bouncing blades would be really good. Uh, we already have the wall charger unlocked, so we don't have to spend skulls on that. Um, yeah, that's true. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Let's bring the uh, saw blade launcher. Yeah. We'll do that. Yeah. yeah. Bring that with us. And we will replace. Thing you said about how it was, you know, replace the um. Like you don't remember your oh, we need to do the stone stuff first. Oh, we can quickly uh, do stuff. Um, yeah, that'll replace the other stuff. So that and that. Maybe we can kill everything without needing to rely on our um. Good, good, good. We are good so far. We'll be able to sell everything, hopefully. Play star, yeah. And this map kind of starves you for some money, though. It's one of the challenges about this one. All right, and these guys. Uh, Okay, we're gonna bring this guy. We're gonna take him back with us. Come here, working buddy. That way we can sell our traps over here. Can't wait. They can't move. Very true. All right. Cool. Take it in sappers. Okay. Alright. I'll probably be paying attention to the chat a little bit less because of the amount of stuff we're going to be doing. Um. Oh no, they're. Mo oh no, they're falling over. Ooh. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> they're, they're, uh, yeah, okay. Probably switch over to Egan, maybe. I don't know if I can right now. I think I can, but I have no idea. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, all right, some more sappers to take care of. I mean, aren't really that much of a problem. We just got to watch out for sappers on that bottom gate. Because if they run up here, we're going to have a hard time. Pretty hard time with it. You know, it's bad when the press focus. <laughs> I just don't remember what waves uh, uh, sappers come out on. And it's a little bit unfortunate that uh, these boom barrels are just not going to be useful. Yeah, it's cool, but... Alright, we're going to... We need to not die right now. Ha! 
That's actually okay. They'll get they'll sort of not get through very much. Um, we might put our boom bar roller somewhere else. Um, yeah, I, I'll sell them. I'm gonna sell them. Put this here. Uh, this and then I can put a, I can put a bunch of them over here, you know. And uh, they'll they'll do nice with uh, an area explosion. Dang, look at that. Good stuff. Okay, where are they coming from? It's the bottom. All right, we'll take care of them. I'll make it through and then we're okay all right we're fine we're good and I think we're gonna be why oh the freaking ah. the ogre mage now Kraken doesn't have to speak to the Karen doesn't have to speak to the manager because I should get refunded yeah it's always nice if a game has, uh, has a, you know, full refund capabilities. I don't know why you'd ever refund this game, though. Unless, I guess, it didn't work with your, uh, like, I guess, if you were on, like, um, PlayStation and they took it off PlayStation or whatever. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and heal up. Some sappers here. Uh, let's go in now. Okay. We should stay behind this wall so nothing targets us running up the stairs and damages our barricades with the ranged weapons. stuff come back all right all right see you Ooh. <laughs> yeah I mean it gets me back to uh, back to base you know as well Alright, let's put this here and that there. There and there. Okay. Looking good? Negative 1 out of 10 doctors recommend. <laughs> you don't think that's a that's a good way to heal up? Yeah, this lightning, uh, this lightning uh, trinket's doing really well. I'm probably just going to have to use it all, all the time. It's really helping clear out everything as it shows up. That's neat. That's new. Shows their skeletons. Did it always do that? Huh. All right. I think we've got this place out here kind of beefed up. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of move some of this over. Um, we're gonna put some stainless lasers down here. I'm gonna put some up at the top too. Not too many of them, but some of them. Okay. 
do that. Oh, I'll burn them a little bit before they come into this area. Plus, they'll take care of any kind of sappers or whatever that we that we receive. Uh, I got a message on Discord from LFG. Okay. I have LFG notifications turned on, but everything else is turned off. Do not doctor, so it's minus nine nine nine. You know, one of my one of my favorite sayings that I use is I'll tell somebody I'll say I'll, I'll tell them something. I'll say, uh, trust me, I'm a doctor. And then I'll tell them whatever I want to tell them. And they'll be like, but yeah, I don't really know because I'm not a doctor or anything. It's probably less cringier if it's actually like said in a, in a sentence. Um, okay. Yeah, we're doing fine on this wave. This wave's uh, working out easy. I think everything's working out easy now that we've gotten past that first like two waves. Easy peasy, lemon go easy. Yeah, that works out. You get oh, I got through. Well, rat sacks. Okay. Okay. The ogres should have a regular orc. Yeah. Ogres have a charge mechanic, and when they charge, they, um... They knock over other orcs. Uh, anything that's a heavy orc and, and lighter. Any of the lighter orcs. Smaller dudes. See, it's nice, because I can sit back here and play it safe, and then when those, uh... Boom barrels explode, they explode out, out in this open area. And they absolutely decimate everything. Just a chain reaction of explosion. Clear up everything there is. <laughs> you heard about the grinder and its its healing powers. You found it on some kind of Facebook uh, mom group. You know, I remember this being also close around part-time, so maybe they increase the part-time a little bit. I'll have to check. Sweet! <clears throat> wanted to try the cure out. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the Acid Geyser. Wow. Apparently it doesn't do a ton of damage yet. Um, in which case I would probably do... Wait, what's the difference? Increased melting duration or increased duration? I'm not sure what the difference is. Unwanted acupuncture. Ah, uh, good one, good one. I'm assuming that the increased duration is the damage, and then the increased melting duration is the melt function. Uh, that's strangely worded. Okay. Um, switch over to Egan. I think I'd rather use the longbow uh, at this point. So let's uh, also change out the blunderbuss and uh, go over to longbow. And let's continue. Oh, this is another war scenario. Right, I'll do the uh, damage stuff here. Let me. Uh, I need to switch that over from freeze. I'll switch from both and do this. Um, what else do we want to bring? We want wall chargers, bleed. <clears throat> we have our wall trap, which is a boom barrel roller. We're going to use that a lot. Um, actually, we'll probably only use boom barrel roller. Maybe. May not actually use the saw blade launcher. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Okay. Does Endless give you the most goals? Uh, depends. 
Oh, you know what? Let me try that. Let me try that endless thing. You said you weren't able to get skulls. Let me try that. Uh, let's go here. Great room. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if uh if I can get that to work there, Sayok. Duration of the trap work. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're probably right, Paulo. The trap itself, the duration it works. Okay, I get a kill streak and I got four uh four orcs and a score of five sixteen. So let's let him through and we'll see um we'll see if we get any skulls off of that. The drones above the Olympic Stadium in Tokyo? No. Is it the Olympics already? The tower war scenario? Yeah, we're, we're about to do the war scenario. I just want to test something real quick. And we're going to use the uh, tornado for the damage. The damage tornado portion. It's called the mage tower? Yeah. Hmm. They've changed the enemies because there's usually nine. Oh, no, they didn't. I just the, the lightning around it killed something uh, It can be well the problem with the knockback is it either knocks it closer to the rift or it knocks it farther away from the rift And depending on the travel of the tornado it may or may not actually do what it's supposed to um, Okay, so let's see we also have the highest wave reached we should get the skull for highest combo and we should also get the score for um Oh, interesting. No, there's three right there. Why does it only show one? It shows two there. Oh, we got four. Uh, interesting indeed. Uh, well, Zayok, um, I don't know. I'm assuming the extra wave one we probably got, um, But it says we have all four of those. Let me let me try let me try to switch back. Let me try switch back. Because I wonder if there's something to do with the uh, story mode. Let's try to switch back. Because this is an uh, endless exclusive, and look at all these walls. Look how beautiful uh, boom bar rolls are going to be on this. Can't wait. Started a few hours ago. So we got our four kills, we got our score and all that stuff. We'll just uh, run back over here. That's pretty cool. I like this skin. This is a cool skin. Hey. Let's see if we can get a better, uh, a better angle. Oh, dang it. There we go. Cool. You upgrade the bow. Oh, you're right. Wait, why do I have the shotgun? I can't. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, weird. Okay. So they changed it. For some reason, those skulls are already there, but you don't get to pick them up or whatever. I don't know. Okay. Well, uh, I'll have to take that video down then, Zayak, because that's no longer the case. Hmm. Pretty peculiar. Don't poop on me again. Okay. Let's run back in here. We'll run Mage Tower. Um, yeah, you're right. Let's... Let's look and see if we can switch out the blunderbuss with the bow. Um, the thing is, is uh, y your weapon is gener generally locked. Oh, yeah, we get the bow now. I guess on endless, your weapon may not be locked then. Um, okay, I'll show you what that looks like, and then we're going to build our actual kill box back here. Uh, we don't want we don't want fire lasers. Um, okay. Yeah. So so right here we have the uh, weapon locked. Um, 
we can't change our primary weapon just until uh, we beat the game. And once we beat the game, we can change our primary weapon to whatever we want. But it looks like in the Endless, you can choose whatever weapon. Uh, three more slots. All I can fill them with is these other things that I'm not going to use. Uh, let's change that back to that. Oh, you know what? Uh, we, uh, we only have two skulls. Well, let's see. What are we not going to use? What could we take out? We could take out stall blade launchers. And I want to get the snow cannon and see how that works up here. Sweet. We're going to do that. Okay. Get rid of the saw blade launcher. Uh, I don't know what that symbol was. What was that? I don't know. There's like a little uh, change thing that showed up there. I don't know. That was weird. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Show you what that looks like uh, for the tornado. Whenever it pops off. And we'll stay inside. You gotta stay outside the rain, you know? Snow blower up there, see if it reaches. Acid, acid. Okay. Watching grown ups too, it's so funny I'm in pain. <laughs> ah. I mean, how old's your brother? He's not grown up, is he? Okay, so let's see if they, when they trigger it, what happens? It's picked up and uh, killed. So yeah, the uh, the animation adds rocks to it, so it'll do like physical damage around it. That's what it looks like. I upgraded the lasers, but I needed them to be... Um, so the upgrade uh, reduces cost, which they've they've increased the cost of lasers. It used to be 650 uh, maxed out, but now it's 850. Um, but yeah, I needed to switch. Them. Ooh, that's good. That reaches. That reaches far, dude. That reaches far. I need bleed on the blow bow once I can get it. Uh, is that an acid or yeah it is i think it is so we'll do tar there uh it's brown not white no it's 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 brown because i took off the uh freeze and i gave it um i gave it the physical damage upgrade instead they look better in blue light <laughs> Yeah, I think if I was to upgrade the geezer, the geezer, I would, um, I would do the just dur the general duration, definitely. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even care to do the uh, duration of like the melt, because then it just affects more enemies overall. They're looking sharp for the afterlife. Yep. Ooh, two skulls. Nice. He turns around. Come on. Why does he turn around? Don't turn around, Broly boy. Over at him. <laughs> Good luck there. Okay. Yeah, we really didn't need to bring the uh, uh, trinket here with us, or the uh, whatever it is, weapon, trinket, yeah. 
lightning trinket because we're probably not going to use it uh, at all I don't think we're ever going to get into melee combat or anywhere close to the enemy this one this one doesn't give you cancer this is my least favorite map of all the maps <laughs> and they've got some weird yeah they got a weird collision thing that keep, that's starting to happen um because I have no distraction or knockback and they're still like derping around well, I guess they could have got frozen by this thing up here so that's a possibility is that too far? Eh, we'll sleep there, I guess. Oh, freezing there. There we go. Good. Okay, we are going to increase the distance of this laser and give ourselves a couple of barrels. There, there we go. I mean, the tornadoes just really aren't worth it, but. I can put a couple more down. Um, we're not going to struggle on this map at all, so I could hand uh, put a couple more down. I got to get 2,400 coin, and I only have 16 coins, so it's going to take a little bit. And it's not going to affect the boss at all. Just going to the grinder. Well, you can insta heal, heal now by taking a swim in the ocean. <laughs> Nerds. I guess maybe it's better to not have the damage either because then they actually get tossed off the edge Or if they take the, the the damage they don't they die for that. I don't know. Hey, I don't know Is ice or physical better it really depends um, The ice one doesn't do damage, uh, but the physical does so it kind of depends on what you're trying to do. Yeah, Um, it's weird. Clicking, it's not doing it. There we go. Hopefully, I didn't just create some higher altitude explosion. Uh, what? Where did that go? It just went to the ground. <laughs> what? You see that? They're like going into the ground and disappearing. Okay, we want this to be probably back here, so that it doesn't target anything until it uh, wraps around this corner area. Uh, or freezes the pillar. Okay, let's see that again. Okay, yeah. It freezes the pillar for a little bit, but then it'll refocus. Um, it's so strange that they're just disappearing into the, into the nothingness. I mean, if you're talking about the tornado, whether you do ice or physical, it really doesn't matter. Um, I, I, well, personally for me, I never use the tornado just because you can kill things more efficiently with regular traps um, but yeah it does depend on what you're trying to do here I'll put one right here it's so expensive you know I get much more value out of spending 2400 in regular traps than I can out there um, but let's go ahead and get a couple of cades pushed up let's put two kids up here as well and another kid back here just to kind of force everything around He's just, just zipping through the through the floor there. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. I'll place another uh, next wave. Unless I get a ton of money here, then I'll place it this wave. You want at least five? Okay, okay. We can, uh, we'll do five. We'll do five right next to each other.
Okay, some boom barrels. Explosions are great. I think they're exploding, but then the animation keeps them running. Yeah, I think the animation just keeps going even though they're exploding up at the top. Why is he running so fast? Why are they running fast? You guys are booking it. You guys don't run fast. Me looking at chat, seeing just one person that spams. I mean, listen, I you know, if you want to spam, that's... It's not like spamming the same message over and over or whatever. I mean, it's... it's or spamming a link or anything like that. But I don't have anybody else uh, typing in chat, so... You cannot, you cannot put the uh, tornado inside. It does, uh, the tornado does not work inside the tower. That is one of the restrictions of the war traps is they do not go inside of the buildings themselves. They cannot go inside. Except for the giant flip trap with the unique upgrade that allows it to go inside, which I have yet to unlock. I'll see here. Do three on that side, we'll do three on the other. Right outside the gates. Nope. Yeah, okay, well. We can we can fix that one. Let's do another snow blower. Snow blower can go. Back here. Okay. We might need the snowblower for Mongrafell. We'll see. Mongrafell is the boss and he runs over Cades. He's going to run over these Cades to run up to the rift. Unless they've changed him and made him more challenging, which I have in my doubts. But we'll see. That can reach it. Oh, make a kill box around spawn. Um, it's kind of awkward on this map to do that, but I can show you what spawn looks like. And then when you get the game, you can do that. Um, does other traps explode barrels? Yeah, I think they do. Uh, I think that's what's happening when these barrels are coming out. The lasers are, are uh, forcing the barrels to explode. This one's able to make it through because it's like, it's like in the in-between spot. So, yeah, these barrel... Uh, launchers up here aren't actually doing anything. <laughs> like up there, that is in the tower, but also outside. Oh, oh, uh, the balcony. Yeah, the balcony. I see. I, I don't know if it fits up there. Yeah, it does. It'll work up here. Uh, the problem is, is the orcs will, if they make it up there, we're going to lose on part time. So I'm not going to make my kill box up there. Uh, it's just too far away. Actually, if we wanted to, we could do that on the balcony on this side, because this side has a uh, has a balcony at the lower elevation. Could you play with me? Um, I mean, I, I guess I don't know. Uh, have you have you tried going to the Discord chat uh, for the looking for group Discord? Um, it's in the description of this video. If you go to that Discord, there's a, a looking for group channel. Probably put your Steam information there and ask for a uh, partner. Ah, I didn't. I didn't make it. That's okay. This is the last one. More enemies on the way. Toss us up there. The higher up area for the tower that is outside. Yeah, I think it's. I think those are called balconies or maybe. Um, Battlements? Are they battlements? Is that what they're called? I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, you have this area up here where I was standing, but then you have the even higher area, which is right outside the rift room. Well, yeah, but then I wouldn't get orcs up there. Most likely I wouldn't get orcs up there, but it, yeah, this is the highest place that you can place anything. Of course, you can place one of these and then jump on top of it and then um, place something on top of it, but the only real way to get an orc up there is to try really hard. <laughs> You kind of have to set up a bunch of stuff to do that. 
All right, we get Mongrel. He's coming out of the top. One of the ways you could do that, I guess, is you'd have the um, wind. You'd have to have the wind belt. You use right mouse button, pick up an orc, run up there with the orc, and then place the orc up on top of it. So I guess it's possible and probably isn't too difficult, but. All right, we'll see if uh, Mongrel runs this way. Yeah, he's still really easy. If he ran the other way, um, then not so much. The hard part about him is getting the headshots because his head moves <laughs> still. Yeah, Freeze does it. Um, he can get... Uh, confused by butterflies if you place butterflies on the pillar you can get uh, distracted by those it's gonna do a bunch of snow cannons now I think snow cannons might be my favorite. Uh, no, none of the bosses can get picked up by the tornado. None of the bosses. Uh, and no, they can also cannot be affected by flat, uh, flipper traps. Well, I take that back. Mongrel could probably be affected by the by the ice tornado, but not not like get picked up by anything. And that goes for all the bosses. Warpath. Now here's what I was looking for. See when you beat um, when you beat that level, you actually get the uh, the new game mode. All right, we got 31 skulls. I don't even know what I'm gonna spend it on at this point. We get mana rage shrink it. We get scramble unlocked. Scramble is what I'm looking to play. So let's play a little bit of scramble here. Yep. Okay. So we get the option of two maps. What you get is a debuff. And then after you play the first map, you get then a buff and a debuff, buff and a debuff, and so on and so forth. So no environmental kills with the bosses. Uh, correct. No environmental kill with the bosses. Um, so the question is, do we play Hidden Dock or do we play Side Entrance? Now, Hidden Dock gives us a Zelzador and Side Entrance increases all enemies' health. Uh, so which one do we want to go with? Which one's more challenging, do you think? Zelzador is kind of a pushover... A hero, but if he's one per wave, actually, we're gonna do Zelzador because I want to see if he drops a skull. If he drops skulls like this, then we're gonna get a lot of skulls out of this. Actually, yeah, if we can get like a, a boss for each of these and they actually drop skulls, that'll be really good. Um, so let's give it a shot, okay? And what is this, friends? Okay, so let's go ahead and give Hidden Dock a, a, a try here, we'll run through one of these scrambles. Now, the first one you play is um, four mage difficulty, I think, so we're not going to find ourselves having too much problem. We'll, we'll see. I didn't even think about my traps, but that's okay. Oh, right. <laughs> the Zelzador, right. I was like, this is going to be easy, but then I just remembered. Got a boss to kill, so maybe not. That would be very OP. Yeah, we'll see if he gives a skull or not. If he does, then that'll be really... That'll make this a lot easier. Might be even the easiest way of getting skulls if you can if you can get that going. Well, um... I probably shouldn't have spent all my money on barricades I'm not using. Uh, that's okay, though. We get to see his resurrection. You don't normally get to see that. That's cool. Okay. No! You only get a coin. Let's see how much the coin's worth. We got 48. Uh, it's a 500 coin. That's 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 unfortunate. It's a shame. Oh, I didn't start it. There we go. We need to make sure we make part time. But it's warmage difficulty, so we don't have to worry about sappers. Um, yeah. Damn. All right. Well, they 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 thought about it at least. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, we'll do a couple of lasers up here in the front. Um, we'll do our snow cannons in the back. That's yeah. Good thought though. Probably maybe should have gone with the melee weapon um, in this one. Although the extra coin is nice, I'll, I'll say the extra coin is nice. that one up get a whole bunch of those and we maybe even put some up there uh, to fall down and that should work for us scramble good skulls uh yeah I'm I think it does but don't quote me on it we're gonna we'll, we'll see at the end of this I don't think it's going to be worth it if it does, um, just based upon what I've seen so far. I mean, 500 coin in every extra wave is fine with me, even if it tells the door. That's really cool. I'm chilling. Uh, okay, then we'll do this and these. A couple of them. Endless give more skulls. Endless does give a lot of skulls. Uh, Zayok, I think Endless might be the best way to get skulls uh, right now. Um, other than actually, I think Rift Lord's probably easier um, to like overall get skulls if you like just play through the maps. But um, yeah, I think because you're not able to farm the skulls like I had shown, uh, I think that it'd probably be easier to. To just play Rift Lord through and then play Endless after that. Um, weekly challenges are actually really easy as well. They'll give you five skulls per, per each of them, and they're pretty easy to play, and they're quick. Beautiful. Uh, amazing. If I'm lucky, we get a bunch of bosses. All these new ice traps make the ice amulet seem stronger than before. Uh, it kind of makes it a little bit... Um, Less necessary, to be honest. Kind of makes a stone staff a little le less necessary as well if you can get a freeze on enemies, because uh, that's an area freeze, and then the wall, uh, the wall trap is also an area freeze. So, archers are annoying. Archers are annoying. <laughs> I was gonna put boom barrels up there. Do that next. I mean, if, if enemies slipped on the ice, that'd be pretty cool. But I think if you knock them over, maybe they'll slide on it. Maybe I don't know. Kills everything, it's amazing. Yeah, I think these um, ice cannons are going to be... I think they're going to be uh, what allows people to go really late game endless. They're just, they're just that powerful. Uh, okay, we'll put that there. Yeah, I wish I had a better answer for you, uh, Zayok. I mean, 
Maybe once you get past wave 5 on Endless, you can just play wave 5, then get past wave 6, then wave 7. Kind of keep going through that, but that's going to take a long time compared to just playing on Rift Lord and just getting the skulls that way. Oh, you know what? This uh, snow cannon will actually be really good on the basement as well. I didn't think of that, but yeah, the basement has a, has a nice ceiling spot for turret looking things. So that'd be pretty good on that. Beautiful. One time playing Roblox is messing with me. Keep adding to my chats. Adding slash. Oh. I don't know anything about Roblox. But apparently you gotta have slashes when you talk to people. Do we think we have enough damage? We, uh, probably not for Zelzador, but I think we have enough damage for everything else. This is a really good time for me to get the known. Zelzador, that is. Every time he re every time he revives an enemy minion, we get money for killing that minion. Huh. Tier one is done. Okay, so we get to pick one of these. Um, players constant AOE physical damage reduce the cost of floor traps by half. I mean, I think the uh, reduction is kind of broken right now. So yeah, of course, Eric. Uh, do we want physical damage? Let's see what that looks like. We'll do. We'll use uh, melee weapons. Use a melee weapon. Poor guys are all almost, look at that, almost enough damage. Uh, okay, so, can we get bleed? Yes, we can. Let's get bleed. Mm, good look. Oh, just, what are you doing? You getting under the desk? Okay. Uh, snow, reduce cooldown. Yeah, we don't want to do uh, acid with it. We already got acid somewhere else. And we'll get the arcane dragon. Um, there might be a map I want to try it on, so... Alright, let's continue. Uh, what do we get? Oh, we get add Craig to every wave. Yeah, let's do that. Now we get two bosses. Now we get Zelzador and Craig. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. Dude. Hell yeah. Okay. Sweet. Uh, looks like we got skulls off that, though, right? Because we didn't have skulls from it before. Unless that was from the map before. Uh, I have no idea now. Yeah, I haven't played this one too much. Um, it's got players in it, though, so that's cool. And we got this and that. This is good. So let's see here. Uh, we want to bring a melee weapon so we can get rid of our ranged weapon. Bring a melee. Uh, the special blade staff. Uh, can boss revive boss? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. Um, so these guys actually fly close enough to the floor to get uh, affected by floor traps. So what we want to do is we want to kind of route the orcs all the way over to that side. Build the kill box for the orcs. Over here. Build the kill box for the flyers. Over here. And a kill box for the big guys. Because they come out of that door over there. That's what I'm assuming. Um, right now we're just going to worry about killing the orcs. Um... Yeah, we'll do this and this. And then probably stagger it a little bit. And then we'll build Cades up here in the front. Now, this is going to be warmage difficulty as well. Okay, you can see the area of effect of the damage done. All right, let's get started. This might be the easiest way to test that on Johnny, so we'll, uh, we'll take a look. 
Can I damage them from right here? No. Now what's the range of this? Those are all shock bats anyways. Uh, not good enough to get to them. So uh, I guess we're just going to hang out here and hopefully the other traps take care of them. Okay. No. That's okay. I uh, purposely chose to not uh, not uh, do anything. With oh my god. They're up here? Come on. We don't need to make uh, bicycles. Where are you guys at? We should probably just have waited back here in the first place, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, let's get it to where all we have is Zelzador and the, and the boss, and we, we need to kill Craig first, I guess. Yeah, Stone Staff is uh, helping us a bunch here. Get one of those up so we can try and get him dead here and keep Zelzador in the area. All right, let's see if Zelzador uh, resurrects Craig. Oh, he does! Look at that! Oh, that's crazy! Hey, that's cool! All right, we'll take Zelzador out because I don't want to fight another Craig. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I can find another Craig, and it looks like he's gonna be run over to the rift, so let's get some mana. He takes out 10 points, so, uh, yeah, we kinda wanna kill him. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out of mana, so I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Well, crap. Okay, well, uh, that told us. Uh, David, how are you? How are you? Yeah, Craig is very tanky, yeah. Well, he's a boss, you know? He's an orc. Orc boss. Uh, let's do, let's do tar, I guess. We'll do tar into that. Well, you can't have two Zelzadors, uh, on the map at the same time. I mean, I guess technically you can. I've done it before, but, um, but to test that, that would just be, that would just be a very difficult thing to, to look at. Um, the way I've done it before. But if he can revive another boss like Craig, then I'm assuming that that would be a yes. You know, Zelzador's not the most common of names. Well, enough stone staff. All right. And maybe we'll let uh, orcs through. If we can get a good enough kill box for that side, then we won't need to worry about uh, too much. Oh, right. Craig disables traps. I forgot. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. The, the thing that we need to look out for. We need to kill Zelzador first. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it, buddy. Okay. There we go. We got a laser back. That's good. Got a little bit of freeze. That's good. Frames just died there. Oh, did it? <laughs> Everything came back. I mean, that would like make a cool looking statue, you know? All right, Craig, don't do it, Craig. He's gonna do it. All right, he didn't do it. Okay, now we get the bow. Uh, we get this side. So this side adds. Um, I think on War Mage, it's fine. I don't think there's any um, sappers on that side. So we're just gonna keep building out here. Ooh. All right. Uh, more boom barrels. Yes, please. And that's it. Okay. Oh, those run down all the way to the rift. I thought about taking all the orcs to that side, but I think it's going to be easy enough to kind of focus everything here, build a good enough kill box over there that we'd be fine. I'm not using the bow, no. Uh, I have this area of effect damage around me, so I figured I would go melee, um, because I have that upgrade, so. It's a, it's a buff, it's one of the buffs chosen.
did they add anything new when they released the game? Well, yeah, they added quite a bit. Uh, I need to get that going. Okay. I need to get that going. And uh, some of that stuff. Okay, there we go. They added a new game mode, uh, which is what I'm playing right now. They've added a bunch of new traps and... Well, traps in game mode and trinket. One trinket. Um, yeah, they got stuff. All right, that flyer's out of there. That's good. Craig needs to stop being a pain in the neck. Good thing the trap reset trinket counters Craig. I guess you didn't know. Or sort of, I guess. Be not as much as I thought. Is it just Craig now? Yeah, it's basically just Craig now. Uh, what does the AoE do? The AoE does damage. It's the AoE that I have on me is doing damage anyways in an area, so it said. Okay, Craig. Craig is going to make me lose part-time. <laughs> so, I'm not going to be able to do part-time because of him. That's okay, though. There we go. Alright, so now we get the left and the right. So, we're going to try and build a nice little kill box over here. Uh, do we even... Yeah, we got the lasers. I will do this. Um, do... Sell the right one, please. There we go. Okay. All right, we'll uh, babysit that a little bit if we need to. Um, does all physical damage have A where you just you? Uh, just, well, all of your weapons, if they're melee, they have a, like a swipe. Uh, you do damage to everything in the swipe. Um, this, this area of effect right here, this, this cross swords, that's just the effect of the um, bonus from uh, from the buff that, I, that, I chose, that I've chosen, I guess I should say. All right, these guys need to die. Back off some ages. Thank you. Oh my god, I hate gnolls. Jeez, they're the worst. There we go. Boom barrels will help me with that. Okay, so those guys are gonna not be too much of a problem right now. Um, okay. The sword regularly single target. Well, it does a swipe. It does a swiping motion, so it's kind of like a like a a little bit of an area of effect, but not like a not. It doesn't surround you, kind of thing. Restart and restart. I'm not gonna restart. How do I restart? Bosses are gonna make me lose part time, even if I restarted. So. It's going fine. I got 89 lives. What do you mean it's not going fine? It's going perfect. Well, not perfect, but it's going okay. This is supposed to be an additional challenge to the game itself. Yeah, never give up. Never surrender. I think they said that in Pokemon or something. Not that I, not that I, not that I watch Pokemon or anything. I'm not a nerd. Yeah, nice. The additional area of effect damage is pretty nice. Yeah, Craig's a tanky boy. I really can't take him out very easily with this. I'm gonna let him walk in a little bit. And then I'm gonna trigger everything and keep him stoned so he can't use his ability. Always give up. Listen. I get it. You make you you don't miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Okay, so if you don't want to miss, you just don't take shots. Don't try. If you don't want to fail. It's that easy. All right, so we get these two gates. That's fine. We're gonna do plenty of explosions, and that should hopefully take care of everything. I'm assuming, but let's see. You beat Colum Coliseum six tries. Yeah, man, that, uh, just wait till you get to Slagfield. Just wait till you get to Slagfield on Rift Lord. 
Let me tell you. There's some difficult maps. Maybe we would have made part-time even with the bosses. I don't know. I do not know. Well, those are armored ogres, so that's cool. have some no grenadiers coming up to us um, so we're gonna have to take care of them it's unfortunate but it is what it is all right we got the sork over here and orc archer and Craig cause some problems again buddy buddy Craig All right, so everything on the right-hand side pretty much is taken care of uh, for the most part, so that's good. All right. Bats are definitely going to need to go. Craig might make it again. Um, you know, because I'm trying to take care of these flyers here. Let me actually just try and see if I can he headshot them. No. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. How did he go in? He shouldn't have gone in. That's cheating. Cheated. Uh, okay, so we've got uh, a couple of these snowblowers. Let's go over here. Yeah, that's definitely a cheat from Craig. Uh, do another one of these. And those. And another barricade. Gonna keep everything. Uh, is there a max number of skulls you can get at Endless? No, technically not. Um, minions always have a chance of dropping skulls, so... Technically, no. Um, but once you get past wave 25, you're not going to get your five skulls anymore. Um, those five skulls are used up. Uh, he just used his hammer when he was in stone. Yeah, he did. He also... Uh, yeah, he Craig, Craig doesn't care. <laughs> so this might be harder than I thought it would be uh, initially, but we'll see. Um, could maybe do this. Yeah, okay. Do that. And then, does this go in or out? Oh, they do have sappers. No! Okay, that doesn't destroy it. I thought the sappers weren't until later, but I guess they are here. Okay. That's fine. Ah, we're not resetting. We'll reset when we lose. And we won't give up. But yeah, Zayak, um, so when you when you play Endless, if you beat the 25 waves, um, you'll get your five skulls, but then whenever you play after that, you won't get those five skulls again, because you've already beaten it, kind of like playing on a regular map. Um, but then you can, uh, you can always pick up extra skulls, and I think Endless gives you extra skulls. Now, I've seen, um, uh, what map was it? The Coastal Hallways give more skulls than other maps. And I have no idea why. I think it's I think it's random, but um, I don't know. It just seems a little bit. Uh... Oh no! The ogre. It just seemed a little bit too good to be true, but it, it seemed to be the case. So, oh wow! So I'll go ahead and pop that number nine. There we go. Lots of explosions. That's good. That's good. Who knows the flyer? Yeah. We're good. We're still on mana. No. Uh oh. We can let Craig through, but we're not going to let Zelzador through. Craig can go. And what we're going to do for the next uh, the next map is, depending on the map, actually. Um, actually, I don't know. We'll see. See what happens. Oh, no. It's another wave. Oh, crap. Um, yeah, we'll get more lasers. How do you unlock special upgrades? Special upgrades are only for trinkets. So you can't unlock them. You just have to have it for trinkets. 
Uh, trinkets do not get level upgrades, but they get special upgrades instead. That's fine, they can actually go into the rift, I think. Nope, never mind. I can die there. Okay. They will still go into the rift, though. Because they can't target me if I'm dead. That's not good. This Kate is hurt. Okay, that's also not good. This Kate is hurt. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We are totally fine right now. No problems or worries whatsoever. Okay. Alright. We're we're good. We're good still. Gonna do a couple of lavas. Okay, okay, it's okay, we're still good. We just stoned him. And now we can now we can do this. Okay, easy day. Look at that. Look at that. We're we're still good. We just got all our mana back. That's what we did. We got our mana back. I know what you're thinking. How'd you get your mana back so quick? Uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, just good at the game. I don't know. All right, we had to pop that to uh, kind of sort of clear the guys out there in the back. Um, hopefully Craig dies sooner than later. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're going to pop another one of these. A couple of those. Okay. A little bit of freeze on. Let me catch my breath with uh, some mana. I'll let some other enemies climb up to the front. We'll see if Craig's thing ends up going out. Okay, we got a we got a lightning thing, so that's good. Well, listen, I wanted to make it hard, or, or else I would have chosen like extra health for enemies. If I wanted to make it challenging, I'd do extra health for enemies, or uh, if I wanted to make it easy, or I would have re-rolled it, but I'm not re-rolling. Uh, let's see here. Do we, oh, do we use Elven Short Swords? No. Even this isn't good. Ice Amulet Bleeds. And attacking. Okay. Sure. We're taking, like, the worst buffs and, the and the, like, the hardest debuffs. Uh, hmm. Alright, so Dragon Boneyard normally comes out with Zelzador. Uh... But Order Temple never does, doesn't have any bosses. But I kind of want another boss, so... Um, I only have one reroll available, right? We have lightning damage, actually. Yeah, but the bow, I mean, it's, it's boring. You know, it's just the bow. Um... I don't know. Are you Dragon Boneyard or Order Temple? I think Dragon Boneyard is probably easier overall. Um, that was the last map. Uh, range damage. Let's do that. Okay, now if I reroll this, and I also reroll this. No. Okay. Um, increase all enemy movement speed. Ooh, that's good. Here. Okay. Uh, do we want to use... We can do increase duration. That's what we'll do for ice, Acid Geyser. One of your swords. Okay. Uh, they suck. They're, the yeah. As of as of the last time I I used the swords, which was on Stadia, they suck. As of right now, they may not. I don't know. Um, okay, we don't have any other skulls, so yeah. So we don't get skulls for playing these. Uh, I just must have not used the other one. So this is really cool because we're gonna have double Zelzador. We're gonna have Craig. We're gonna go melee. I'm thinking about doing the hammer instead, but I don't have enough for the hammer, so we're gonna have to stick with what we got. Alright, let's jump into it. Mm, actually, maybe we can push this back here. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna 
care about war scenarios, so we'll remove those. Okay, and here we're going to barricade up there. Uh, yeah, we'll do this for now. Oh, you know, the saw blade launchers will be really good here, so let's grab those, and we're going to replace Snow Cannon. What do you got here? Small blade launchers? Okay. All right. No, they roll over. Um, I need you guys to not roll over. Do you not roll over here? Oh, you know what? I'll put them up here. That's where they go. Here and here. Is this where you guys go? Hey, all right. That's where we're going to put them. Okay. Do a little bit of tar. All right. We're good. What's your favorite restaurant? Taco Bell. Does it count as a restaurant? I don't know. Taco Bell. You got Baja Blast, you know? It looks like they maybe reduced the part time for this for five minutes as well. So, hmm, cool. You know, if I had wall charges, I'd probably put wall charges here, but I do not. So I'm not using the tornado, not for this one. I'll do it if we, when we play this, like, like the, the legitimate version, then I'll use it. Um, but not for, not for the, uh, this trial stuff. Look at the saw blades. Look how effective they are. Look at this. Absolute shreddage. Beautiful. Uh, because I'd rather just set up the skill box to be amazing and use my money for that. Say if that just if that hurts that barricade, then this is that's a cave stuff. It's pretty crazy. Uh, you don't need to. It saves money overall to not use them. You'll see the final kill box and what it looks like to uh, really be able to determine that you probably just don't want to waste uh, any money or time on it. Final kill box of this is gonna be gorgeous. Just look at these boom bar rollers. I mean, come on. How could you say no? Yeah, I think maybe Brimstone. I, I I maybe like Brimstone more than the Acid Geyser still. No, I thought I might like the Acid Geyser a little bit better, but I don't know. Brimstone's a little bit more consistent. Hard up, yeah. So we're actually gonna snake them in and out of this room, and these boom barrels are gonna be. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, Craig, come on. Yeah. Craig is still a problem. I didn't really realize how much of a problem he'd be, but he is. <laughs> oh, jeez. He needed to take down Zelzimer, really. I think we're I think we're hitting him, so that's good. There we go. Zelzimer's down. Just we can't really we can't really do much with Craig being there, because oh no. TNT archers, come on. Yeah. yeah, Craig's really, uh, really more of a problem than I thought. Um, luckily, he doesn't attack us. So I guess we could maybe like try and take him out early. Yeah, he's uh, he's a bit more of a pain in the neck than, uh, than I thought he'd be. I'm hoping that if he's if he's over here and then we put saw blades over here and an enemy runs in front of him then it'll kill craig pretty quickly but uh yeah i probably should go back to a ranged weapon i'd like to get the crossbow but we can't we can't unlock it yet so we're stuck with a longbow if we do it's a nice skill box and then after after wave three uh we're gonna open this up and then bring all the uh enemies from the other gate into 
this little kill box area. Yeah, yeah, it's really good for saw blades. Oh yeah, we've got lasers though. You know, the lasers actually might be outside of Craig's reach. So we'll uh, we'll put those up and see if uh, see if we're good there. But dart spitters work really well in this section. Uh, lasers do, of course, as well. Okay, let's go ahead and throw some lasers up. Bit of breathing room. There we go. Okay. Uh, why after wave three? Because we want to build the kill box out a little bit more. Wave three, the right gate opens, which is going to combine into here. Wave four, the left gate opens. We don't need to until after wave three, so we're going to wait until after wave three. Why do something you don't need to do, you know? Well, hopefully the lasers uh, will affect Craig. And um, looks like Zelzador is making his way in first, which is good because I see a couple of TNT archers that are going to want to come over. Oh, Zelzador's down already. Look at that. Okay, we're going to do a boom bar roller there. Hopefully take care of some of those TNT archers. Best oh, they're Oh, they're fast. Right, 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 right. That's right. There's a movement speed book. Oof. Take out TNT Archer there. And we're going to have to probably take care of the TNT Archers over here. So let's do this and try and take care of them. I'm out of mana. That is unfortunate. Yep, and I died. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Craig really is more of a problem than I ever cared to have him be. Just your moves. Okay, well, we might not make this one. Um, but we'll know what to do if we get Craig again to re-roll him. I'm kidding. Oh, yeah, he absolutely did, you know, but... Uh, okay, so if we did this and then this. Come on, kill him, kill him. We give him a... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. The Craig's worth 10, so if, uh, you know, if nine other guys get through, then that's okay. It is definitely unfortunate that Craig is as good as he is. <laughs> you know, he's the first boss. He's not hard when he's alone, but he ain't alone no more. Okay. Um, right. Yeah, so Sosador has, has issues with this, but Craig does not. Can't put that there. Okay. Do lasers here. And lasers. Yeah, up here is, is kind of weird. You can't match that side with this side. Um, we'll do more boom barrel rollers. I guess we could probably fit more of those in. And put some on this side. Uh, but first, we'll do some tar. Okay. Maybe that was a dumb idea. I mean, it was an, it was an idea. I got this AoE damage, but yeah, I think I should have uh, probably done ranged instead. And not range stone stab because stone stab doesn't do a lot of damage um, or what I could do is is I think this is really good enough to take care of everything I could just wait till he shows up and then take care of him separated from everything else because he kind of shows up at the end of the wave so I can maybe keep him outside and let everything else go inside and die and that may be what we need to do I don't think anything's gonna get through this although our our part time is actually probably going to be improved with this uh, fast speed that they've got, so that's good. Oof, my frames. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to like kind of watch parts of it afterwards to see how the frames have hold up, see how everything's been holding up.
Yeah, that killbox will take care of itself without Craig. Um, I don't know where he's sponsoring. I'm probably sponsoring him up here then. Well, you know, YouTube does say that they have, uh, they struggle after, um, two hours of streaming, and I've been streaming for more than two hours. Just not very good, but it's okay. Okay. Well, that's good. Kill Zelzador first. only put one of those down that's okay do a little bit of pepper damage and just set that around out here I would come back out here to sell it but I'm not gonna be able to make that if I want to do the barricade thing Uh, almost six hours. It's it may have been close. To, it may be close to that. Yeah, I believe it. Oh, it's been more than 108 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's been a yeah. It's definitely been more than that. Okay. Now I think this is still warmage difficulty, and we get go breaks, and I'll be able to make sure I have enough time to sell these kids. Five hours and 35 minutes, yep. We got another 10 hours to go, boys. 10 hours to go. Good to go break, that's good. I'm kidding. I don't know if it's actually gonna be 10 hours or if it's gonna be more like, uh... More like another five hours. I'm not sure yet. go and that should be okay I think but just in case I'm gonna move that back one and move this over one and the same thing I don't know if they've changed any of the minions or whatever um why five more why not five more I mean, you don't want me to stream for another five hours you tired of me already all right we'll put that there Now, the question is, do, do they, does he, is he going to come out of the top again or come out of the left? That's the question. Don't stop streaming. Oh, forever. Huh. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, let's go take a look at what they're doing over in the rip room. If you're having trouble with this map, it's pretty easy if you ride them like this. Well, there you go. They're going to this room. They're kind of like get stuck a little bit and they'll derp around and then they'll go up into this kill box. Oh, wait. No, I forgot. I forgot. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna have to take care of these guys. I mean, they're kind of stupid too right now, but um, I need to get enough money to uh, build some cades because uh, I forgot to cade off this side. <laughs> Man, it's been a while since I played this uh, this map. Just need it. I just need um, enough for three cades, and I think I'll be okay. So, yeah. Luckily, they don't come out too quickly. And they kind of derp up on each other. Uh, so here, and two more for that. Which means we might be okay with them um, overall. We'll get money from the guys coming out from the other side. That's good too. Like going into that kill box. They're going to go to that room, they're going to come out here, and they're going to see us. Um, but I'm hoping we can get enough to place this last cade. Oh, 
over here. I think I will be. But I see what you, see. I see what you did there. Okayed. All right, sweet. That's good. That's what we need. And that is actually all we need. Um, now we can run back up here and wait for Big Boss Boy. Unless he comes. Okay, he does. They're coming both out of there? Yep. Both out of the same spot. And it looks like Craig is behind Zelzador, so we're just going to ignore Zelzador altogether and just go for Craig. Can't use the uh, thing. There we go. Wait. Why are there two stars on the map? What? What? Why are there two stars on the map? Don't tell me one of those is Craig. Okay, that's Zelzador. We're about to find out. Oh my god, it's this Craig. Ah, oh, come on. Jesus. <laughs> okay, well, we got Craig, boys. Got ourselves a Craig. Oh, we can't put boom barrels up there. Something would good, that'd be a good place for it. <laughs> he doesn't care so much that he'll spawn in the wave he's not supposed to spawn in. He's only supposed to have one Craig, and the body is supposed to be gone for... Oh my... Yeah, this guy. <laughs> this guy. Okay, Craig. Right. Okay, and now we get everything who what is ever whatever is left. Yeah. Uh, so we'll do some more other traps here. Arm right, between and uh I don't know. Remember all here. Okay. I mean, realistically, all the other bosses are easy enough to fight. I think with the, oh no, Craig's coming in early. Uh, I have in no early. Oh no, that's that's the regular Zelzador. Well, we're gonna have to take care of him now too because uh, <laughs> he resurrects his, another Craig, then we're gonna be in trouble. Plus, he's easy enough, right? We'll have to take care of the other Zelzador so this Zelzador doesn't resurrect the other Zelzador. Oh, okay, we get a skull from this uh, still, though. That's good. All right, let's go ahead and uh, climb up here and get out of the way a little bit. Dinner, guys. All right, Paulo. Have a good dinner. Okay, good. We got both of them, so that's good. Um, we'll probably take care of Zelzador first again. You know, enemies that attack is bleed, right? So I'm wondering if those archers are bleeding. Oh, they are. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. It's a little bit of, you know, ranged uh, defense. That's good. Yeah. Oop. There's an easier boss than Craig. There are easier, yeah, Zelzador's an easier boss than Craig, as well as Mongrefell. Um, Gorbash would probably be a challenge as well. Yeah, Gorbash would be a really, a really big deal. Um, and, uh, oh, this is, well, we got Chromatica. Yeah, but Chromatica's only a flyer, though. Ooh, I wonder if, I wonder if Chromatica's one of the bosses. Oh, we got Fire Elementals, okay. 
Because if Chromatic is one of the bosses you can choose from, how is he how is he gonna show up on a map that doesn't have flyers? You know? Doesn't make sense. Oh, come on. The other one blew up. I guess I'll have to blow him up for him. They don't want to blow up themselves. And the thing with the fire elementals is they'll kinda of get into this. And even if they destroy the side case, it's still got the rest of this area to travel, so. I'll wait till we get stacked up on Cades again and blow them up. Matter of fact, I'll be hasting that. Hardest boss in the game? Uh, I'm gonna say Chromatica. But, it's just, Craig is easy by himself on his map. He's really easy. Uh, but I think, in a situation like this, I think he's probably one of the hardest bosses there is. As well as uh, Gorbash, because Gorbash you have a huge area to take care of him, but when you put him in a in a map like this, or even in a regular map, um, you're gonna struggle with him. Yeah, this uh, faster movement speed they got uh, is definitely helping the part time, so that's good. Might as well just put a bunch of tar over here, you know? Actually, we'll just fight over here. Why not? Why are they stuck? Oh, they're not. They're dead. Come here. Strong fire fiend. There we go. Easy day. You're on the final map, Zayar. Hey, good luck with that, man. Non DLC, yeah. The final, uh, so sort of war scenario. Tips? Uh,. I would say, yeah, let me show you. So I'm stuff just doubled. We do like that. Combo coin. Okay. Small coins become big. Um, let's go with increased combo reward coin. Why is Zelzador? Yeah. Uh, the, he does have a sort of, um, a sort of thing. See, I can go back. Yeah, I can go back. I think I can go back in there. Oh, I can't show you on this. Um, here, I'll, I'll, I'll pull up some, I'll pull up something here. Uh, let me pull up the video, but I'll pull up where it is in the video. I'll show you how to Cade and kill stuff in that kill box. Let me go to that video. Coolest, uh, maps. And... Okay, so. Let me show you. So, if you Cade around the rift like this, and you build inside this kill box, uh, to the to the north of the character, or to his left, you want to build some cades out there to stop enemies from entering in this left side, and on the right side would be your kill box. That's what I'll suggest. And then cading around the rift like this. Because um, that forces all of the enemies through the rift room, but then they'll end up over here on the right, and that's where they'll all consolidate. Is there any way to make Zelda a little hard? Yeah, if he, if he resurrected like a lot of enemies around him, that's... That's what would make them hard, yeah. Uh, just make sure if you do this on this, uh, like, this little box right here, right to Cygnus' left, there's, um, sappers that come out of there, so just place some brimstone down there, and then just make your kill box over to the right. They changed the map. They changed the map. Doesn't look like this anymore? Oh, dang. No, Zelzador can only do a single res, but that's how I would make him harder. That's what I would... That's what I would do to make him harder anyways. Well... Oh, um... They didn't? Okay. I, I was like... That, that That's kind of a... Uh, that would be really weird if they did. Oh, no. Gorbash. <laughs> do we do Gorbash? The same. Okay. That's what I would do. I'd get around the rift and force them all through uh, one of the staircases. And the one that has the most ceiling space is the one I'd take them through. And I was just taking them through one side of that room. 
I mean, we have to do Gorbash, right? We have to. <laughs> okay, we can reroll one of the things. So I guess we'll reroll the uh, minion speed. Uh, let's see if we get another boss. No, nope, just immune to physical damage. <laughs> Holy crap, that's not good. Um... <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> How are we supposed to shoot him? Oh god. Uh <laughs> I don't have enough traps for this, man. Uh, okay, we got the arcane dragon, we got the arrow wall, we can give it uh, fire damage. Um We got lightning with lasers, so we can't use the boom barrel dispenser. Let's get the arrow wall upgraded. Let's get the arcane dragon upgraded. Um, can't use the magic longbow. We can't really use blunderbuss, but we can use the right mouse button to blunderbuss. Um, yeah, the sword, the blunderbuss, the magic longbow, they're all worthless. Ring of Storms is still fine. We're going to get rid of the staff upgrades. Um... Sawblade launcher doesn't work. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we can still stone them. Um, so we might bring that. The snow cannon will bring spike wall. That one. Oh, charger. Yeah, we'll bring the wall charger. That might work uh, pretty well. Uh, slow is going to work. Uh, we're going to get rid of that so we can use our skulls. Something else. Go brimstone. Go arcane brim. Uh, what's that overlord staff? Oh, this? This is the blade staff I've been using. That's the weapon I've been using for my melee. Uh, we can do guardian archer with fire, but we don't have the upgrade yet, so we can't. Um... Yeah, this one's rough, dude. Uh... We can't use a weapon unless we unlock one. Can we unlock a weapon that works? Yeah, we can do the arcane staff. Actually, or the alchemist satchel. Well, let's do the arcane staff. Um, that's our only option here. It's a stone staff and use arcane staff, I guess. <laughs> oh god, it's tough. Um, how do we cade this though? You know, I guess we could cade the left hand side still, and uh, hopefully Gorbash will go over there and then die to the lasers. I'll have to kill Gorbash on that side. Then we got, uh, then we got, um, Celsius order to resurrect him. Hmm. Okay. Well, luckily they dropped coins, so after we killed him, and we got combo coin as well, so that's good. Um, we might have enough coin to deal with everything. Uh, alright, let's just jump into it. Did I fart? No. It's the chair. It squeaks. It's the chair. Okay, we, we need to redo our whole setup. Almost of it. I didn't reset. We're still on the same one. Um, wow, that's kind of expensive. Uh, the arcane dragon. Now that bounces uh, back and forth, so it would be pretty good to put here. This is what I was thinking to use it for this section. Uh, I guess it doesn't bounce back and forth, but it's like the arcane bowling ball. So that would be pretty good to use there. Let's get our arcane staff. Um, oh, we got the snowblower too, right? Yeah, got the snow cannon. Uh, okay, so we've got. Did we use the blunder button? No, that's no, no, right. We stone staff for right mouse button, as we normally would. Um, not gonna reset till I lose Johnny. It ain't happening. As much as you wish it would, it ain't happening. Okay. Barricades, arrow walls, fire arrow walls. We got acid, we got freeze, we got arcane, we got slow, we got lightning. I want to put lightning up there, actually. Hang on. We reset all this. Okay. There's lightning up there. I guess I didn't need to get rid of everything else, but that's okay. We want caves to be on four, everything else, all the other wall stuff together. We want our ceiling and floor. There we go. All right, here's our layout. We're going to lose. I don't know. We got Gorbash, we got Craig, and we got Zelzador, so we'll see. We'll see how we how it happens. Um, and this is on Riffler difficulty as well, so that's a thing. 
Uh, let's get... Oh, we don't have our ceiling lasers. Hmm. Do we bring the ceiling lasers, or... I think we have to. I think we have to bring the lasers. Uh... You yeah, know what? Let's not bring the arrow wall. Uh, wait. I didn't... Oh, yeah, that's fine. Let's not bring the arrow wall, because we have we have the um, arcane dragon instead. So let's get a couple. Let's get a freeze. Let's get some arrow wall or uh, some damage there. There we go. Okay, here's the hoping. I think we're gonna have two waves of this gate, and then the other gates are gonna open. So after wave two, we're gonna sell everything and start placing some caves around and. And uh, see what we can do with that. Uh oh, you're immune to something there. Oh, uh, maybe the auto attack. Okay. Could be. Could be not. Could have been the auto attack. Right, range units do double damage. Uh, right. Um... Okay, we're just gonna do this. We're gonna spam right mouse button for that, and then we're gonna die, and we're gonna do it again. I am surviving, sort of, not really. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, not really. But luckily, the bosses have sw uh, sw switched area places. Got mountain trolls, you know, that's cool. Um oh, hey, hey Gorbesh. You're you're a tanky guy, right? Okay. Um We got Craig, cool, cool. Hey Craig. How are you? Okay. Who's like who's like mostly gonna die? <laughs> I guess I gotta like pick who's going through, you know. Okay, archers, could you not? Think thanks. Okay, I'm out of mana. That's a uh, thing. You're going bash. That's not moving. Thank you for moving your headshots. Uh, okay. Still, we're still okay. Uh, if we can kill him, if we can kill him. Nope. Mm. Uh, yeah. This may not. Uh, this may not make it. Um. It's really Craig that's killing it, you know, because he walks as soon as he walks outside of this, he uh, he instantly uh, says no to traps. Can you, can you be damaged? Thank you. Jeez, ah, stop attacking me. Okay, we're gonna come back and we're gonna, um, yeah, very dead. True, true. All right, we're gonna come back as soon as we come in. We gotta go. We gotta. Nope, damn it. He uh he he did this he did the thing. He did the thing. Greg, the son of a gun, you did the thing. Alright. We can just get everybody over to this area. Um we might be able to survive. No, nope. Craig is almost dead. That's good. Uh Okay, there we go, there we go. Alright, our traps are gonna work now. So Okay, we're dead though. Um uh, but uh you know uh uh, luckily, these guys don't take more than more than what they're supposed to, as far as uh, damage is concerned. So, uh, oh, Zelzador, right, right, right. Um, crap, crap. You get a headshot. I need to get it in the angle for the headshot and stop. Okay, I need to stop taking arrow shots. Thank you. Just don't understand. <laughs> I shot him, and then the shot like went went to the left for some reason. I don't know. Okay. But OMD3 for PS5 it came out today. It did, yes, and congratulations. Yep. And that's the GG. That's the U of the Dead. The 
Yeah, that was going to be a tough one. I, I think without Craig, I think Craig is probably the hardest boss to get in that whole lineup. Just because he destroys any kind of kill box you're going to have that's uh, any kind of efficient, so. Right. Oh, we can play it again. Oh, interesting. Well, yeah, I don't think that's going to be possible. Unless I get a reroll. Um, if I could reroll, like, after failing, that'd be cool if it, like, took off score or whatever. But, well, you weren't right at first because you said I was going to lose in the very beginning, and I didn't. I could have picked the easier, um, the easier buffs, but I didn't want to do that. Okay, so if I scramble, I guess I can do an options. Is that how we do it? Not, not, uh, not graphics gameplay, right? Uh, no. Oh, uh, reset scramble. Okay. All right, now we can play it again. Hmm. Do we do Zelzador? <laughs> Kidding. I kind of do want to do Zelzador, though. I think I'm going to reroll Craig if it's the same thing. Um, but we can wait on that. We can play some regular story mode still. Maybe endless. We do endless. Do a couple of endless, maybe. But let's uh, let's continue on with the uh, story mode. Just to play again. If I play again, I'm still going to lose. It's just I I wouldn't be able to do it with um with Craig as part of the as part of the enemies there. Uh, plus, I want to get more skills to unlock more things. So. Just gonna do our temple. Well, I'm gonna start running through the stuff, and uh, and uh, if you want to, uh, you know, see me kind of complete that, then sweet, I will be doing that. Oh, I gotta gotta respec all my stuff that I did. Um, get rid of arrow walls. Get rid of arcane dragon. Uh, what else did I do that I wasn't normally? Uh, snow cannon. Maybe. Uh, I didn't mean to do that one. Lead. Uh, stone staff, yes. Tar, yes. Tr charger, we'll get rid of. Yeah. Oh, we need uh, boom bar rollers. That's what it is. Explosion radius. Okay. Use the skulls and money in this world. Yeah, the skulls are for upgrading traps and unlocking traps. And uh, you can even do. Uh, once you unlock the heroes, you can buy the skins with skulls. And then the coin is for the end game stuff. Scramble's random each time you play. Well, I just reset the scramble and it said that uh, after you beat it or lose, just hit play again and start over with new set choices. Well, yeah, I, I I reset it so I would start over with some new choices. I thought play again was just like try the try what I just lost on again. I didn't know it was. Uh, I didn't. Hmm. You're saying it's if I hit play again after I lose, it's going to reset everything random. Uh, these are the weapons we keep. Yes. Okay, let's look at our traps. We're going to bring barricades. Boom barrels. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, well, um, I'll try the, I'll try the other path next time. Uh, and then I'll, if, and then if I lose, I'll, I'll do the play again so I get, uh, new choices. I found it interesting that when I reset, it gave me the same choices as before, but I guess it's to, to retry with the thing you failed, I guess, so... Yeah, I got you. That makes sense. Um, okay, so we've got that. We've got the snowblower. Uh, saw blade launcher. Uh, we may not use that. We've got uh, tar, and we've got this. Um, what are we missing here? Oh, light. Now we got that. I think last time we brought the overload staff, which we don't. We can bring the Guardian Archer and just kind of get him uh, used up a little bit. And we can do the Wall Charger and get him used up a little bit as well. I think, yeah, we can do that. Oh, I don't have barricades. Never mind. Barricades are coming. You also have a reroll per tier. Yeah, I, I ended up... Uh, oh, whoops, I used a lightning trinket. I ended up using the rerolls to uh, make it harder instead of easier. Uh, so that was my mistake. <laughs> Uh, okay, we're gonna move over. Yeah, actually, that's fine. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Drum. Appreciate the information. Enemy 
enemies are preparing to breach one of our mates. They've broken through a gate. Where do you find the energy for lasers? You know, I was thinking that. Like, I thought it was like maybe a, uh, maybe something similar to a like a, um, not a bowling alley, but a uh, bumper cars. You know, because when you do when you go like a bumper cars place, the bumper cars themselves are like they're on some sort of like a relay. All right. Oh. Okay. Forgot we're on Rifflord, so we gotta like sell and buy and move fast. Is what we're gonna do. But they're gonna see that, they're gonna run up there and they're gonna run back down those stairs and we're gonna kill them up by that door. Which will help us kill everything else. Why don't you pay taxes? I pay taxes for you. Oh, well you don't pay taxes for traps. Yeah, true. I guess it's uh I don't know. Tax free? Uh, where do you get the infinite arrows? Uh, yeah, somebody has to reset those, right? I think somebody would reset those. But, uh, not currently. Headshot damage, there we go. Alright, so one of the things we can do here is kind of place a uh, Cade uh, in this section, and then another one here, and that should allow us enough space for all of the traps that we need. Okay. Could be automatically refilling because of magic and the arrows lasers. You need the arrows from. You know, you're asking all the important questions today, Johnny. All the important questions. I believe we make part-time with this still. Combos with that double jump. Action. Gonna fall down the stairs and keep falling, that's good. Get that archer. Another archer back there. Take him out. That archer might be too far away. Nope. Just close enough, actually. Lasers, snow blowers, probably another one back here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, why don't you pay your workers? <laughs> well, they're gonna have to uh, work harder, I guess. Okay, sweet. Just gonna use a stone sap to make sure we don't lose our cage too quickly. Some of them will damage the kids, and some of them won't, so that's good. Uh, and there shouldn't be any sappers, just some fire elementals and dude and stuff like that. Freezing the fire lord killed it. Uh, freezing the fire lord, I don't think it killed it. Um, I think it was maybe the. Maybe the bow shot or something. I kind of let it through a little bit, and I probably shouldn't have. Um, 
But I, I had stopped firing at it for a certain certain amount of time. That's okay though. We're gonna do another kit here. Just to make sure. I think it's through. That was almost that was almost terrifying. The ogre almost kicked him into the uh, kicked him into the rift. Kind of contemplating uh, even moving that moving that back one, um, back several actually. Put it back here. That'll be fine. We can sell that uh, sell the snow cannon. Put laser there. Put another snow cannon here. Oh, look at that range. Holy crap. What? Well, that's insane. He targeted a way down there. What? This guy up here shot way down there. That is crazy. Nothing in this game has that much range other than the unlimited ceiling traps. Does have that much range, but everything else doesn't. I mean, come on. I haven't been using my boom barrel rollers. What am I doing? Be using those more. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just a few of them. Another barricade and another laser. Fire Lord takes two times damage from ice and explosions. And bleeding does 20 times damage. I don't think that's true. I don't think bleeding does 20 times damage. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, Fire Lords are weak to ice, so they do take bonus damage. Amy, thanks for the sub. Okay. If we kill those Firelings far enough away, then they're not going to cause any problems. Um, let's do a couple of other archers. It's fine. The march is shooting up in here. Yeah, look at the range of those things, dude. Those, that range is insane, dude. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Get a whole army of archers at our back. That way we can get the unique upgrade if we want to. Game combos. Times 12, look at that. There's times 12. That's pretty good. I don't actually know what bleeding does yet, but I plan to take a look at some of the code and see if I can figure out, like, uh, bleeding stuff. We'll see. Uh, what do I get here? Um, probably some more archers, huh? So how's your day going? It's going, going good, and uh, all right. Make a delicious sandwich. To make sure none of those guys are going down uh, down to those other areas to destroy the caves up here. Those kids are really crucial to be staying up and uh, so far they are, so that's good.
Okay. Well, um. Get more archers. Seems to be working out pretty well. Make sure we make a part time by killing these guys when we can, and uh, they are dead, so that's good. More enemies on the way. I found myself getting a little hungry, but I was planning on ordering a pizza, maybe. Uh, we'll see. I end up needing to eat. Fire dudes. Let's do it. Awesome. And just one more fire dude, so we'll conserve our mana a little bit and then we'll move in. And soon. Soon, soon, soon. And now. Let me make sure we can skadoosh him and he skadooshed. And so are yourself skadooshed. Okay. It's, uh, Can get some boom barrels down there? And if we need to, we can try and explode them in a chain reaction. Don't think so, Armored Ogre Boy. There we go, that's good. I'm so glad that these explosions don't launch enemies. I'm so glad. <laughs> I can see that being a problem. Alright, we've got Millionaire. Cool. Alright. And we unlock the decoy. Sweet. Best trap ever. Just kidding. Um, we might try and use the Arcane Dragon here uh, soon-ish. Let's see, do we need to upgrade anything? Uh, we got this done, so that's good. Um, what other things do we need to upgrade? Arcane Staff, yes. Do the weapons later. Um, I guess we could... Eh, I don't really want to use Decoy. <laughs> so, Alright, what, what, what map do we get next? Uh, I don't remember. Ah, yes, this one. Good, good, good. Okay, so we're going to get rid of this, and... You know, Arcane Dragon works really well here, so let's go ahead and upgrade it. Let's try to use Arcane Dragon this time. I think it'll really work uh, pretty well. Question is, okay, it does, it does go over Barricade, so that's good. Um, we're going to do that. We'll do Tar here. And lasers up at the top. And snowblowers as well. Uh, it all works pretty good, pretty solid. Oh, I probably maybe should have invested in dart spitters here. Only in granola bars. Oh, that's unfortunate. Man, unfortunately, it's uh, definitely increased the mana cost for it. But it's still probably better than anything else. Mm, okay, I guess, I guess this side opens up and the other side closed. All right.
like a four it's been over three hours not watching yeah and i appreciate it too I think I'm gonna sell the arcane dragon up at the top um, because it's got such a long cooldown that I don't think I'm gonna use it up there. I might use it down here though since it's uh, such a long corridor. But up there at the top, I don't think it's gonna be useful. It's so expensive. My next stream, uh, 15 hours. Uh, I have no idea. Been shot by somebody. Yeah, I am. Okay, <laughs> this wasn't supposed to take so long, <laughs> but it is right now. Crossbow would have been better. Our DPS for headshots. Okay. Good. Luckily, we only get the these two spots uh, still. So. Um. Okay. A little bit of acid might help us here. Um, let's go ahead and heal up. I kind of want to put snow up here, uh, some snow blowers or something. I'm hungry. My stomach growling. Probably should have saved a little bit more money for this area. Um, might struggle a little bit. Luckily, the sappers do help us out with some damage output. Um, just maybe not enough. Just standing on air. Through the knoll, the one I knocked in. Okay, I think overall with everything, um, the arc, the arcane dragon works. But I, I would use other traps first. Then I would start using arcane dragon a little bit later. I think. Um, but we definitely want to kind of sprinkle a bunch more of these. Uh, traps in here if we can um okay so we've got both sides we're gonna go we need to sell these arcane dragons up here i mean right now i think we're okay uh for the most part but um we need to loop this around a little bit more They're just so expensive. I probably shouldn't have, yeah, I definitely shouldn't have used them. Okay, I got enemies getting through on the other side, so I gotta take care of them. Probably quite a few since I'm not there to contain them. All right, here we go again, chasing everything. The arcane dragon, it's like a, it's just like a long range uh, arcane trap. Um, arcane's like an okay element to bring. It, it seems to do quite a bit of damage compared to other arcane sources. Uh, it's just, it's not great. Um, it's so expensive. I think that's really where it, where it hurts. It's in the pocketbook. I meant to retry this without that. Let's see. We we'll use some freeze if we can manage to assist in this. There we go. Freeze and both. Freeze and both. No. Freeze and both. We 
we'll keep the freeze where it is. We're gonna sell the arcane dragon as soon as we, since we're able to. All right, we'll get rid of that crap and. Oh, that's weird. I just saw the decoy uh, thing show up, and I don't have decoys, so that's interesting. All right, we're gonna get a little bit of snow into this area, so we're gonna kind of beef out this area so it can take care of itself, and then we're gonna go take care of the other areas. Um, them being purple is them being affected by the arcane debuff. Okay, good. That should be taken care of. So now we can work on this area here a little bit quicker, a little bit sooner. Uh, Arcane debuff just means that they take bonus uh, damage from elemental sources. Such as acid or, or uh, lightning or uh, fire, that sort of thing. But of course, fire fiends are immune to fire, so we can't really bring that here. And uh, snow, I guess, as well. Okay, very good, very good indeed. So now we get some more lasers. Uh, we're gonna face them like this. And we'll put back here some snow. The arcane debuff, yeah, uh, yeah, just uh, mention that. Bonus from elemental sources. Uh, physical elemental, uh, nope, physical is uh, physical bonus damage um, is done to enemies that are frozen or stoned, and it's uh, physical damage that's bonus there. So, if you want to do physical bonus, uh, get some uh, frozen or some stone. Okay, good. Yeah, we're doing really well up there, so now we just have to worry about this area. We could get some, um, some arcane dragons maybe on the other side. Okay, let's do let's, let's place one here. We'll see if that helps us a lot. I do kind of want another uh, laser beam on the other side, but can't really make that happen right now. Hopefully that lands out here. It does. Good. That is what we need. I'm not watching the chat yet. I am very focused on landing headshots. <laughs> so, uh, if I miss something, uh, um, acid. Yes, well, acid uh, is a different kind. So, there's something called brittle, and brittle is the effect of bonus damage being done to uh, enemies' bonus physical damage. But what acid does is it does a melt, which reduces their armor, which also increases your physical damage. So, if you have both acid and ice or acid and stone, then you're essentially doing even more physical damage than before. Okay, we're gonna sell that and a couple more traps up here, I think, and that should seal the deal. Uh, we're gonna do this and this and one more of these. Okay, and hopefully that takes care of itself, but we'll stay up here just uh, for a little bit to make sure. Critical eight, yeah, basically critical eight, which, um, could actually test uh, potentially the best way to do uh, physical damage here in a moment. We can get making sure we get rid of everything there. Okay, we're gonna have to start paying attention to down here now, which is a okay with me. Uh, okay, okay, one dot, yeah, almost one guy almost got through, but uh, they didn't get through. Yo, I'm back, uh, Paulo, what's going on? There is no such thing as critical hits, there is headshots, which, I mean, essentially are the same thing, I guess, uh, in, in, like, most aspects of what a critical hit is. But, uh, yeah, there's no such thing as a critical hit, uh, in the game, anyways.
but I know it's pretty easy to do a lot of damage uh, with physical and as a matter of fact the highest amount of damage a trap can do is a physical damage trap and that's without uh, without these uh, acid upgrades so the acid upgrade we'll actually get to see Place another one, so it's off cooldown. I'm gonna place another one, so it's off cooldown, and that'll give us some mana. Oops, oops, indeed. I did not mean to use that. Okay, cool. We're gonna put more tar down there at the bottom. Um, I think the top is okay for now. We need more tar down here. Take care of the top. She made the dragon do acid damage. Is that one of the upgrades? Does it last longer in acid? I don't, I don't remember what the upgrades were. All right, we'll just let him get a little farther and boom, 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 boom. Yes, very nice indeed. Okay, do another uh, snow back here. All right. So my chat. Uh. Which does the purple? What is Arcan debuff? Physical damage type damage. Um, I saw the Arcane do acid, but I don't remember that being an upgrade. Although it could, it could very well be, and I just didn't see it. I'm a little focused. <laughs> a little focused. These harder maps are uh, are harder, you know. Um, and this one's one of them. Definitely be. Oh, I didn't make part time. Ah, shit. How much did I not make part time by? I'll see it at the. Uh, I'll see it at the end. Damn. That sucks. I think I just let too much slip through. I'm not going to use those arcane dragons. They're just too expensive for what they do. I'm just not feeling them. Uh, 33 seconds. Okay. Well, we'll come back to that one. Um, yeah, it's just not. Okay, dragon boneyard. Uh, so, yeah. Let's uh, hop out of here. Um, bounce us off wall a single time actually this might make it worth it if it bounces off the wall um but i yeah i don't like this it just wasn't doing it for me okay so let's see what else we got we can unlock other stuff um we haven't done the deep freeze yet we can try the deep freeze um we haven't done the floor scorcher yet either that was in the other games and that is a pretty cute trap. So we're probably going to use the Floor Scorcher in place of the Acid Geyser. Uh, and then the Deep Freeze on the wall. Okay. And yeah, Saw Blade Launcher's there. Why you no longer use Gravity Atom? Because I know what it is and I know what it does. And I used to use it a lot. But I just... So many other traps and new traps I haven't used yet. So I'm using the new traps. Uh, I think with the Freeze Wall, we might actually be able to do this a lot more effectively. So let's give that a shot. Give that another shot. We'll go. We'll go ahead and five skull it. Uh, we're not gonna bring this. We'll bring the freeze wall. Matter of fact, force scorch would be pretty good. Well, it'd be okay. It wouldn't be great, but up here it'd be okay. So you do like this, and then this, like that. There we go. That looks way better than what I had before. Way, way better. Matter of fact, these walls might be better than the cannon itself. But I don't know yet. Whew. 
Why freeze him? Did you just kill them? Well, freeze allows uh, allows me to kill them without losing lives and without them getting through. Um, the amount of damage I can do otherwise might be might not be enough. So we do this, this, uh, and then we'll run to the other side. Maybe I should go to the other side first. I don't know. Hey, do you new hit the All right, so yeah, this is going to be a really good spot for freeze. I think um, as they come up here, they'll trigger it and freeze everything in this area. And we're just gonna kind of maybe do boom barrels on these inner part and then freeze on these uh, other walls it's a very awkward it's a very awkward uh built uh area because you can't you can only place some uh these vertically but you can't place another one you know horizontally and the walls themselves are a bit strange too None of them got through yet, and we're good. Now right, we're gonna do a uh, cross wall in the back. The flash freeze. Headshots galore. Sure that ogre dies. These heavy orcs take a beating. Yeah, when you get subway, uh, you know, let me have some. Yeah, these orcs, I don't remember them being here before. They're pretty rough. Oh, I didn't need to use that stone staff there. I'm going to get him to come this way. There we go. Grab that mana potion. Can I do more damage this way? Yeah, maybe this is faster. Maybe those, uh, maybe those headshots are faster. Okay. Good, the better will be. All right, so we're gonna do ice wall like this, boom barrel rollers, and some tar. Uh, okay, we get this side. At the same time, there's one, two, three. That's true. Uh, you can put on a phone, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I didn't use my ring. I forgot to use the ring. Should use the ring. Now, sappers do help us with a little bit of damage, but uh, probably not enough. So good. Okay. Okay, just a little bit more sprinkle damage that we can keep them under. If we can, that'd be good. The armored ogres are getting through. Um, and that's uh, right, right, right. And we didn't use our lightning ring, so let's use it now. <laughs> there we go. All right. More the way. tar. Okay. Go to the other side and help it. Yes, where number one on a high school. You got it? You got number one on front lawn? I uh, accidentally died there. I was reading the chat. <laughs> I 
Oh, crap. We need some lasers up here, I think. We still have to kind of stay up here. Let's get those. Boom. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that takes care of him. Yeah, it does. Three point six. Oh damn, that's cool. I'm sort of under the impression that the uh staff is doing more damage, uh, but I'm not sure. That seems like it is. Yeah, front line is the one with the Gorbash in it. Let's get, uh, let's see here. We need acid geezer. Oh, right. We need lasers. Both sides. Okay. We're definitely going to need some health. So we'll grab some health. We'll go up to the uh, top and hopefully we make part time this time. Now the ogres are still getting a little far, but for this man on, on stream, uh, you know, um, I could, but I'm going to let him have it. Start getting through a little bit, but I think it's okay. I'm going to do that. Kind of need to go down there so we can um, pop those uh, bombs. Um, yeah, let's try and make that happen here. Okay. That'll kind of get rid of some of the reinforcements. And I'm stuck. There we go. Okay, I'm not stuck anymore. Great. Okay, sweet. So just a little bit more uh, in this area, and then we'll be done with it. Okay. That's probably good enough. Um, can't stop watching on D3. Dead. I'm gonna need to wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow to work. See you guys tomorrow. Yeah, take care, man. Uh, looks like they're not getting through. We just need to absolutely make sure that's the case. Um, this armored ogre that might make it a little bit, so I guess once he's dead, we're okay to continue on going down here. Uh, oh, I'm keyboard. There we go. So good. 27 on endless. You're like, give up, eh? <laughs> well, you know, after 25, it, uh, it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, you've already technically beaten it, right? 
Um, but you know, as far as like scores or whatever, um, you know, going longer, right? Can't place those there, of course. Uh, going longer, you know, it, it, it helps uh, with your score. Longer on uh, on ego. Okay, so we're going to do this here, and we'll take care of the armored ogre, and we'll run back down. Why isn't the boom bar roller a war item? Because it's never it's never been a war item. It's always been in the game. It's just other renditions of the game have had it. Three million score right now, damn. I got uh, I got it to 103 million on coastal hallways on Stadia. Yes, come to me and blew up. Okay, that's good. That should take care of itself. Uh, we're also going to, just for flavor, put a frost cane in. Actually, I didn't hack. Nope, I beat it. And as a matter of fact, I streamed it live. I streamed live the 103 million. But it's not too hard on the coastal hallways. You know, it's a long map, so. Good, good, good. We are doing wonderful. Yeah, these lasers are right here in the front. I probably should have done that sooner. You know, but... It is what it is. All right, we're going to do a boom barrel roller and then another frost wall. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I don't know, man. We still may not make part time because it's already it's already uh, we're already like at the end of it. And uh, thanks. I don't know. It's gonna be tough. I mean, the boom barrel roller. Huh. Another of those. Frost trap. Imagine if endless had par. It wouldn't be endless <laughs> if it had a part time. Because then you would have to, you'd want to beat it before a certain timer ran out. Yeah, I don't know if we'll make part time again. Uh, this is pretty tough. Uh, I didn't realize it would be such an undertaking. I'd. It's not like we're losing, we're just not winning. Uh, can we kill everything in 27 seconds? Can we? That's a good question, I don't know. I'm gonna pop our lightning ring and hope that we can kind of farm everything out uh a lot of a lot's dying real quickly right now uh so it might be just really close and that may be the answer here that's just going to be really close oh geez look at that look how close it is oh no i don't think we're gonna make it though two seconds one second oh, oh freaking armored ogres dude again hey yeah yeah See, freaking armored ogres. Okay, that was like three or four seconds off, I think. Them damn armored ogres. 412. 1412. <laughs> okay. Right. Alright, let me order a pizza real quick. Now we'll just uh, we'll just continue. I'll come up with a better way to beat that. Although I am using a lot of the new traps, I could probably use the old traps and do better. But well, we'll see. I always forget the password I use for the pizza place. And so many passwords, you know. Okay, we'll continue on to this uh, next one though. Looks like
like another army size problem. And no sorcerer's advice this time. Aw, you scared genius. You know what? I'm not. We got the war machine specs. And we're a great team. What? <laughs> Who would have guessed? It's not a war machine. But, yeah. We really are. Well, that's not supposed to happen. Huh. Uh, so the war machines slots are supposed to be designed just for the war machines themselves. Um, but for whatever reason, we got the decoy in the war machine section, so that's weird. Huh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty weird. Okay, let's see. Cool. Uh, let's see, you said, uh, melee stream? You can melee stream if you want, I don't care. Uh, 11 skulls waiting 30 rounds up, uh, just for, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, it is if you, if you end up, like, making an AFK, uh, if you do it AFKable, then you can like leave it running overnight kind of thing. Then it might be worth it. Cause then you'll then you'll come back to a bunch of a bunch of additional skulls. Cause you can get like, I don't know, I think when I did my 103 million run, it I had like 50 skulls from it or something like that. All right, y'all know the drill. Um, we're going to try and use floor scorchers here. So we do want a ceiling trap. We're going to use these floor scorchers instead of the acid. Actually, need the acid too. To go floor, tar, acid, floor, tar, acid. Uh, or, yeah. Um, we'll use the boom barrels and these. But the, uh, I don't know, these... Tall blade launcher is just so shreddable. So we're gonna bring that as well. Okay. Yeah. That's that's what I would probably if I was trying to farm skulls like legitimately, I would just get to the point where I got all the traps I need. I would play coastal hallways and go endless and uh and just AFK after I get to a certain point. Um I am interested to see how endless goes, so what will be the story mode maps first? Oh, I forgot the tornado, you're right. Rats. Well, there's one more uh, war scenario after this, so... Oh, I forgot to put down traps, too. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's the thing. Alright, let's see how the Floor Scorcher feels. Okay, do that. I wonder if it'll uh, affect big guys. Uh, I can't reset, I've already done. I've already set up everything. I'll do it on the last one. I'll put a I'll put a tornado out of two. Ah, uh, yeah, we're we're good with tornadoes here. We don't need them here. As long as JFK, uh, like eight hours or something. I don't, I don't remember if that was the one where I made fifty, but I think the fifty skulls came when I like AFK for eight hours. But it was just overnight, so I like went to sleep and came back and lost. <laughs> okay, lasers. Another set of lasers. I mean, it's not feasible for everybody, but if you just say, okay, as long as you, as long as you can, once you set up a uh, kill box, then 
you're basically making skulls as you sleep. We we'll use tornado at the uh, on the last one on the last war scenario. We make a lot of money on that one. Although this, admittedly, would probably be the easiest one to use it on because the kill box is so efficient. But we'll do it on the last one. And once you get the game, you can use tornado all the time. Well, on the war scenario, anyways. Yes, yeah, go. Pull out of that. All right. This time there's no Craig, so this uh, kill box will do uh, will do a lot better. All right, monkey butt kids playing orcs must die. Nice. He's one of the uh, he's one of the two in the giveaway. I I'll do it on the last one, which is in four maps. Okay. None's ever going to get through this, but we'll let them think they will. Just relaxing for another two waves. And let me check the Discord here. Um, so if you don't know, you can... Yeah. Uh, you can uh, join the Discord in the description. It is Robots Orcs Must Die 3 Discord. So if you're looking for a group, you can go there for the uh, looking for group chat. If you have a bug to report, you can report it in the bug report chat. Um... Correct. Coastal hallways. Actually, most maps don't have bosses. Uh, the only maps that have bosses are the war scenarios. Um, but yes, coastal hallways does not have a boss. Anytime it's one of these like thirty part, thirty minute part time, like ginormous maps, then they have bosses. Otherwise, they don't. I forgot to do more boom barrel rollers. Oh, they're oh they're blowing up on the uh, damn it! They're blowing up on the uh, lasers, so they're not actually doing their job. So I guess in that case, I would bring gravity pillar instead of laser because of the boom barrel roller interaction. We're gonna have to sell them. Uh, all right, so we're gonna do this and then that. Well, we can put them over here. I was thinking I was gonna put the the freeze wall over here though, because it shoots down in a straight line. Yeah, they're blowing up up here. That is unfortunate. Okay. Maybe lasers aren't as good anymore. Hmm. Mm, indeed. Additional range that those explosions have from the crossbow orcs. So we're gonna have to keep our distance from them Otherwise, I wouldn't mind it too much, but they're gonna have to die here soon One's on that little kill box uh, We'll have it facing inwards That one. Cool, cool. And at the end of this wave, we'll... 
Actually, we can start barricading a little bit now before we forget to barricade that side. Mm, TNT archers. Eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll get ready to sell the perfect kill box. It's really good. It's really efficient. Sell those. All right. We'll... Go ahead and wall up here. More enemies on the way. Start a barricade on this side. Um, I mean, we could, actually. Let's just build our kill box on the other side as well. So we'll build the one here, and then we'll build the one over there. that work. Okay. All right. Seems we don't need those barricades that I've placed. Uh, since we're not doing lasers on this side, we can do boom barrel rollers on the wall, but I mean, we honestly don't need to. Yeah, we'll get rid of these kids. We'll build the other kill box over there. I mean, this is just efficient enough to take care of itself. The stream? I Honestly, I have no idea, but um, I'm probably going to go for another... Three, four, or five hours, maybe. I mean, it's only 4.30 where I'm at. All right, I guess we can take a break, and then I might be able to stream longer if I take a break uh, once the pizza gets here. I'll, like, I'll let it sit. I'll, I'll maybe play another map or so, and then, uh, and then take a break and then come back. I can do that, yeah. Yeah, nothing's really getting far enough to be a problem. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, some freeze over here, though. Just to make sure uh, nothing really gets through. Too much. You're going to do other things. That's fine. Go for it, man. I mean, I appreciate you hanging out as long as you did. You, you, you hung out for quite a while there. Maybe too much. Home day three for one day. Hey, listen, tomorrow uh, we're going to do a long stream. I don't know how long, but we're going to start sometime early in the morning, uh, central time. And then probably again on Sunday. So you take care, Johnny. It's been, uh, it's been a nice having you. All right, I actually do want to sell these three kids. So we'll collect the money before the next wave. We'll sell these kids. Take care, man. Let's see. Does this work on regular orcs? I should probably put it farther forward. Let's see. Yeah, I think it does. I think it does. That may actually help a lot against Elsador if it freezes them in place. Yeah. You also got to go, best cookie. Work tomorrow, but after that, I'm watching you again and crushing more. Hell yeah. I'll see you then, man. All right, I appreciate it, dude. This wave's almost over, so we'll get in position. We'll make some cells. Okay, let's hope we're not too late. <laughs> I guess I probably could have uh, put some traps up over there, but uh, it's okay. Lasers up here. Okay. 
Yeah, I uh, probably should have got some stuff set up sooner. And I'm not getting headshots for whatever reason. Uh, room to kill stuff in. Now what we're going to do is, I guess we're just going to trap inside this room and let everything else die up there. I'm going to go up uh, for Zelzador once he's uh, available to, to be taken out. Alright, going to... Saw blades in this room, definitely. Uh, sprinkle our tar around. We can do the four scorches. I want to see if they work on the fire uh, fiends. Um... As long as, or with the flip, I mean. I don't think it'll work otherwise, but let's go up and see if we can get some coin up here. You can use a little bit of coin. Could sell these traps too, but I got a better idea what we can do. I forgot to take out my pinned message. Whoops. There we go. I don't know if I'll have time to go and replace the kids. There's some kids, um, the ones that they're kind of going to over the, on the left-hand side, they're double backing on a little bit, and I'd like to take them out, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Well, this is perpetually spinning. Keeps rolling and rolling and rolling. Sell that, put one here. Oh, uh, yeah, let's do, yeah, let's do that. Cool. Nice. It's gonna be a big explodey area. And that's all we need. Deserves the door. Sorceress, I have no idea what or who that is. That is Zelzador, also known as the Resurrection. What? He brings orcs back to life? Okay, not me. Hey. 
<laughs> oh yeah, the carnage. There is, but only fire elementals and fire fiends, and they don't come out very often. I would usually bring fire traps for that map, um, because it's not it's not very much. Just bring something else to deal with them. If you do like fire lasers, I would do like uh, arcane brimstone or something to help deal with them, and uh, plenty of physical damage traps, boom bear rollers, uh, saw blade launchers, that sort of thing. They're gonna die up there, so I'm not gonna worry about them. It is cleared. Pretty strange. Also, he's also drawing them. Oh, he's dead. That's where he is. There's another skull. Very cool, very cool. Steel man. And there we go. Sweet. Easy. Easy five skill is part time. That is the kill box to do. You can merge everything and still make par, but it'll be a little bit tighter. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and unlock um, some brimstone. Yep. Oh, we get the auto ballista now. Yeah, sure. Oh, this is the basement then. Oh, okay. Uh, I think we're gonna use the um the cannon actually instead of where I would normally use the ballista. Now this one's uh just generally kind of tight. Um, no, uh, do I use? Okay, so. Boom barrels. Uh, yes. Boom barrels are a yes. We're going to put the ice wall here. Then we can put the floor scorcher here and then do tar acid. Floor scorcher tar acid. Okay, that's good. Uh, boom barrels above and uh, so we're not using this. Right. 
Right, we need the snowblower. Put the snowblower up here in this area. And hopefully the snowblower blows into this section and freezes everything there. It's going to be long quarters where we're going to build this. Um, well, that's a bug. <laughs> uh, interesting. Uh, why do we have... Uh, maybe they Maybe they heard about my this taste for the uh the decoy and they were like you know what we're gonna give everybody free decoys uh no i i'm pretty sure it's a bug and i think i know what's going on but uh, it's pretty funny okay uh is that all we bring uh let's see here oh we don't need lasers what do we bring instead of lasers i guess you need a lightning rod we haven't put those down yet so we can do a lightning rod here then snow blower and what was the other one? Moon barrel. Yeah. Okay. Do that. They're going to remove all the chest weapons equipment from the game and have you used decoys. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay, it's that side, yeah. That side. More enemies on the way. The enemy army is attacking on another front. Okay, this is where we do this. This. And no okay. cannon? Okay, cool. So you can do this with double cades a uh, little bit more efficiently um, if you bring doubles. So you just double here, double there, and you're just kind of building this little corridor section that everything's just going to run straight down. So. Right now we don't have the other side built, but that's okay. Archers are a little bit of, a, of an annoyance here. Um, but right now, not too much. Good. Got lightning. So this wall freeze will be really good for this section. But building out here does mean you're cutting close on part time. So if you kill everything fast enough, You'll be okay. I think we can with the addition of Boomba rollers. Where are you going, buddy? Okay, there we go. Now we need to make sure we have enough uh, money for the other side to bring it all over. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I mean, in Unchained, you can put them on top of, uh, you can, they were, they did count as part of your, uh, trap, like, maximum, but you can put them on top of your other traps, so it helped a, a, a bunch, you know? Um. Okay, uh, I will be right back one sec. Yeah, it did it. It was it was fine back then. You only had a you had like a maximum trap count, so that kind of sucked, but fine. All right. So oh. archers are okay. We can deal with them. It's really annoying. 
we had Cygnus, it'd be a lot easier. We just sleep and then they would run into the kill box. But we are okay for now. Hopefully this doesn't, uh, hopefully we're not taking too much time. Do that. That should do a ton for us there. False ceilings too, yeah. Yeah, those boom barrels are, are going to be really good in that, in that spot. Um, okay, let's do another force scorcher. Matter of fact, the, the frost wall could be another boom barrel roller. Um, because everything clumps up here, right? And we do need everything to die so everything else can come in. Uh, so that could, that could definitely be a, a spot. The snow cannon is not doing anything right now. <laughs> I was hoping it would. So maybe ballista are the better choice in this. I did not need to do this. Uh, I think I'm actually going to switch this out with the Boomer Roll, yeah. Okay, we'll do more and that, and then more cades. There we go. Nice little corridor. Yeah, those boom Rolls look sick. They look real cool. Now, arrow walls work really well at that back spot. Um, arrow walls will pierce, or even fire arrow walls, but arrow walls with pierce work decent. Okay, we're going to try and put uh, some snowblowers up here, I think. Uh, we'll see if they reach. They do. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Metallic shiny barricades. Yeah, they're also really cool. I, I like the barricade look in uh, Unchained quite a lot. Um, the gold plated stuff. I liked all the gold plated top tier stuff. It really made it feel like it was like super really cool. But, but I digress. Okay. So that's a good spot for it. Um, looks like these spots here in the back aren't. This up here might uh, might actually work. This section. We'll see. Ah, the no hunter died there. We'll see if we can make part time here. It does get really tight here, but uh, no, no, yeah. You know, the weird one was the saw blade uh, trap, just like the regular saw blades, um, kind of like the wall charger sort of thing, and it was strange in the fact that the bleed upgrade that it had made it look like it did ice damage. It was like a, an ice blue sort of look to it. So that was a bit odd, uh, in my opinion. But. Okay, good. Uh, so far, we're, we're good. So we're going to do this, because uh, why not? <laughs> I don't know. Um, we can do this here, or looks. Um, they're like fire hoses, really. They look just like fire hoses, you know, like a like what a fireman would use. All right, these are AOE, right? So I could have put those there. Actually, there we go. Do a little bit more damage. Uh, get Nightbot ban everyone. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I, I don't really care to ban. People got to have somewhere to go to pick their mind, right? If anything, if anything, I just ignore it, but you know, oftentimes some kind of spam gets left uh, lost in the chat. Uh, how do you get the new traps? They don't seem to be part of the DLC of the Steam only. They are. Are you playing on Stadia roster? 
If you're playing on Stadia, I don't think I don't think Stadia is being updated yet. I know they're going to, but I think Stadia is a little bit behind. If I remember correctly, so that might be why. Otherwise, they are in the uh, spell book. You just have to unlock them. The skulls. Yeah, we do want to we do want to get the shot going, but not yet. Yeah, I think Stadia. You might you might go into the uh, the help chat on the Discord. But I'm pretty sure Stadia is behind um, the release, and I'm not sure by how long or why. Of course. It's all good, but you might be able to get a uh, time frame, you know? <laughs> no reason to wait if you... or It's a good thing to know how long you have to wait, I would say. Ooh, that's beautiful. Look at the, oh, those explosions. Okay, so this is why it's uh, this is why it's tight, but it is doable. It's just really um, you're just kind of squeezing the part time here. There we go. Yeah, the snow cannons are dope. I think they're gonna be uh, a clutch when you want to go like AFKable endless kind of thing. I think the snow cannons are gonna be clutch. So that's a safe way to do it. You know, you could b build a uh, kill box on all of the doors. Um, so you don't have to like Potentially lose that. Um, okay. We get the swinging mace now. That's really cool. I like the swinging mace I like the look of the swinging mace. As a matter of fact, I wonder if they changed it um, Let's go into the next way uh, level. What is this called? Oh Coliseum. Ooh, yeah How do we find Volk? Keep telling Ooh, his army Coliseum find us. Yeah. Hmm, this is a tough one Okay Um we're not going to use the cannon. As a matter of fact, we are going to bring the blade staff. So we need to go and upgrade it again. We're going to bring the stone staff. As a matter of fact, we'll probably go uh, stone first and then blade. Or a lightning trinket, I think, is going to do really well here. Um, you like looks to map? Yeah, this map is like my favorite one as far as like aesthetics are concerned. Uh, how effective is this going to be? Probably really effective if we barricade off one side and use boom barrels on the other, uh, and then melee everything. That probably would be okay. But these need to trigger on their own, and I don't know if we have the ability to do that. I don't know if those trigger that or not. Uh. Where's the freeze wall? Let's look at the upgrade for the freeze wall. I think we did enough with it that we can get the unique upgrade. A deep freeze. Increase range. That's what we want. Yeah, definitely increase range. All right, let me get the uh, overlord blade staff beefed up. Slap back in. I, I kind of want to use the new stuff, so... Um, uh, this is all new. We could do this. Where does this go? Does it roll downstairs? Oh yeah. Oh no. What? Um. That breaks physics. <laughs> you know, saw blade launchers are really good here. You put them on the wall, and they'll just bounce around in this area and kill everything. So uh, this is really weird. They're floating. Okay. Uh, yeah, that could be useful, and the freeze here could be really useful. Oh, the, look at that range, though. Look at that range. That's all the way across. Oh, dude, yes. Oh, dude, yes. Okay, so you do, like, boom barrel here, and then freeze. A bunch of freeze on the wall, right? Like this? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Okay. Alright, so let's, uh, stop goofing around and figure it out. Oh, I don't, I don't have the decoys anymore. Oh, yeah, I do. Look at that. Uh, okay. Yo, I wonder if this freezes across through the barricades. Check it out. We're gonna have to hastily sell everything after wave one. And now the sun's in my eyes. Great. Great. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, enemy here. We do this and one barrel and some freeze. Okay. This should do it for us for now. I believe these are TNT archers that are coming out. I wonder if they fixed the pathing on this. It kind of looks weird, the pathing, right now. Hmm. It's, yeah, pretty strange stuff. Maybe. Maybe it's just me. I guess an arcane dragon would, would be okay here uh, if you put it on both sides. Some freeze down here. Watch out. Our enemies have broken through again. Okay. Yeah, nope. Oh. Mm, yeah, true. Uh let's hope they don't destroy it. No. Okay, they didn't actually they didn't hurt it at all, did they? Oh, they hurt that one. That's okay. Alright, cool. Uh, looks like there nothing else is going on. Cool. I should have put the uh, um, stuff on the other side. The uh, ice walls. Because they come out of the right side before they come out of the left side. I put them on the left side for no reason. Because I'm a dirt. I can put ice walls on that side, I think. Sort of help clear out those minions. Now you are giving quite a bit of part time on this, um, but it's still it's still a challenge, so I wouldn't even say it's easy yet. And get some ice on this side. More enemies on the way. And one more ice on that, and then we want a little bit of tar to see if we can uh, help slow down the firelings if they come out. And as they come out, I should say. And then once they do, if we see them, we'll just uh, pop our lightning ring and, and hop down there and, and Oh, hop down there, then pop the lightning, I should say. Okay, I don't think anything's coming out here, so we're going to go ahead and pop the lightning ring. Do a little bit of additional AoE damage.
Ooh, and that guy. All right. So we're going to do one more of these. And some fire down there. Oh, uh, where was that? That was up here. Um, okay. We got these guys down here. But we'll see what we'll see what happens with them. Hopefully we're able to uh are actually here. Do this. Okay, I need to come over here. And we got one of them. Okay. Don't see any other oh freaking TNT archers. Come on. Okay. Kids are fine. Um Yeah, just another TNT archer, we're good. We are good to go. We'll run upstairs, get a little bit of health, and run back downstairs. This guy's gonna get a little closer. There we go. Sweet. Okay. Probably hear my fingers clicking and clacking. I mean, Jesus. Uh, yeah, it, it is. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty tough. Uh, it's gonna be, it can be a bit of a tough map. Make sure I'm not losing any rifts or anything slipping through. That's all. We got TNT archers from the right. Why is he sidestep? Like, when did they start doing that? <laughs> like, come on, dude. Don't do that. Don't make it hard on me. We always keep enough money in reserves for an extra cave. Okay. Also going to put some decoy kids down there. Cade here, cade here, cade there. All right. So hopefully, something blows up over there. Gears. Cut that crap out, dude. Yeah, that's fine. Those are decoy kits for a reason. 
No. Okay, just gotta replace it. Uh, oh, never mind. It's a decoy kit down, I think. Maybe. Oh, come on. Grenadiers. No, don't do it. Okay. All right, we're good. We're still good. Yeah, they're really having a hard time pathing correctly on this. Um, they usually do in... If you play on uh, Endless on this, uh, but they're really having a hard time right now, so... I don't know. They're all getting stuck over there. Let's uh, get some Boomer Rollers, I guess, and get some... Uh, I don't know. That's weird. I guess this barricade might be hurting him. I'll, I'll, rem I'll move it somewhere else, I guess. Fresh Cade's there, um, another Cade here, uh, we can do another Cade, like, right here, that's fine. I'm gonna let these Knolls come into the Rift, and we can let the Knoll Grenadier come into the Rift, too. Yeah. Yeah, they're taking this case down there. Just the uh, the open uh, fire wings. They're that's what they're doing. It's okay with me. We're gonna hopefully get uh, enough boom barrels here. I don't know to take care of whatever this issue is over on this side. Okay. Oh. Almost lost a lot because I'm. Looking at them derping up over there on that side. Decoy Cade, that's fine. I just want to make sure they're not taking those Cades out, you know? Looks like they might start doing that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna do a bunch of boom bar rollers here, I think. That way we can make sure they don't do anything too much. Uh, we'll do another one here, okay? Another kid there, and do a kid here. It's fine. All right. We'll let them sort of come into the kill box. Was a nice portion of that side. Yeah, they're destroying the ones on the inside. Destroying that one, that's fine. is not one of these five kids here uh it doesn't really matter too much all the rest of this is um just fine
Yeah, you know, just armored ogres ain't just for beating war mage. Uh, armored ogres. Yeah. Um. Uh. uh saw blade launcher. They absolutely shred armored ogres. Does help. All right, so we're really close to like not making this, and uh, oh, you know what? We got the ring. Yes, yes, yes. We have the uh, lightning. That's good. Oh yeah, also the lightning, uh, the lightning amulet. That is proving to be very, very useful. Okay, easy. <laughs> oh, God. Um, that one is weird, because those... I don't remember them being padding so poorly. I know they pad that like that if you build Cades in a certain way, but... Um, yeah, they were pretty poorly padding, so I don't know. Hmm. I'll get the Bowling Boulders, because this is the last mm, official map. Um, Non-DLC, so it's a uh, war scenario. No boss or anything. I wish there was. You guys heard about all about that. Okay, you get a lot of money to start with. I don't know if we care to do. We'll see if they made any changes. I don't know if they made any changes yet. And we still got that decoy sitting there. I'm not gonna move it because I like it. I guess I'm gonna keep it. Um, let's see here. We are gonna use wall blades though. Uh, I think we want to in this room. It's gonna be really good. What do we get rid of? I think we're going to get rid of... Oh, you know what? Let's go look and see if we have any upgrades for the Floor Scorcher. Yes, increase range. Yes, very good, very good. Okay. Yeah, I would, um, I would spec into the Lightning Amulet whenever... If you only have to face like one or two of them... I'd make sure you pop that and keep them inside of it with an ice amulet or a stone staff. Um, if you have a lot of ice dart spitters, they really do really well against the ogres. Um, other than that, wall blades shred them. Okay, so what do we want to set up here? We need cades for some of the stuff. Um, I guess we might just get rid of blade staff so we can take the uh, take these. The ice, uh, the lightning ring amulet, and uh, wall blades. Uh, you know what? We need to upgrade to wall blades too. I forgot. Do you, un do you unlock costumes by doing weekly guest? Uh, you're talking about the costumes for the pl uh, this, this dude. So what you can do is you can spend uh, 25 skulls. Once you beat the game, you on any difficulty, you unlock all the uh, heroes that you can play as, and then you just go to your uh, spell book and you cycle through the uh, skins. So this one's 25 skulls, the uh, Kelsey has one, everyone has at least one. I think Max has two, but yeah, that's how you do the costumes. The weeklies are just there to kind of give you a little bit of extra challenge, but um, I, have a, I have a feeling that people aren't going to play it as much. I totally forgot what I just was going to do. <laughs> okay. Alright, let me fix the wall blades, wall blade launchers. Wall blade launchers. Okay, there we go. And what are we what are we not gonna bring? We're not gonna bring uh trap reset trinket, so we can remove that. Um we're not gonna bring the staff, so let's remove this and beef it up a bit more. There we go. Okay. Best melee weapon? Probably the blade staff. Um just because it has heal. Uh the there's another weapon that also has like a lightning thing that it does, and it's okay. Um, I would say, I would say probably, yeah, we kind of need brimstone for this part, but no, well, we got floor scorchers, that might be okay. Oh, you know, lasers are good here. Oh, I don't have ceiling traps. Okay, we'll bring lasers instead of a uh, snowblower. Yeah. Uh, we could do snow can. No, I, I think I'd rather do lasers. 
um, to help us kind of kill everything. In no, we don't want a lasers because we got the boom barrel rollers. So what do we want? Swing and mace? We'll do the snow cannon. And hopefully we're able to beat this easily enough. Okay. Get those four and build out here. We got six levels left, eh? Nice. So here. Move that up again. There we go. Alright. Now I got 10,000 left to build other stuff. Um, start here. Maybe we go one back. We got the increased range, right? So that's... Oh, that's a good range. Look at that. Look at that range. Hmm. Beautiful. We can... Alternate this. Some boom barrels. Okay. Do that. I'll just kind of build this backwards and... Oh, we didn't do our... Oh, yeah. We got these snowblowers. Put the snowblowers kind of spread out all around. The boom barrel should help us take out, like, any large groups of enemies, which there are going to be plenty of. So on this, they come out at the top. Um, sappers show up here, I think. Everybody comes out at the top and... They're just going to run down here. They're going to get a little bit of rift rush when they pass the rift and... Then they're going to lose it. And this is where we're going to start. This is where our kill boxes may be going to go out to. Otherwise, we're going to start here and build backwards so we can use the ceiling a little bit. But. Definitely going to alternate our, alternate our floor traps there. I actually hope that Fire Lord doesn't pop. I don't want it to pop yet. I'm going to come over here before he does. There are enemies in our rift room. Yeah, so what they do is they pass, pass the rift. Uh, I hope nothing actually goes into... Why did... Oh, right, the rift does damage in AoE. Oh, crap. Uh, okay. That's... That's okay. It doesn't look like it's going to kill a Fire Lord or anything, so that's good. Freeze up on him. Nice. Good. Oh, the saw blades. Right, 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 right. I forgot to put them in, so we're going to put one there. Yeah, I really hope that doesn't, uh, the rift... I may actually not bring the lightning ring if it if it breaks one of those, uh, fire elementals. That would be just a little bit too unfortunate. Hose does pop. Nope. No, you don't. Okay, there we go. And we got a health pot. That's good. Uh, there it is. Hey, you. 
Mm, we can do that way, yeah. I should bounce around to give us what we need. Okay. Wait. Yeah, catching everybody right in the front's real nice. to our saw blades like this and oh I should have probably sold that one that's fine okay there we go it's gonna allow the explosions to kind of chain out here in this area which is fine it's kind of what we want um, we'll put another one maybe a couple of boom bar rollers over here so that way it can roll out from this way all right let me move that up for another uh, ball blade. Let's see, get here. Enemies at the rift. about these explosions one of the problems with this setup is uh, sometimes we're gonna have problems with uh, uh, we're gonna go this way with the firelings or, or the fire elementals and you kill them here the firelings will like run back towards your rift and explode the barricades what it looks like is that's not the case anymore um, with the boom barrel rollers they can do enough damage to do a lot of like the AOE explosion to Keep him dead. There are enemies in our rift room. That's so much wasted explosion. That's okay. We need to put a tar back there in that corner. Like right. There we go. Then saw blade launcher there. Good. Explosions. I don't know if these will ever be used up here. I think they won't, but I don't know. Can you imagine filling like this entire map with nothing but boomer rollers? That would be pretty insane. Sounds like the birdie might come and join us. Or he wants something. I'm to do. Good. Mm. I don't know if anything will come over there to trigger that area. Ooh. 
You have 61 skulls, which should you upgrade or buy anything you want, but I would I would recommend if you don't have the stone staff already, get it and use it as your secondary weapon. And then you can combo that with whatever your primary weapon is. Uh, other than that, um, so up to you, you know. I'm trying all the new traps and stuff, but, uh, you know, ceiling lasers are really good against runners and sappers. Um, saw blade launchers are good against armored ogres. Um, boom bar rollers seem to be really good against large groups of enemies. <laughs> Just as long as you're buying something and testing it out and trying it for yourself, uh, can't go wrong. Nice, threw a skull my way. Beautiful. Man. I like the Goombar Rollers. Can't eat my keyboard, dude. Wish I had a teammate to play with on PC. Hey, go to the uh, in the description below my below this video, below all my videos. There's a link to a Discord. Uh, head up that Discord, put your Steam information in, and um, you know, ask uh, ask the LFG and the LFG group. See if anybody there's uh, willing to play with you. We got plenty of time between like everything that we can we can use the uh, lightning shrink it quite a bit so let's call it a lightning rod but it's not Yeah, what those guys are doing is they're just going to the stairs, seeing that they can't get into the rift and they're running away. What? We've already seen mountain trolls. This must be the first time you actually see them in, like, War Mage difficulty, then. Because we definitely seen them before. On, like, a very early level. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get some of this up. And that's for the sappers. I'm pretty sure sappers show up, and I'm pretty sure they're over there. But you can't. Don't call me on that. See, so yeah, I believe five and six are all of the gates. Which is fine. Should be okay on part-time. Um, this arch would actually be a really good place for vertical saw blades. This arch would be really good for that, but we are not going to use that, so. Alright, then we're going to build one more layer of walls, or floor traps, and then we're going to place uh, scorchers facing inwards to make sure that everything on the inside is burned, and then after that, just more of these uh, fire hoses. Probably boom barrels on, this, on the wall outside there as well. You know, we can even use the decoys. I've already thought of a thought of a way to use them. Come over in that corner. Attract some some enemies, so that way they trigger those uh, saw blade launchers. Okay. 
Hmm. This must be the first time we see Cyclops mages as well. Interesting. I did not know. Uh, I don't know. Oh, we can't put one up there. So we'd have to do like a saw blade launcher if we wanted to. Which is, um, uh, that'll be okay. Because then we bounce between this and that. I should have sold that PBR. That's okay. More enemies on the way. Oh, crap. Well, I have to suck a place in that. Okay, let's go. More of these. Spread those out. There we go. Didn't explode all those. Yeah, we get that one. That one's easy. This one's just the one that we need to watch out for. Um, I'm assuming the acid geezers are going to be okay because they they have such a long duration of, uh, of effect that they're probably okay. Ethan, what's going on? I haven't seen you in a bit. What's happening? There are enemies in our rift room. We're just beating this last level like it's nothing. First level, I, I think, is pretty hard. If you if you barricade like this, it can be a bit of a challenge. You got to control the enemies, but um, after you get like wave one, past wave one, you pretty much have enough traps to please really do whatever you want in this room and kind of keep everything dead. So. The decoy over there in the corner. Blow up those lower upper bolts and put this over here. Just in case. Go ahead and add a couple more of these. More of these fire hoses. Ah, oh, yes, the mage. Throwing my decoy in the corner. Yeah, these things ain't making it through. No way. Okay, we're gonna put one here in this corner. Kind of get anything that comes in. Hopefully shoot this way. Put one back here maybe as well. And then an extra guitar here. We need to flip this. We need to sell that. Put a saw blade. Two of them over there. Oh, 
Oh, he's still, yeah, he's still up. Oh, he's got a little bit of health. We didn't upgrade him, but he's there. Here. Some more of these, I guess. Alright, this should be the wave then that the sappers come out on. So we'll uh, just keep an ear out for that. An eyeball, two eyeballs. Okay, not this one. Eyelashes here. It's like my eyes. We're going, bud. Still not the one to look out for. It looks like our decoy may be dead, so we'll put another one. The decoys are okay if you're like if it's like an extra trap you get to bring. It doesn't really affect your already there loadout. Because all I'm using it for is to make sure that those traps get a chance to trigger when they otherwise wouldn't. Okay, let's see, more... More ice, I guess. Issues, I think, unless they changed it. I don't remember there being three. I don't remember them being where they are. Hmm. Maybe there have been always there. I don't know. As long as they're not sappers or firelings, we're okay. Um, I don't think they are. Be honest. Fifteen T archers. As a matter of fact, I'm fairly certain they are. All these orcs and trolls are getting hosed down. I don't think anything's getting through this now. We got so much freeze. It's uh it's almost dropping frames. <laughs> we got that's how much freeze we got. So cool, I guess. It does a nice it does like a nice like uh beam of damage they do, so that's cool. We got another, uh, we just popped the 
lightning amulet. And there we go. He's got to be that one with five skulls instead of four and not, uh, you know, make part time. I need to use like better, better traps if I'm going to do that, I guess. There is most of, if not all, of the new traps. We didn't use the alchemist satchel. It didn't seem like it was going to be too good. Now, we get to play as the best hero there is, Sickness. Nice. And we get the credits. Let's take a look at those credits here. All those roll. Oh, God. God. There's so much chat in... There's so much chat in... Discord. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, I think the mentions are probably at LFG, I'd imagine. I don't think anyone's... Yeah, it's fine. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Game is over. Okay. So nice to meet you. Next, best war mage ever. Do 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 do. Guys, a little help with the wooden thing. I think some of these guys you might see in in that Discord chat. Um, I heard that before. I think they have like a a thing of uh community stuff. This would be Juice, yeah. He's the community guy. Pretty active in that Discord there. So if you got any questions, you can go into the help chat. If you got any uh, bugs you want to report, you can go to the bug chat. If you're looking for group, go into the LFG chat. And if you just want to talk about the game, go into the uh, regular chat. It's in the Discord. Uh, link is in the description below the video. And below the stream. Very cool. New unlocks. Prisoners. We got the crossbow. Yes. And drastic steps. Nice. We're gonna use the crossbow from here on out, <laughs> basically. Okay, cool. Um That's the main storyline, you know? The only one we didn't five school of sludge shell because of part time. We were like gone by missing it by 12 seconds, so we'll do that one later. What I wanna do is I wanna um I was going to say, they didn't add any, did they? No, they didn't. I thought Coliseum was going to be at the bottom of that list, but that's okay. Um, I want to do another scramble. So let's do that. I want to do the Zelsador, but uh, when I get to reroll, I'm not going to I'm not gonna allow Craig back in. Craig is not coming back with us. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, but we got the crossbow, so this should be a little bit easier to headshot everything. Um, yeah. Got other stuff now too, so let us. Oh, you know what? We need to we can change our hero here. Let's go to um, the Cygnus gets evil Cygnus. Okay, Gabriella gets Rift infused. 
Uh, Max gets Oak, Orc World and Prisoner, and you start retired. Warwick gets Good Warwick. Okay, those are the skins there. You can see a lot of that on the wiki page as well. If you go into the heroes, uh, it'll show you those. So now I guess the, the mission or the objective is to get enough skulls to unlock everything, open everything, and upgrade everything. Um, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, I think. But um, And to test the Alchemist Satchel, uh, as well as maybe try and come up with some utilization of other things like the Arcane Dragon. Okay. Let's go to Hidden Dock. Let's go fight Zelzador and uh, see what we can do here. Oh, I stayed as him. That's okay. We can stay as him. Um, yeah, we can use these traps. We need to go to that side. Here we are. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. The door is down. Uh, I think last time I actually used some melee weapons, which probably would have been overall better here. I want to say. Come in, bud. Archer. Go. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. Got. I need to get over here. Your PS4 crashed. Overheated once they're on. Mmm, that's not good. It's also not good because I don't have enough money for this barricade. I'm gonna be fighting things over here. Also not good. They're sidestepping now. It's just so annoying. <laughs> okay. Ready for the thing yet there? Little bit more coin. We'll be fine. Okay, now I have it. That is pretty sad. I wonder if it's um a thing with the game, because right now my computer is like it's it's just trying a little bit too hard, you know? Um, so I wonder if that's like a thing that's going on. Yeah, that's this will be a good place for uh, four scorches actually. As they walk in, it'll also help me take care of the the uh, take care of the archers as well. Put four scorches, maybe even what? I didn't. See see anyone. Well, okay. Uh, I goofed that one up. I didn't see anyone, so um, I don't know what happened there. Then again, my bird's walking all over my keyboard and tons of eyes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to put the um, four scorches back in the back to help take care of some of the uh, lingering archers. Oops. Got your toy, bud. I don't have a door. It's over there. Get it. Compressed air it is good for cleaning out dust and electronics. Yeah, I probably do need to clean it out. But it's just it's just like most games don't do this. Uh, the only other one that's ever done this is Total War, and it's always done it. So it's, it's a little bit weird, but yeah. Um, we're going to go ahead and heal up here. 
And I don't think I have any weaknesses in my... Oh, you know what? Maybe something stood on here and was slipped back into the rift. You know, that could have happened. Uh, didn't think of that, but yes, it could have happened. Don't shake it or turn it. Yeah, I know, I know. I think if you, like, turn it upside down, it'll... Bad for it. Playing with his toy on my desk, and uh, <laughs> he's knocking off the desk. There we go. Om D three on PC is not optimized too well yet. Yeah, they had they worked on us for some time. I I think. But that could very well be. Alright, um, let me make sure that this is solid. So I didn't, I did, definitely did not see that guy getting through, so. But he did. More enemies on the way. Okay. Put that boom barrel over there so it'll roll down the stairs. Waste of a lightning amulet, but that's okay. Heal up. Another Zelda. I'm digging these boom bar rollers so much. They are so good. I can't wait to see them on an endless map and like work out work out really really well. I think they'll work out really well. All right. That was easy and quick. Got distracted a little bit with the birds, so we lost a life. That is okay. Oh, these are these are new. 
Um, last time I did this, this didn't happen. Okay. Um, ooh, greatly increase all wall trap damage. Well, our boom barrels are wall traps, so... But we use our range weapon a lot. Yeah, I don't know. Um, do I do wall trap damage or do I do range weapon? Hmm. Hmm. I guess range weapon will help me take care of the beginning, but then wall trap will be for later. So we'll do wall trap. Okay. Um, Chris, all very heavy enemies' health. We're not gonna make part time on the basement. Um, if we play it, so uh, coastal hallways is pretty easy though. All, all enemies are immune to ice damage. We can reroll that, right? Well, that's not happening. <laughs> that's not gonna work. We can't play with Craig. We should have taken the... Oh, damn it. We should have taken the... Um... Craig might be doable on this map, but there's going to be a map that we get later on that he's not going to be doable. So we're going to have to reroll him as soon as we beat this. We can try to beat this. Um, since we have the crossbow, it's going to be probably a little bit easier. Uh, headshot. Triggers. What's up now? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Let me get your cage. All right, let me go take the bird to his cage. I'll be right back. One sec. He's banging his cage. He just wants some food. All right. We'll try Craig. Um, try Craig. We'll have to, like, focus him early, but I think in Coastal Hallways it's going to be easy enough to do that um, with the way we replace our barricades. So, yeah. We'll give this a... The old college try is what we'll give it. The old college try. Now, this first wave is going to be pretty difficult. Now, I'm thinking we're going to kill everything inside this hallway. And... Is possible. Hey, what's up, Johnny? We're trying this again. We got Craig again, um, but we got a, a new map, and we got the crossbow now, so it's gonna be easier to take care of Craig. Um, I'm thinking boom barrel rollers in here, but you really can't fit a ton if you fit the saw blade launcher. The saw blade is so good here. Let's see. Could use the ceiling lasers, but I think the snow might actually work out better, uh, just because. Just because Craig it might, you know, take his time to get to us. Uh, I would kind of want to use this room for my kill box, but uh, he might, if he slips in, then it's going to be tough. Uh, otherwise, what we're going to do is probably cater around here since it's War Mage. I'm pretty sure sappers don't show up. Even if they do, we can take care of them. And then just have this long corridor of killing. Okay. So... Did I upgrade? Well, I got the crossbow. Upgraded the crossbow. Um, I don't remember, but we beat the game. So that's the thing. Do that. Yeah. That there and that there. Um, tar. And that. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Uh, 
Oh, I didn't use a tornado. No, I had a different kill box set up, and I wasn't sure if it was going to work, and tornado would just make it difficult to use. I could have used it on the last wave, but no, I, I didn't. Um, there's like a bug with the uh, uh, decoy. I didn't want to mess the decoy up. But hey, guess what? Our next our next uh, map is going to be going to be one of those. All right, and let's not do that. Okay, and he stuck him. All right, we can. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We can we can handle this. I think there we go. Just the two bosses now. Uh, I guess we gotta take care of Zelzador first. But the next map is a uh, war scenario, so we'll be able to do it next map. Okay. Craig's got quite a ways to walk, so we are A-OK -okay here. Yes. We get to uh, uh, go breaks, so that's good. Okay. Do I like the tornado in a box more? I I don't like the tornado but in a box at all. <laughs> I still don't. I mean, it looks cool. It's a cool design, I guess, but um, as practicality of use, uh, not so much. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that on this side. We're gonna do that on this side. More enemies all the way. And we're gonna do that against that wall. Uh, and then we're gonna have saw blade launchers somewhere else. I don't know. I guess we could make, maybe have these barricades like diagonally go this way, so that way the enemy will clump up into this area. My favorite war trap? Um, I have to save the tower, the tower thing. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's probably my favorite. Just because you, it has so much utilization, and you can make a kill box that's supposed to be for the indoors, and you can make it outdoors really uh, efficiently. Okay, we're gonna place this back here. And here's what we're gonna hope. We're gonna hope for the boom barrels to dispense all over the place. As we miss Zelzador's headshots. There we go. We want Craig to come over to us. Favorite trap that does damage? Uh, yeah, the catapult. Um, the boom barrel launcher. Alright, Craig's gonna come over. And then he's going to take a lot of damage. There we go. Just like that. Okay. And we need to place them on this side now. Right, sappers. Oh, I forgot I left that uh, freeze up there. Yeah, I, I say the catapult's probably my favorite that does damage. These dispensers, man. Whew. They're killing it. I don't know. We might try and keep Craig, actually. I'm starting to grow fond of, uh, of Craig. If we have, like, a long corridor to kill him in, then he's okay. And if we can get, like, uh, bonus range damage, then I think Craig will be awesome as well. Part time, what does part time mean? You have to beat the map in a certain amount of time to get five skulls. Uh, so it's part of the five skull um, thing. I don't know if it matters on this uh, on this mode, but damn it! Archer took me. Got my uh, hit 10 million on my first endless run ever. Nice Good job. Freaking archers, dude.
Okay. Um, let's see. Paper traps fully automatic. Fully automatic. Oh, you mean you don't have to mount it? Um, probably the snow blower, I would say. It's only a thousand and it does cover quite a bit of uh, space. And it doesn't freeze, like it's an instant freeze, but I don't know, it's not the best. Okay, so we're gonna do that and put this back here. Boom headshot, yeah. The cross was really good at getting those headshots and, and racking that damage up. Uh, let's see here. Sawblade launchers are go. They, yeah, the sawblade launchers are, are real, real sick. These boom barrels, man, you just toss them and place them, and they just absolutely shred everything. Yeah, sawblade launchers real good. We're actually gonna have that one there to shoot out. They cleared the boom barrels, but that's fine. Thanks for answering everything. Of course. Actually, maybe we shouldn't have done the saw blade. There we go. Nice old freeze. Not just something shot at us. TNT Archer did. I didn't see them in the mini-map. Dungeon Defenders? Nah, no time soon. No time soon. If at all. Um, if I, like, for whatever reason, didn't like Orcs Must Die in uh, 3, then I probably would, but... Definitely like Orcs, so... Another one. Of course there's another one. Freaking Archers. Okay, why not? Um, because I have I don't have that much time. I mean, I, I say that as I'm playing, you know, a game forever, but yeah. Um, why would I play a game other than this when I can play this? I'll we'll start with the little tar. That's fine. Oh, they're starting this side. More enemies on the way. Like I said, uh, if you if you um. Go to Mr. Juice Bags. He's a YouTuber. He plays this, and he also plays Dungeon Defender. So I know he's going to cover it. He's going to cover the new uh, release uh, stuff. So if Dungeon Defenders, Defenders is your thing, I would say check him out. This is so professional with stone sap switches, yeah. Okay. So there are sappers. I see. Oh. Hopefully he doesn't, um, bring the sappers back, actually. <laughs> that would suck. They're watching the stream, but I saw your stream, so I switched to you. Oh, thanks. I guess. I mean, he's good. I mean, he's played, like, one and two. He was, like, a one and two guy, and I was, like, an unchained guy. So... We've got like a different way of looking at it, I think. I really loved Unchained. I didn't care much for, I didn't care at all for one and two was like mediocre to me. You guys see that? Craig disappeared. Where the hell did Craig go? He died over there. Oh, he might've got hit by a saw blade. Yeah. Uh, actually, your saw blades shoot out that far? I think he got hit by a saw blade. I don't know. That's weird. Why did he die? Okay. Let's put a bunch of those down there. Where's that? I don't say. Oh. Like curse words? Or something? Now oh, come on. Not more of you. Not more of you. Okay, Craig comes out of that gate again, so we'll see if he just stops living. Hmm. 
Not sure. I don't know what I have to do last time. Yeah, he like... Uh, no, he didn't get stuck this time. Yeah, I have no idea. I might have had an idea, but now I got none. Got none of those. Uh, that's not good. Okay. We are okay for now. Oh, I haven't used my, my, this whole time I haven't been using my lightning again. I keep forgetting. I'm goof. I think that's one, two. What do you think Unchained was three? I mean, one and two, like, well, two wasn't bad. I played two whenever Unchained went away, but I really loved Unchained. And I loved the PvP aspect of it, which I know was kind of controversial for some, but I really enjoyed it. Sabotage is, uh, is what I played. Okay, Craig. Gonna have to not live anymore, thanks. So, um, I also like the three player multiplayer. The problem is, is, uh, when I played Sabo, like, there was only one guy that played Sabo with me. It was just me versus him, like, all the time. <laughs> it wasn't any, like, middle ground. Okay, we're gonna have to replace the barricades because they took a beating. And maybe even two, two of them? Got another layer? Oh, yeah. Probably another layer. They are trying. Okay, there we go. All right. It's um, a couple of tar and some other stuff over here. Yeah, did you guys see that? Craig just died. Why did, why did he die? I don't know. I mean, I'm, okay. I'm not complaining, but he just died. Now I'm super low health, so one more hit and I'm dead. And I'm not at my kill box where I need to be. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, I died. That's a, uh, we might still be okay. Yeah, I think we're okay. We have orcs versus heroes. Yeah, they, well, they were talking about making a second IP. Um, I don't know how I feel about that yet, but uh, where they would have another kind of type of game. They were thinking like an, um, not an RPG, but a, uh, an RTS. That's what they were thinking of trying to make. Where you would, where it would be like, you know, the orcs versus the heroes and you'd have like a an actual faction and stuff but i don't know it's a small development team and i'd rather them i'd rather see them just focus on one game i mean i get trying to branch out but out of the expense of your player base all right zelzador yeah i've got no idea why uh, craig is dying over here I've got no idea. <laughs> it's like he's not getting stuck. If he was getting stuck on something, I'd get it, but I have no clue. Alright, I misplaced these barricades, and I'll get rid of that. Wait. He, he got resurrected. There was two... There's two things over here. He got resurrected and then died again. That's what happened. Mm. Freaking chappers. Oh, whoops. I wasn't paying attention to those. Okay. Two Craigs! Two Craigs, you had to do two Craigs. Close the door. Oh my god. Well, hopefully they all die here. Um... We can beat this so we can get rid of Craig. That's where I, that's what I'm hoping for, at least. Ah, I ran into an archer. Couldn't see it. StarCraft. Uh, yeah, like StarCraft, basically. Um, or like Age of Empires. I'm thinking like Dungeon Keepers would be cool. Like they can make it. They, they can make a Dungeon Keeper work because you already have a bunch of traps, right? And that's kind of one of the things that made Dungeon Keeper shine is the is the traps that you were able to have.
Okay, one Craig is down. Get the other Craig down, shall we? Other Craig is down. Yeah, Zelstar is pretty brutal with other bosses. That's why we're gonna get rid of uh, Craig, because he's probably the worst boss to have in, in this. I mean, bosses are nice because they drop coin, 500 coin, but... I mean... Eeksh. I'd rather have Gorbash than Craig. Well, I don't know, I shouldn't say that. Depends on the map, I guess. Okay, whew, and we've been part-time too. Uh, some of them made a board game. Um, yeah, they did. All right, uh, cool down on floor chest by half. Well, we're not gonna use the other two, so. Oh, we could use this one auto clicker and really cheese. We're not gonna cheese. So we'll use uh, cool down. And let's see what we get for negative traits. Uh, speed. Or increase the cost. No, we'll take speed over increased cost and we'll get rid of uh, Craig. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we're gonna use uh, tornadoes. Tornados. We're not gonna we're not gonna use a lot of them. We're just gonna use some of them. Um, we should we bring the mana trinket. Uh, what do we have for our lasers? Yeah. Do you, do we want to bring anything else? No, we don't want to do lasers, right? Yeah, we don't want to do lasers anymore because they mess up our boom barrels. Instead, we'll use gravity pillars and. You don't have upgrades for them, so that's good. Never seen gameplay? I've got Dungeon Keeper videos on my uh, YouTube channel. The best quality you can is like 720p kind of thing, because um, Dungeon Keeper is an old game. I love how Unchained uh, has auto shoot for weapons. You do that here. You can click and hold. Alright, uh, let's see here that is here yeah this this uh war trap i really like because you can uh really set it up with uh barricades and stuff and you can jump around the map with it um but i do need to actually use this so i'm gonna keep that in my repertoire that way i can upgrade it uh it's an old game though so you know you're not gonna you're not gonna see much with it uh right so we got our floor traps Boom barrels, saw blades. Do we use the saw blades? Oh yeah, we have to on this one. We have we use the boom barrels. We use these three. We're not going to use the snow blower. Then we're going to use the gravity pillar. Okay. One D one was one click, one shot. Yeah, that's that's rough. Uh, should we build our kill box? We'll build our kill box in the second location, actually. Um, so let's open this side. Is where we're gonna build it. Since, since you guys have seen me build the kill box on the other side many times, we're gonna build it over here. Alrighty. Okay. Look like this. All the way around. And then we're going to bring the other um, the other guys from over there. We're going to bring them over here as well. So, essentially we're just getting in front of the rift here. Then letting them go up to that room. And then they'll run over here and into this little kill box area. Uh, but we will need to take out... Oh wait, we have... Okay, as I said, we need to take out Craig, but we don't have him, so... Ooh, good. Uh, and they run faster, so that's going to help us with uh, part time. That's good. I still haven't eaten yet, but I will eat later when I'm dead, I guess. Unfortunately, we lost one life. We could have probably made this without losing any lives. This may be actually a faster way of doing it because you'll have the other side joining you sooner, but I don't know. Ok, 
Gravity pusher. Kick ass. They are so good. They hold everything in one location. Uh, and it doesn't matter how fast they move, so I may actually be using gravity pullers a lot here. Alright. Uh, let's do that. Um, we can use these vertically. Hello, no hunters. Oh, there's four of you. Okay. Oh, I need to move that up one then. I just realized. Yeah, Zelsador's already dead. I didn't even notice. I oh, know he's not. He's right there. There's a skull there, so... Oh, that must have been from uh, just a random skull dropping. That's cool. Take it. Okay. There we go. I think we'll actually leave these spots open in the barricade. Normally I like to close them up, but I think we'll leave these open just to... Because the, the boom barrels, I think, will roll over the caves if I don't. And then they won't actually damage the enemies as much. Won't be as effective. Yeah, yeah, because we'll, um, push it out, so. All right. Something else we need to do is this. And this. All right. We're going to group everything up here, I think so. Yeah, very good, very good. Okay, cool. More enemies on the way. This faster movement stuff is nice. It's getting us through this uh, through these maps pretty, pretty quickly. What are those? Yes. Hey, look at that. This is gonna all pop as soon as they walk over here. I'm gonna pop it early though for right now. So we don't have to listen to it. <laughs> Let's do a lag out. Ooh. One kill box. It's nice. They are they are dying. And they're getting shredded at the same time. Did I not replace this? I didn't, did I? I didn't. You know how to crush boxes? Alright, it's alright. I think if this triggers, it'll just all the way down here, which is fine. Uh, this one might not be useful where it's at, so we may actually turn that horizontal. Uh, this one's fine where it's at. So yeah, we'll just turn that one horizontal because we're going to place cades on this side of it. Matter of fact, one of the cades, for example, will be right here. To just force everything over here. Goodbye, Zelly boy. Oh, oh, oh. 
particular orcs. I didn't see where that one went. Tornado, yeah, we'll get to tornadoes. We'll get to them. I just want to make sure nothing's ever going to make it through this before I uh, go outside and hang out around the tornadoes. Um, but I also need to, as a matter of fact, we'll do that now. Oh, nice. Bunch of uh, collectibles over here. We're going to go ahead and make this Cade thing happen. Matter of fact, we could just do this. That's work. That'll work. Fallen's! What's going on? Fallen's moons. Okay, so we got that. Uh, we need to remove this and place it sideways. Uh, and we need to... Another one's here. Uh, is this the middle? I think this is the middle, right? Yeah, this is the middle, so we'll do... Uh, do it like this. More gravity pillars. Okay. After this wave, we'll uh, we'll go out there and uh, place tornadoes. More enemies on the way. I think this will probably take care of everything. Because if something slips by, there's no way we can make it back in time. They're they're fast moving and everything. But uh, I don't think anything's gonna get through this. Maybe I should place. It, uh, yeah, you know what? I should place these first couple uh, facing the opposite direction, so that way they shoot into the uh, shoot into the kill blocks instead of bouncing away. But we do have the stairs to work off of. They should bounce around the stairs. But the uh, these barricades will help take care of everything and make it all go in here. And they're all spread out a little bit more now because they'll go into this room and kind of goof around a little bit and take their time getting over here. We'll see. If I don't have to do anything at all on this wave and they don't even get close, then we'll, we'll know that we're okay to go and mess around with some tornadoes. And I have the feeling that's the case. That's going to be the case. Tornadoes will help us. The thing is, is this uh, gate over here on the left, uh, you can't place any tornadoes. And the gate on the right, you can't place any tornadoes either. It's only for the top two on this map where you can put tornadoes. Uh, we do that triangle, barricades, the hollow spots. There's... Oh, yeah, it's a good point, actually. That's pretty smart. Uh, actually, I think the acid traps wouldn't be too bad. Um, you need to do acid traps, because the acid traps now have an area of effect. Uh, so they should, assuming that they also have an area of effect range. Uh, do they? I wish I was playing Cygnus so I could tell, safely tell. Yeah, maybe they don't have the range. Okay, so I could replace those two with um, more of the floor scorchers. Yeah, smart thinking. Two percent more lethal, yeah. <laughs> Just a bit. Hmm. saw blades though okay I should have brought a uh, swinging mace I think instead of boom barrel rollers I don't know boom barrel rollers are better and everything else the swinging mace would take care of the uh, armored ogres that's okay 
Here's what we'll do. We'll sell those. Um, we'll sell this. Place that and that there. So that'll bounce around. We're going to switch those two around. Archers? Yeah, they're useful. Uh, if you're playing late game endless, I haven't tested it with the new stuff, but uh, if you're playing late game endless, they probably are not. Um, just due to what they do in late game endless. Okay, that's enough money for five. <laughs> now we're out of money. <laughs> I want to go back in and place another trap or two. Actually, I do need to place these things to uh, upgrade them. So those are going to be... Might be some fire deeds in there. Uh, but our barricades are probably going to be able to handle that. So I'm not I'm not seeing any armored ogres, I don't think. Uh, be that kill box without spamming bosses or scaling up stats. No? Uh, actually, yeah, there is one way. So one of the things I had suggested that they do for endless... It's actually something they've done in Unchained. And in Unchained, what they did was they had enemies. Uh, they would increase the amount and they would also. Um, uh, what is it? They would also uh, increase in health and, and gain speed and stuff. But one of the things that they did that was very unique to Unchained that you'd never saw in 2 was they had a cool uh, a crowd control reduction as the later on you went so it was harder to use slows and stuns and stuff like that if they implemented that in the game then this would be 10 times harder but uh, that's not in the game right now so All right, let's go take a look at those natos over just one shot one shot the decoy <laughs> That's how worthless the trap is. And I need to place a bunch of these, so I'll place one here. And I can maybe place that in a better spot. Uh, so far, I'm just getting through the box, though, the kill box, so that's good. Yes, watch the Wendy's boys. Yeah, they just die as they're, as they're airborne, you know? It's good for the damage it does, but then they're just dead as they fly up in the air. Ah, the windy boys. Right, I want to make sure we don't uh, lose here, so we're going to hop in here. Oh, this way. The last should be up here with some kill boxes. Yeah, it depends on the kill box, but yeah, true. Oh, we didn't make it anywhere. We'll just uh, make sure nothing actually gets through. We'll help our kill box a little bit. Yeah, you're not wrong. It, it just depends on the kill box. And the, the thing about the tornadoes is they're... Um, you, even if you build barricades, you can't tell them where to go. So, you know, because they're so random, I think it's maybe a little bit hard to use. Um, I wish you with a friend that was really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that actually, yeah, that, that worked out really well. Um, I mean, there's, there's more efficient ways of making a kill box than what we did, but yeah. 
Putting it like right at the entrance to a uh, to a little kill corridor. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's do this. Let's do. Let's go and get some uh, some of them coins. Not much, but it's uh, it's enough for one. So let's go ahead and start the wave. Yeah, it's a tornado wall, exactly. Alright. That's all we can fit in that area, so let's go upstairs and take a look at it. If you could control where they went with barricades, then I think those would be for the good. Because then you can like, if you build like your kill box like we did, then you could just make uh, a straight line where it'll follow and freeze everything uh, in its path. But unfortunately, you can't control where it goes. Hey, Skull. That's those that are actually taking quite a bit of damage so far. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, we got some armored ogres, so we're going to have to watch the mini-map. If, uh, if we need to intervene, we will. Uh, it doesn't look like any of them are really getting through, but maybe one of them's turning the corner. Okay, they're good. They are good. We'll block off that side. That way, we all have to go through the tornadoes. And we still gotta watch the mini-map, though. Okay, those are down. I know Armored Ogres have already gone through it, and they've all died, so yeah. It looks good. She's gonna closer to the building to get more orcs in it. Well, now all the orcs are gonna pass through that, so every single orc is gonna be affected. Let's get ourselves... Let's get ourselves front row seat. Oh. Yeah. Place. There we go. Okay. Close enough, I guess. I'm going with it. Um, probably not. Oh, we need to go back. Yeah, fire elementals. Ooh, that one's almost dead. We should make sure we don't die here. Uh, I didn't see any other fire elementals yet, but let's check. Okay, I don't have any, I don't have the barricade, uh, heal. So if that happens, it happens. It would. Like this. Okay. I have, I haven't found any, like, really good practical use for the tornado. It doesn't do anything that other traps do better, and it's also very expensive. Um... That's that's kind of how I feel about all the war scenario traps, though. Is they're all um, they all are okay, but at the end of the day, like just having regular traps are just better. Um, I think ice is probably more useful than rock, but I don't know. It, it depends on what you're trying to do with it, and they both they both can be good. Like it can be a good trap. Don't get me wrong, but uh, really any of the any of the war traps just they kind of lack in a comparison of yeah it is cool they're all cool the ballista is really cool because it can stun so if you have the ballista war bash it's really good uh Danny how are you thanks for the sub man okay yeah that, that kid's about to go that's okay it's the, it's the end it's the last guy
All right, tier three is completed. Okay, so we get, uh, I think we want to go range damage, right? Because we, uh, we didn't use our crossbow much, but we're probably going to start using our crossbow a bit more. Um, or we could do the stone staff and get rid of our ranged weapon. Just use stone staff. No, probably not. I like the greatly increased floor damage, though, but we'll, we'll do the crossbow. We'll do this. Just because in in that instance, we didn't really use it very much, but in the next two, we're probably going to use it, especially if we get two flyer maps. We're going to have to use our crossbow a lot, um, and I want to be able to kill things. It'll improve Tornado, but we're not going to see Tornado again because the next two maps are going to be regular maps. Uh, okay, so... Okay, what do we want to do here? Um, we can make Dynamite Archer stronger and use and have Dynamite every wave and go split stairs. Yeah, we're not going to see him again. The Any uh, war, tra uh, war scenarios. You only get one per scramble. More damage on enemies. There's a lot of archers on cliff side. A lot of archers, but we can do that. Um, I don't think we're gonna have too much problem. Oh, it is Rifflord difficulty too, so we are gonna have sappers. Uh, maybe we don't want to do that. Teach your archers, please. Dynamite archers? Yeah, that's fine. Do that. Uh, I think it adds probably like four or five of them. I don't know what's wrong with my eyeballs, but I, feel like I got something in them. Do archers. Uh, we can reroll some. What do we what do we want to reroll? We can do the movement speed, we can do the mana cost, we can do Zelzador. Um, we can do increased range, weapon, cooldown for floor traps by half, and wall trap damage. We can reroll anything. I kinda wanna reroll one of these buffs. Um these debuffs aren't too bad, but maybe the mana cost. I don't know. So move, what's going on? You guys tell me, uh let me know which one you want me to reroll. I'll re-roll re any of the buffs or the debuffs, it doesn't matter. I'd like to get something for ceilings, because we're playing split stairs, but it's all random, so. So you got, uh, you're on the new Xbox Series X. Oh, I can say that. Turn from bad day to good day, that's awesome. Glad to hear it. I'm thinking we uh, we get rid of the roll the air wall looking thing. All right, so Johnny wants the air wall fusion. We've got uh, increased wall trap damage, um, reduced cooldown of floor by half, uh, increase all range weapon damage. Those are our buffs. I kind of like these debuffs to be honest. Zelzador's fine and he's good for extra money. Um, I don't really care about the mana cost of weapons. Hopefully, it doesn't become an issue. Movement speed is nice because they run through the kill box faster, so you're able to make part-time. And we got dynamite archers as well. But I'm kind of leaning towards the uh, wall trap as well. Either that or the cooldown of floors. Or trap. So these, these two are kind of like the ones I want to re-roll. Hopefully I don't get something stupid like enemies that attack me bleed or whatever. Wall damage. Alright. Wall damage. Wait. Can't reroll it. Oh, why can't I reroll my buffs? Oh. Uh. Mm, well, uh, it looks like I can't reroll buffs. I can only reroll debuffs. I could have sworn I could. Or did something, but I guess not. Um. I don't know. I could have, I could have sworn, but uh, I know you get to pick one of three, so maybe that's why. Maybe like they give you the options, but your debuffs you don't get the option. You actually get one of two. Real extra mana. Okay, we'll do that. Hey, you greatly increase all orcs damage. Look at that. That's actually fine with me as long as it doesn't affect sappers. I'm okay. I'm okay with this. But we'll see. Um, 
Yeah, cool. All right, split stairs. Uh, we took all we took everything off of um the lasers. That's okay because we have a gravity pillar. Uh, yeah, sure. We have gravity pillar. Now we're not necessarily trying to make part time, but they're faster than they usually would be. So we're actually going to put these barricades up here at the top. Yeah, we'll do this here, that there. Okay, I think wave two, if this is Rift Lord, wave two, we get Sappers off left door, and then we get Sappers off right door on wave three. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at those headshots. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. I'm just melting. Oh, I gotta go up there, though. No, don't, don't make it. Don't make it. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. No, Zelzador, no! Oh, crap. Right, they got... Right, Archer's got bonus damage, so, uh, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, is it this side? It's this side. Archers, man. It's freaking archers. Yep. Rift Lord. Alright, Sappers. Let's see what you got. What we also got? No Grenadiers! Oh, come back. That's why we had the enemies go up the other way. Because <laughs> I wasn't going to deal with that. In fact, I guess I could put uh, these these here and flip them backwards. Um, I guess. Okay. Yeah, that choice. <laughs> yeah, I think we maybe... Um, Put a flip trap on that side. A floor scorcher. Auto fire? Do you have good spam finger? Uh, you know it. It is auto fire, but I actually spam finger, um, and I probably shouldn't. But uh, sometimes I'll press and hold. Sometimes I'll just spam click. Because I try and, I try and like, get the, uh... Oh. <laughs> like, I take one hit from anything and I'm dead. That's okay. Alright, Dynamite Archers. You're, like, gonna have to go. Alright, Zelzador, you're gonna have to go now. And all the enemies are on the other side, so that's good for now. Oh, beautiful. Okay, good. Uh, and then we'll do another... Ball Blade... Okay. Why is it staff? It is. I'm pressing and holding. Every weapon except for um except for the scepter of domination is uh is auto fire. I like the range damage stuff. It's good. It's nice. Okay. Let's do that. Alright. Just uh, those guys, okay. That was gonna be a sapper or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down there. I think sappers come out, but I could be wrong at when they come out. Uh, I don't remember exactly. Sever domination? I have no idea. I don't know why they. Uh, I don't know why. 
It's a, uh, what it is is when you, um, press and hold the left mouse button instead of, uh, doing the auto, uh, auto attack. It does, uh, it does like a charge up, and then when you release it, it does like a massive amount of damage in an area. The longer you charge it, so. Instead of an, instead of an attack, it's a charge. Alright, good. I could have sworn we had sappers, so I'm gonna put a couple more of these. This is decoys. Um, we're going to get a handful of those. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. I couldn't remember when they came out, but I knew they did. As long as I don't come up here, then we're okay. And the only thing coming up there is a TNT archer. Looks like it was a PS1 because I pixelated. Came for a second. Yeah, that's probably gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna have to look at my streaming bitrate once I'm done streaming tonight uh, and see if I can do anything about it. All right, we're going to get these up here. So those are gonna go down the stairs. Do Bowman insta kill now? Do they? Yeah, good question. Let me get hit by one. I think it's close. Let me get sh let me get shot. There is one. I don't think there's one left. All right, I'll get I'll get shot uh, next wave. Oh no, they take me down to half. So two two hits and I'm dead. And I don't regen or anything. Uh, okay, so we need. Those and or boom barrels. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. <laughs> um, and there might be another buff for for them specifically. We'll see after this. This is a pretty easy one, so I think we're gonna beat this one. Uh, it's unfortunate that I lost one life in the first. I didn't see it, and that's a, that's a little bit unfortunate. So that's yeah, fine. Just gotta make sure I'm, you know, strafing left to right to avoid any kind of incoming attacks and keep my eye out for archers. Now we're going to do this. We're gonna place a couple of those. A little bit of acid down there, probably some, some, uh, fire as well when they fall down the stairs. They roll until they get to the bottom of the stairs and they stand up and they can get affected by everything. Now, the TNT archers, I think those one hit. <laughs> uh, those have their damage increased and they already have a lot of damage, so pretty sure those ones are pretty crazy. Yeah, go ahead and bring back those ogres, Zelsador, bloody old pal. Uh, okay, cool. And then, yeah, let's do like this. There we go. I almost hit you right after you said you were dodging. That's what strafing does. <laughs> strafing allows you to avoid all that. Put one right above it. So that way they blow up as they are being lifted. At this side. PS one time. Yeah. Like I said, that's probably gonna happen some. But we're not making part time here. Uh that's okay. Because as long as we kill Zelzador, we can't res and I don't know. They are running faster. What I should have done is probably brought those cades down a couple of levels. Uh, I may have struggled a little bit more in the beginning, but I think that would have helped uh, part-time. And it's still not lost, but they're getting stuck. Oh, they're, they're traffic jamming. Look at that. Let me, get a, let me get a trap down here to help them out. 
help sort things out down there. Huh. They don't traffic jam this much, or they didn't back in, uh, back on Stadia, so I wonder if that's a new thing that's going to happen now. That we're going to have to work around. Because they did that back in Coliseum. We play Coliseum. Ow. Wait a second. Uh, okay. <laughs> it looks like he was up here with me. Uh, my favorite trap of all time is the Boom Bar Roller. It's my favorite trap. So I'm going to use it in every single game I ever play for all time. Yeah, they're coming down there. So, well, if it wasn't for that traffic jam, then maybe. Maybe parts on what happened. All right. The dance. The, 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 the dance. Ooh, Dwarven Warhammer. We got headshot. Oh, headshot. Look at that. We already got increased uh, attack for our range. Now we get double headshot. Hey, that's nice. Uh, increased mana region wouldn't be too bad either. But I think we're going to have to go with uh, headshot damage. That, that's freaking sweet. We're going to be shredded through these enemies. Doesn't matter what comes up. All right, cool. Do I want to do Coliseum on a roof floor with a Zelda door? I really don't want to do Coliseum. <laughs> Coliseum was War Mage. If it was like one of the first maps, uh, then I'd say absolutely yes. But uh, I don't know. Um, let's do Coastal Hallways. Uh, I thought we got this map earlier, so it's pretty interesting that we can get the same map uh, twice in a thing. But yeah, we got it at uh, round two because then we replaced Craig. Yeah, I'm thinking Cobalt Sappers as well. Now we can uh, we can redo any of these. Uh, so yeah, we still can't reroll the buffs, but you can reroll debuffs. So we got Zelzador, Orcs. Want me to reroll the Sappers? Dynamite and movement speed. I like movement speed. I kind of wish I had the option to turn that on on regular games sometimes, <laughs> just to make my more abstract kill boxes make part time. We don't have to reroll, but we can. Are you the res person? Yeah. I guess he has. He, yeah, he's not doing too well right now. We'll res him. Oh, Knowles. Okay, great. Fast Knowles, just what I needed. Luckily, their damage isn't increased. Uh, and they're only Knoll Hunters. They're not, they're not uh, Grenadiers. Oh, it, it makes them faster, and they got this movement speed. Look at that. Makes Knoll Hunters faster and increase all enemies' movement speed. Great. Just what I wanted. All right, let's do it. Luckily, I got that melting headshot. So we'll see if that helps. Uh, that here. Oh, I forgot about that. On this map, you can actually put traps like up in the ceiling thing, uh, and they're kind of out of the way. So we're gonna we're actually gonna keep those there, always. Um, and uh, I'm going to put this yeah we'll do that and a saw blade cool we'll be very good no but we'll we'll give it a shot <laughs> well we'll see see what we can do beautiful all right oh oh wait Sappers don't come out on this wave, do they? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're gonna find the rift. Um, these guys, are, are they going up here? Looks like it. Oh crap. No! If you don't get your cades up, then this happens. Uh, so, we're going to get our cades up. <laughs> right now. Oh boy. Um, 
I'm gonna place our kids on this side, and we're gonna go to the other side. Okay. Now our kill box is up over here. Uh, that's where there were sappers. I thought we removed that. Oh no, we removed. Uh, that's right, we removed Zelzador. You're right. You're right. Oh, we didn't get to. Uh, we didn't get to remove the. Uh, we didn't get to remove the other traps on in front of the other door. That's why we're so starved for money right now. I hope they don't walk in there. Um, yeah, I need them to come over here to me. Yeah, they didn't. They went over to the other side. Come on, stop moving so fast, damn it. All right. Dynamite archers, man. Killing. One shot kill. Uh, this is bad, but like, we're not gonna lose. We've got 96, uh, 96 life, so we're fine. It's just tough. There's a lot going on, and, uh, they're running fast. That's, that is kind of killer right now. It's kind of killing us. But once we get this little room built up in here, I think we'll be okay. We need to go protect the other, um, the other side, though, with more cades. Oh, we need to... Hopefully he dies. And, and do we let him in? No, I think we have to let him in. I think we have to. Enemies at the rift. There are people, hunters and sappers everywhere from this. Yeah, that's true. They've all got that thick damage. Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay. And we're going to... Shoot these guys. Because the only place that they're going to come up is right here. So actually we can like make a nice little kill box up here. They don't normally target until they get up the stairs, so that's also good. Beautiful. Okay. Well, we know they're only going to come in from one direction, so we can now focus on that direction. At least one noise. I'm sure. I'm sure he will. <laughs> it adds gnolls to waves, and so whatever wave has gnolls normally would definitely show up. I guess I could have done a health trinket, and then I would have um, been able to survive three shots from archers. But that's okay. I will sell that and that. And here's what we're gonna do. Place them up here. This is a really good spot for him. Okay. I kind of want to go put something in front of that, but I think we might be okay over here if we show up and are able to take care of these guys. Uh, okay, let's uh, get you out of here. I guess the only the only worst thing that could be in this is um, uh, we got we got a leaker. Okay, go we'll take care of them. A couple leakers actually. Uh, is if Knowles uh, also were. Maybe stronger or did more damage instead of uh, the archers. So, it's not the worst thing in the world.
Okay, that can go. That can go downstairs. Kind of wish we kept Zelzador now. <laughs> yeah, those nulls can be a bit of a pain. Alright. Got that now, and we can do a couple of gravity pill. No, gravity push on damage yet. Um, we'll do we'll do a like decoy cade there. All right, a couple of these. The car, there we go. You want to hear a joke? Uh, depends. Yeah, sure. I have an idea for that mode. But, uh, which mode? Cool thing about the saw blades, if you put them at the top of the stairs, is they stay on top of the stairs and they keep shredding everything. It's a really, really good spot for them. Take any rift points. That's weird. I don't know how they thought that. Oh, what barricade? This one? Oh, this one. Legendary buffs. Oh, that. Hey, that would actually be really cool. Yeah. I wonder if they're. I wonder if they're classified at all like that. Oh. Yep. He snuck up behind me. Look at that. Okay, <laughs> I can't count how many died, how many times we've died on this. Especially in Creed. Okay, there we go. Good. Let's get a couple of more saw blades. Man, we died a lot. Times fire rate, um, like, uh, or every in the ogre. Hmm. Yeah, just something kind of like out of this world. I, w I wish they kind of gave a. Uh, if that was the case, I wish it would maybe give like better rewards for beating it or something. Uh, I think it's. I don't know why it's saying that. That's definitely incorrect. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Choose between two legendary buffs. Oh yeah, I, I see. You need know, like a legendary buff and a legendary debuff, like like double or triple the HP and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know. It's an idea, and they do take ideas. I would probably post it on Reddit or the. Uh, um. Oh, there is a guy over there. There is now. He's sneaking in. No, don't go in. Okay. We are still somewhat all right. <laughs> somewhat. Oh, these dynamite archers! How to kill? Yowzers. All right, they're all gonna come up here, and that's good. This is a uh, the wave where they all show up. Now they're tankier than usual. So even uh, even lasers may not may not have taken care of these guys. Oh crap! There's a few more gonna get through. Uh, let's run up this way. Beautiful. 
Damn it. <laughs> We've died what? Like 20 times now? Maybe maybe 30? I don't know. We can do probably uh, boom barrels here, you know? Yep, yeah, there we go. Some more explosion action down there. Bread and trolls with uh, saw blades. Really, really good. Maybe some legendary ones that are situational. Oh, I'm sure I'm dropping frames, actually. I just realized that. I'm probably, like, really dropping some frames here. I don't know where anyone else is. They're over there. Why are you, why are you over there? You're over there. Okay. There we go. A little bit extra damage down here. And, um, I think I need to get some saw blade action. We'll stick with. Get rid of that noise bug. The res boss can. I wish the res boss could res multiple times uh, every tick because he's kind of. That would be good for him, I think. A barricade. It, oh, what the heck? Oh, it's a knoll. He's attacking the cade. I've only, I've only seen that in Coliseum. Huh. Oh, I guess I'll report that then. That's not supposed to be the case. And is also unfortunate. Stuns. Oh, stuns, yeah. Last half as long. I think, uh, I think, like, slow would be half as potent would be cool. Ooh. Okay, we beat it. We got, uh, we lost four lives, but we beat it. We got, okay, we got a bunch of skulls for that. Cool. We got, uh, campaign completed times 10, tier. Completion time, bar is 16. We got 14.05. So that's cool. So I guess the faster you beat it, maybe the more skulls you get, because there's a times two there. Skulls picked up one. Perfect victory is a zero, because we didn't get all that. Untouchable is probably impossible on this mode, I would imagine. Um, and then lifetime minion kills is a zero. Ooh. So we hit play again. We get two options for new ones. Um, okay, let us... That's will be a regular one. You'd be surprised. Slow is really powerful. Um, I'd take slow over stun any day. Even if stun, even if slow was half, and stun was not messed with, I would still take slow. Because it still reduces their speed by some kind of an amount. All right. Um, I've been streaming for a while now. Uh, we could call it here. I do still need to eat. Um, and it's been what? 10 hours now your game is already downloading awesome awesome Miguel good to hear it uh, we could maybe do another one of those scrambles well, let's see we got the uh, we got something unlocked what do we use oh gravity pillar ceiling physical damage here we go legendary buffs and debuffs uh, yeah, I think it would be cool, maybe for like the middle one for the war scenario. If the war scenario was like a special buff and debuff that was like extra potent or extra powerful. Because after the war scenario, you go into Rift Lord difficulty maps, and so having a legendary buff and debuff might be something you could work around. All right, let's try scramble. Let's try to um, let's try to get it without losing any lives. So we can do no grenadiers. And let me know if you want me to reroll no grenadiers. 
all orcs are heavy. There's there's a debuff in there that um I think it does that or something. I don't know. I don't remember actually. But uh do we reroll no grenadiers or do we not? That is the question. We'll just do one more scramble and then I'll head off. And then I'll come back for a couple more hours and then I'll off again for the night. Keep them? Keep them. Alright, seeing as we're not, um... Let's see here. This is War Mage, so there is no... No fire guys, we'll use that down there. I wonder what the skulls on the bottom right are for. It's like loading? That's like the loading skulls? So I'm kind of confused as to why those are there. forgetting to use my uh, lightning storm thing I really need to use it but I am forgetful sometimes there we go you had a way to suggest that to developers well you can just go to the discord page and just mention it or put it on reddit I would maybe wait until like uh, I would maybe wait a couple of weeks they do take note of everything that people say there but there's only one community manager and uh, since today's release day it's probably he's probably got a lot on his plate and he might miss it um, but maybe put it on Reddit or something, you know, as an idea. And he'll, he looks at all of it, just he's probably swamped with working right now. <laughs> I'd imagine. Dan, you wouldn't believe it, man. Uh, won't believe what? Discord or Reddit? Oh, no. Well, get a Discord to Reddit account then. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you can also say it on Twitter, but it's less likely, I think, to probably be seen on Twitter. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Twitter might be okay to do it. Alright, so we do this. Yeah, that's a problem. I don't like it there. Um, do this. What, what happens here? What does that look like? Yeah, good. With this here and this here, this one shoots here, bounces backwards, and kind of stays in this area, and that's what we want. You got OMD3 downloading, and you just got your new Xbox today. Dude, that's awesome. It's awesome. You know, maybe we'll play, uh, maybe actually, what I'll do is, okay, so I'm gonna finish this, I'm gonna hopefully get No Lives Lost, um, and make part-time overall. Uh, and maybe, just maybe, when I come back after eating, uh, taking like a 30, 45 minute break or whatever. Oh crap. Just wasted some mana. Um, then I'll like hop into the co-op lobby and see how co-op works there on the lobby. I'm using a social media site except for YouTube. Alright, it's fine. Uh, YouTube is good, but he, uh, I don't think I don't think YouTube is one of those places that he'd go to check. Um, but you could do put it there and comment on one of their videos or or something, and maybe the scramble video. Comment on the scramble video and see if it goes. But I uh, I really did. I, I'll doubt it. Okay, we've got that there. Bradley, what's going on, Brad? I haven't seen you in a while either. A couple of. Uh, Couple of older subscribers showing up today. Alright, 
headshots here. These guys are really be going to become annoying uh, pretty soon, I think. Because gnolls are just annoying in general. Uh, but hopefully they don't get buffed too much. Work, alright. I'm glad to have you here, man. Yeah. Without, uh, without Reddit or Discord, that's usually where people would go to share ideas and stuff. But without the use of that, um, it's probably not very likely that they would see it, even if it's on the uh, Reddit. Or on, uh, on YouTube, I mean. But that's alright. Okay, so we've got... We can do some more of that. I'm thinking about switching these out for Brimstone, to be honest, because the, the geezers are nice uh, in theory, but I just... Brimstone takes care of runners so much better. Um, and I got everything else to kind of take care of big guys, so... I might switch it out for Brim. I need to upgrade my Brim anyways. So maybe maybe next uh, next wave, or next uh, level. If it's, an, if it's an all fire level, then I won't be able to, but... If it's a regular level, then we can. Especially because it'll be warmish difficulty. So that'll be nice. We know someone else might suggest it. Um, I mean, I would say it's best if you suggest it, so they know who the suggestion's coming from, and they can, I mean, anything I've ever said, they've never asked me anything about it, uh, and I want to think that my stuff is pretty smart, but I don't know. It just kind of sits there, and they look at it eventually. I'm back. They are. Welcome back, man. There we go. 221 part time left. That's pretty crazy. Alright. Okay, so we get increased combo reward coin. I really like that one. With the what's with the new traps. Yeah, man, there was a steam release. That's why we're doing a long stream today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Uh I like reduce the cost of all traps. Um actually that's probably better than going, because then we can start with traps that we need. Let's do that. I am not doing 10 red points lost on death. There is no way I'm doing that. Absolutely no way. Now I can do that and re-roll it, but uh, I don't like either of these. I'm trying to, well, okay, this one's fine. This one's okay. Um, do it, do the, I'm going to die. One of these maps, I'm going to die. Um, I got it. I can play coastal hallways, but I got to re-roll re this. Um, Master's Courtyard's probably easy enough to do. Really, either of these. Um, I probably won't have too many difficulties on either, but I'll run coastal hallways. I'm just going to re-roll this. Dynamite archers now. All right, I had to re-roll it. There's no way. There's because I'm trying to get I'm trying to get 100 rip points at the end of this. Um. That kind of sucks too, though. Yeah, it's always nice. It's an easy map, though. All right. I can spam the crap out of Boombear Rollers. Oh, rather than. Go. Do it. War Mage difficulty, so we will have sappers, but not many of them, I think. I don't even know if we will. I need to start writing this stuff down, because uh, it's only... Nope. Okay. Good. We can 
sell and rebuy in place. How dare you? Yeah, I have to, man. I have to. <laughs> okay. We'll do this up here and uh, do this here. And now we'll just um, run this. Do we go in? Yeah, we can go. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go inwards towards the kill box. Okay, cool. Uh, there are sappers on the map, pretty sure. Yeah, I know there are, but I don't remember if they come out of War Mage. I know Rip Horde gives you quite a few. I think they. I think they do. I think they come in the middle. Come out of the middle. I just. I'm trying to get to 100 Rift points, and you never know what's gonna come next. You know. Oh, I forgot to switch out the brimstone. I'm an idiot. I was meant to do that. Okay, we're gonna need. As long as I can dodge these guys, I think we'll be okay. Um. There we go. Okay. Uh, we'll force that outwards and uh, do that. Yep, you're right, sappers. What I have in full metal? Uh, those guys out cool I have them full metal because it's easier to make a uh, kill boxes and not waste any kind of money um, I've got the three kids up on the top of the stairs if I use the double kids I'd be wasting 300 coin even though I'd be saving about 600 back here um, I'd still be it's not too much different and I don't know I just I want to forget to switch it around I guess Plus, if I need to replace a Kate, it's cheaper to do so, so I don't need as much money in my repertoire. Okay. makes it metal uh the upgrade there's an upgrade for it that does reduce collateral damage is what it says it takes reduced collateral damage um and that's what makes it metal screenshot of this uh, I think it's pretty odd that the loading loading screen skulls are still there but max sauce pre death yeah it's absolutely <laughs> the saw is probably the best trap in the in the game
shifts, which is Cygnus as well. So I could camp, uh, camp the Cades. Yeah, this is one of the ways you would, um, typically... It, okay, TNT archers. That's fine. Uh, right. Cube shot from... What archer? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> no! Okay. We may have to reinforce those, and we can do that. Alrighty. Again, I forgot to use the uh, the lightning amulet. Keep forgetting to do that. All right, here we go with that, 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 that. Okay, we'll put those there, and we will go and heal up on the rift. Gravity pillars didn't do the job I was hoping they would. All right, let's go ahead and move over here. Ah, I failed it. There's a uh, there's a space you can stand over there that makes it uh, pretty difficult for uh, enemy gnolls to target you. So they'll generally just run into the rift at that point. But I am not so lucky. Yeah, we got to uh, place that. Probably just gonna place another layer of kids there. To be honest. We got the money. Nice parkour, yeah. <laughs> there is a way to get up into this area. Like, yeah, there we go. You stand right here, and then uh, Nulls won't target you. You can get to it from the top as well. Top side. Okay. Uh, let's get this. Nope. Uh, we're going to do... I mean, should I even try? Stop them? Probably not, right? Cool. Nice parkour. Hey, skull! Oh, I have died. And now I am alive. We ha I haven't even shown you the, the masterful power of the dart spitter yet. That thing is... Dart spitter's crazy, dude. <laughs> This ceiling with a bunch of dart spitters would just be absolutely insane. Okay, so... Go on there, and here. Doing that. Oh, what? That's so much money. Doesn't even bother me. Uh, are the barrel dispensers really that good? They are pretty sick. I like them anyways. That only two words worth it. Yes. <laughs> See, this is why I didn't want to have uh, ten, or every time I lose life, I get reduction of ten rift points because that would just be too much. They're really cool because you can chain them up, but other traps will also activate them, or will also uh, explode the barrels, and they just do a ton of damage. They can clear out an entire room. If you have like a, a bunch of people sitting in a room, you hit one chain reaction, it's gonna explode everything. I'm 
looking for sappers, caught the gnolls. <laughs> no, I was, I was aiming for the gnolls. Um, oh, are you talking about the gravity pillar? Yeah, that's true. I put them there to take care of the sappers, but I guess they take care of gnolls. Cool. Dr. Highway is finished. Uh, we don't like any of these. I'm not going to use any of this. Crap, I wish I could reroll. I don't want to cheese a scepter. I don't even have the alchemist unlocked. Does the acid increase the boom barrel damage? Uh, that depends if explosion is counted as physical damage. Then yes. Otherwise, probably not. But I don't know. It's a good question, though. I am at this point not sure if... Do jar? Alright, uh, okay. I'm not going to use any of these, so it doesn't really matter which one I choose, but jar isn't jar isn't too bad. But yeah, it really depends if uh, explosion damage is considered as physical or not. I think it is, but I don't know. It wasn't something that was easy to test from earlier. Okay. Uh, uh. Hmm. Canyon Keep or Order Temple. They're both actually fairly easy. I've already done Order Temple earlier today. We haven't done Canyon Keep officially yet. Does player movement speed matter? I don't think it does. Which one do you guys want to see? The map? Canyon Keep or Order Temple? I did Order Temple earlier in the stream uh, as part of the story mode to complete it. Oh, I'm going to reroll that immune to physical. There's no way I'm going to do this without physical. Like... One of the other elements, sure, but physical, nah, no, 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 no. I have to, I have to have physical damage. Can you? Okay. Now we can reroll one of these debuffs if you think. Um, I wish I could reroll jars, but we can reroll Knolls, TNT archers, or reduce player movement speed. Any of those that you want to uh, reroll, we can reroll. Otherwise, we can keep them. Let's reduce movement speed. Adds dynamite archers, makes them stronger. Adds no grenadiers and makes them stronger. And we want to change reroll none. Okay. Let's see, we're gonna we're gonna do Warwick, and we're gonna get him. We're gonna buy that uh, skin. That way we can teleport and get rid of that. Uh, get over that movement speed debuff. Let's see what else we brought. Brimstone. Yeah, we're gonna bring brimstone this time. And we might look at bringing ceiling lasers. I don't know yet. We could do deep freeze instead. Uh, grinders are good here. So a snow cannon is probably good here. Actually, yeah. Snow cannon is probably really good. Okay. Unfortunately, war traps do not do anything good here. So as much as I would like to use a tornado, um, all of the flyers that come from the center, they stay, like, in the center. Uh, so I don't think we're going to be doing that. But with enough gravity pillars, maybe it'll be worth it. I kind of want to do lasers instead. Lasers are kind of meant for this wave, or for this, uh, for this place. I do need to place a few more of these, I think. So we can go outside and play some later. And if we if we get to the last wave, we can go out and maybe do some tornadoes as well. But for the first part, we're not going to want to do that. Let's look at this. We've got the lasers. Okay, we want the brim, so we're going to switch out for brim. Oh, can we... Aw, oh, damn. I was thinking maybe we could put the arcane dragon at, the, at one end and and uh, that would look really cool and uh, be very effective. But that's not the case. This is the third of the... Of the five flyer levels, it's the middle flyer level. Um, so we've already got fire, so we don't want to bring we don't want to bring floor scorcher. Uh, if this is on Rift Lord, and I think it still gets, I think it still gets uh, yeah, some fire guys. Where's it from? It's from the Drastics DLC, which well, it's not a DLC, but it it was a DLC. The Drastic Steps. 
uh, portion of the game. So it's after you beat the main story mode, which is 18 maps. After you beat those, you then get the drastic steps, which is an additional five maps. The special thing about these five maps is they all have flyers. And this is the Chromatica boss, and I'll show you him. He is right here. Chromatica. Comes out on the last wave. Yes, he is the flyer boss. This sappers come out here, but I don't ever remember seeing them. Well, it's it's I say it's DLC, it's actually not. It's part of the game. It's part of the game. But in Stadia, it was a DLC. But right now it's actually part of the official release of the game. So there's nothing there's nothing extra that you have to do to get it. It comes with it, but hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Kind of confused myself almost. Um Take out the flyers. Uh, I think we're okay with this. Because this will reach all the way down to the ground. These are good for ground, ground, ground. Um, maybe we get rid of this and do chargers. We haven't done chargers yet, so we can upgrade those after we use them for a while. If you use a war trap, would war traps on top of it be close enough to hit flyers? Uh, it would, yeah, but we can't place anything inside here. This is where the majority of flyers come out of. Uh, they come out of the other two sides, and I can show you what that looks like. Um, we can place floor traps here, and they'll these floor traps will affect the flyers because they fly low enough. Uh, other than that, you'd have to place them up here. And then... Yeah, maybe. Uh, if we get go breaks, I'll place it here, and I'll see what the, what the uh, little ghosts or wisps do. Um, to see that, but generally people will fill this place with grinders or saw blades. Um, flyers will come in and they'll die to these corridors. What I like to do is I like to let them combine all up here. And this is where I start my kill box. Like this. Then I start my uh, floor traps up here. I kind of wish I had an arcane brim, but I think this will be fine. And then for the rest of the flyers on this side. Or I guess. Yeah, like this. Then... More of them. And this, uh, this for the most part gets them all. But what we can do is we can put these horizontally. This can only go on the ceiling. That way they can't slip through the cracks. Ready. The first two waves, I think, is just flyers only through the middle. Flyers. Uh, and then right gate opens, then left gate opens, then everyone comes in the end. Now, Stone Staff insta kills these guys, so they're not too bad. Ah, eh, let me just jump over it. No. We just hide behind this uh, corner here and uh, go zoop. Yeah, almost. You can almost AFK because of them. I mean, you're going to have uh, there's the flyers. Some of the flyers are going to be immune to it. Um, so you kind of have to have other traps to take care of the electric flyers. Uh, okay, so it comes out of the side here first, so we're gonna wall this off. Uh, actually, we're gonna wall the up here off. Alright. 
And the other side, of course. Or I forget. What that does is it forces all of the enemies to walk over here. Okay. And then we've got this for the ceiling section. And we're just gonna kill everything in here. There are gonna be some flyers that come out, but every every flyer should be affected by these stuff up here. And then we're gonna do the same floor combination. We're gonna have um, horizontal saw blade launchers with uh, chargers on top. Energy Defenders also has immunities, but it's more of an RNG of uh, what enemy enemy will have one. Ah. Yeah, here the only um, the only electric immune enemies are the flyers, and the only ice immune enemy are flyers right now. So. Uh, and the only acid immunities are flyers. So they've got the immunities, but they're also pretty weak. And then you've got fire and... Uh, yeah, uh, fire and regular stuff. Yeah, those bile bats are taken care of, so that's good. Hopefully we don't have to get involved up there, up above us. Oh, trying to get that laid up correctly. Is this map only flash? Yep. Yeah. Nope. Not only flyers. We break out of that gate over there on the right, and there's also a left side. So far, so good. Okay. New form of bullying. <laughs> Yeah, the one concern I have is that the um, is the flyers becoming uh, or the electric flyers getting a little bit too far in the brimstone that I have up there, not being able to take care of them. That's really the only concern I have with this. Okay, we did bring the gravity pillars. We could put them in the back, actually. We can use the gravity pillars just a little bit of extra ins assurance or insurance. And nothing slips by. You move around flyers or traps. Uh, you can lift them with the gravity pillar. You can stun them with the pounder, and if you stun them, they insta kill uh, or they insta die. Um, you can hit them with the spike wall, a maker. I don't know if you can use wind belt on them, actually. But yeah, you can you can move them around. You can push them around. The boss you cannot push around. You actually you can't stone or freeze the boss either. Uh, you have to use distraction or just get really good at headshots. Okay. Yeah, we got the fire fiends. It's what I was afraid you did. That's okay though. They should have essentially died to all of this electricity anyways. Because the tar is extra slow on tar, so. That's good. So yeah, we'll do some gravity pillars up here. And that should catch anything if fire guys start making it through, or if uh, flyers start making it through, should catch them. So you stun fire and skill flyers. Yep. If you stun them, it ends the kills. Or if you stone or freeze. 
Those also insta kill flyers. Uh, Gravity Pillar doesn't stun, but it does lift them up. And basically what that does is uh, it, it they take damage from it, and flyers don't have a lot of health, so a couple of Gravity Pillars, maybe one Gravity Pillar with the damage upgrade will, will kill them. Um, but on top of that, they they are stuck in that in that zone for the duration of the gravity pillar. And it does lift them up to the top. It just they'll just continue flying after after they get sucked up. Okay. Uh, the special upgrades is either it A does physical damage as it lifts them up, which is 16 damage per second. It's actually weaker than the lasers. The lasers do 20 damage per second, and it's not physical. Um, so there's 16 damage of physical per second, or it lifts, the lift duration increases. I think it's like from 6 seconds to 10 seconds or something like that. It's on the wiki. All of, uh, all the numbers are on the wiki. Okay, so now we get both sides. Uh, last time we got left, uh, before that we got right, before that we got centered, but now we get both sides. And I think on the last two waves, we'll get, on five and six, we'll get the all three gates. I keep remembering to, keep forgetting to use my trinket. <laughs> Flyers deal with decoys. They probably just target them and attack them. Most likely. Okay, so you can see the sh when the shield pops up, that means whatever it is is immune to that kind of damage. Ah, so that Hellbat was immune to the fire damage up there, which means if Hellbats are making it that far, I think we're going to have to beef up this back area. You know, something you can do on this map is use Ballista back here, and those work pretty well against them. Uh, I have the damage upgrade. The damage uh, will add an extra combo point, uh, whereas the lift duration won't. So, I usually run damage uh, upgrade on it. good we are doing just fine i think it's a little bit slower of getting uh getting everything out but uh we still might be able to make part time here so that's good a little bit more in the wall traps matter of fact we we'll probably put another one of those there yeah they're essentially infinite combo yeah you either get fire, which does like an initial fire damage and then burns, or you get electric, which does uh, little shocks and um, area of effect damage when something dies. Uh, stone staff, a little OP or very OP. I think it's very OP, but I think they nerfed it a little bit because they increased the mana cost. Which they needed to because it was that good. <laughs> um, so I'm I'm totally cool with them increasing the mana cost there. All right, let's start the next wave as soon as we can. Put that in there. You know I don't want to use a tornado here. I was thinking about doing it, but I don't want to um, take up any more uh, part time because we're already a little bit 
a little bit low on part time, I think. So, all right, let's go ahead and put some lasers up here. We can do something like this to kind of help some of those guys die a little bit quicker. We could probably try this out too. Press saw blades to bounce around in there to maybe kill some of them. Let's we'll see how it works on these guys. Uh, it's not, yeah, okay. It, it'll kill some of them, so that's what we'll do. We'll put some saw blades up there on those entrances. Uh, your favorite trap, and if it isn't one of the new ones, what is your favorite trap now? Um, the boom bear roller is now my favorite trap, and always has been. But it, always ha it hasn't always been in the game. When the lasers came out, I thought they were really good, and I thought the saw blades sucked. These, these things. But I have proven myself wrong with that. Uh, <laughs> they're actually broken, and they still are. Um... Before the Drastics DLC, which included the saw blade launcher and the um, laser beams, though, I would have to say the uh, wall charger or the butterfly trap. Those are really good. Uh, and the spike wall is really good. So, one of those three. They were just really easy to use in a lot of different situations. So, it became one of my favorite traps. Lasers are still great. Uh, you know, they are pretty good. One of the problems with uh, lasers and the saw blades is that they kill things too quickly. And you can kind of lose your combos. Alright. Do that on both sides. Uh, you can lose combos if things die outside of a kill box. Um, so, they're not good for that reason, but otherwise, yeah. They have nerfed the uh, lasers a little bit by making them more expensive. But they're still spammable enough. Did a few overkill. <laughs> I probably did say we're gonna put up a few lasers. Okay, boss level. Let's do it. Got a lot of money here. It's good. All right, let's get. gonna have to do got 10 minutes I think we're okay actually I think we're okay on time uh, Chromatico will be coming out of here he comes out like towards the later end of the wave stalls oh you think so yeah nothing's even getting past back here to like trigger them so I think they're okay now these wall chargers will reach out to about here and about here so anything coming down the straight center is not going to be affected by them but I guess I could do this now they get pushed to one side or the other. Yeah, hopefully the saw blades up in those uh, spots will help this. Uh, yeah. I agree. I wish the lasers weren't quite so uh, visually invasive. They're kind of hard to look at, and they have this, like, uh humming noise that they that they do and, and yeah I just wish they were a little bit easier to look at are you guys coming over here okay so here's what I'm gonna do run up here and I guess he won't jump in but the other guy will jump in the rift and that will allow me to do this that there all right let's go take care of chromatic get it where are you at here you are
Okay. We don't have movement speed, so it's a little bit harder to dodge stuff. Um, so we're gonna run up here. And again. But we can bait him and kill him up there. There we go. Easy. Can I do co-op with my friends? If you're on the same uh, platform, yes. If you're on pl PlayStation, you can only do PlayStation. Xbox can meet up with Xbox, and um, Steam can meet up with Steam. Stadia can meet up with Stadia, but there's no cross-platform yet. Uh, they said they're going to look into it, but it's probably not going to be for a while. Uh, my favorite trap on Looks Alone is a swinging mace with the fire upgrade. Although, they did upgrade the tar, and the tar looks pretty cool now. But I would say the swinging mace with the fire upgrade, which we still need to still need to get the swinging mace up there. Cool. The rift remains protected. All right, two more maps. Let's do it. So far, so good. Uh, hmm. Oh, headshots restore mana. That's pretty neat. Huh. So it's going to be between reduced cooldown of all traps or headshots for storm mana. Here's the dice tornado. You like it that much, huh? It's cool. I wish I had a fire tornado. That'd be really neat. Or if it like it went over a brimstone, it became a fire tornado. Right. That'd be pretty cool, but maybe a little bit on the uh, CD. Okay. So the D uses the stone staff a lot. Alrighty. Now, which which map do we play? I'm cool with either map, really. Um, and we can reroll one of the debuffs as well, so if we want to do that, we can do that. Um, so you guys choose Aqueducts or Cliffside. Aqueducts uh, increase very heavy enemy health, which is Ogre Plus. Cliffside increases all enemies' damage. It's going to be Rift Lord difficulty, so... Yeah, um, they're both going to be tough. Aqueducts. You got it. Okay. Let me get these lasers to be fire. Okay. And do we want to then reroll it? Okay. Hey, that's fine with me. Slightly or significant. Oh, significantly. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We do use barricades here, so we're not going to use double bear. Oh, maybe we should use double now. So we use a double cades. Nah, we'll use single. We're, we're good using single cades. I played this on Illus and I know how to build it, but it there's fire elementals. Sappers. And if they leak in, we're going to have to, I think we're going to have to play Cygnus. Um, I think so. gonna have to be able to rest so that way we can oh you're right oh you're right yeah there's also dynamite archers and no grenadiers yeah we're gonna have to go Cygnus and hope that they just uh yeah okay I guess we can jump into the middle section and then no grenadiers won't attack us because they'll they won't be able to hit us and then we can sleep and that'll force dynamite archers to not attack us either but that means we're not gonna be able to help our kill box so yeah great <laughs> okay it's not destroyed i i kind of know what to do here um i played that this is an endless map and i played it on endless and you know enemies become stronger and stuff on endless so and the fact that these are cheaper now is good oh uh they upgraded the visualization of these lasers as well which is pretty dope so basically what we're going to do is on Rift Lord only fire elementals come out of the right side. Um, so we're gonna cade around the front of the rift and a cade over here into this room. We're gonna cade all the way up and up right here, and this is where it's gonna end. And then the damage starts, damage will be all along the inside of this wall. What that does is it allows the fire elemental to walk up to here. And then, I'm, we're not going to make part-time on this, but I think we have enough time overall that we've saved. 
uh, that will be okay. So anyways, the uh, fire elemental is going to walk up here, die up here, and that's going to remove the cades here, and we'll just replace them. So hopefully that's good enough. Uh, we'll see. All right. Let's play. I don't know. How, I don't know how much slightly reduced is. So. Oh god, it slightly reduces the door too. All right, go for it, man. They shot man, it would, wouldn't have been too bad either. But cooldown's probably really good. It's going to be really good here soon. to leave go get our kill box going and getting ready ah we had sappers already eh Good. There we go. And sit here. Now the rift here does give us a little bit of lightning damage, so that's cool. Um, hopefully we are okay here. I accidentally put the saw blade on the wrong side, so that's unfortunate. Okay. And sitting us there. It's really when the other gate opens that's when we're gonna have a huge issue. But we're okay here, so that's good. Welcome back. Okay. Do this, 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 this. And uh, more lasers. Cool. Um, you know, this is Rift Lord difficulty, and I'm pretty surprised that uh, there's sappers here. Are the sappers? No, they're TNT archers? Okay. Pretty surprised that the center didn't open. I could have sworn the center opened like the first things first on uh on endless. So I don't know. Uh how do I not need to go to the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I used to work ten hour shifts. I used to work four ten hour shifts when I worked at T Mobile not long ago. I would just sit in my, I would sit in my computer and just, just I don't know. I just never had, um, good question. <laughs> I don't know. Now we rest here. Good. He stops attacking. I guess I'm used to it. I have a question. My PlayStation's, uh, in my Play Store, it's saying one player, those two player. Your Play Store. Uh, if you do, you have the game. Did you get into the game and and try and select co-op? Uh, the game is two-player though. You don't have friends. That's why. Yeah, that could be why as well. You don't have any friends. I mean, that's yeah. okay. We are so far good, and I'm glad. Working out. Uh, the only thing we really do need to worry about is sappers. So, what we're gonna do now is take this opportunity to go down and not do anything down there because we have flyers and oh, I can't I'm too slow to reach it <laughs> that's unfortunate uh, okay so let's do this uh, can I get it can I get it okay this is gonna be tough so they're not going down the center I thought they used I thought they did um, at some point uh, they ended up doing that okay so we're gonna have to fight the Hellbats, which is uh, which is okay. We got Stone Staff, and we can do uh, Saw Blade Launcher. Oh, 
Oh my god, no, there's that's that's freaking crazy. One attack? Oh man. <laughs> what attack? Come on. Okay, we'll do uh, we don't have yeah, we just got regular stuff there. So we'll do some gravity pillars. Uh Mystic Music, how are you doing? Uh and you're drinking some sparkling stuff. Good, good. Stay hydrated, as they say. Uh, so far, no. Okay, good. Nothing bad. So we can focus on Hellbats for now. Not too bad, anyways. Okay. So we're going to help take care of them. All the flyers are done. That's good. Okay. Literally one attack. <laughs> um, okay, we're good. Okay, thank you. Uh, no, we're not. I think we're gonna get a game. I played in Chain back in the day. By the way, greetings from Germany. Thanks. Um, I also played Unchained and I loved Unchained. Um, yeah, doing good. And you look more OP when you started. Oh, Cyclops Mage. Yeah. Well, this time we're, uh, okay. Here we go. At least they're not, like, insta-killing me or whatever. We're hitting the Cades. One hit from the Cyclops Mage on the Cades, and then we're dead. Or then the Cades are gone anyways. All right, that's still a bug. I had mentioned that in my Cygnus video, I think. Okay, what we want to do here is pump a bunch of that stuff. Maybe we do pillars uh, instead of the lasers at the back. I don't know. This, this is doing okay. So we got Sapper's bottom left, but they're all going to get hit by all of the... Uh, they all blew up already, or they should have. I hope they did. So I think I made them. Yeah. All the Sapper's blew up on the left. So I don't think Sapper's come out of the right, but we can go ahead and put some lasers over there just in case. Those guys are good. No explodey boys. All right. Yeah, we're pretty much uh, we're pretty much solid for this wave. I think America is cooler, but also more dangerous. Depends on where you're at. Um, I think the media really tries to encompass all of the negative, um, but most of the time it's probably just a, just generally fine. I mean. I've lived in... I'm almost 30 years old, and I don't think I've ever... Oh, this is the last wave. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a gunfight or a gunshot. Heard a gunshot. And I live in, I live in Kansas City, so it's not like there's not anybody here. Made it. I wasn't sure we'd make part time with this uh, setup. Yeah, the man that starts with the D and with the B. Throwing down this country in chaos. We do reduce cooldown of wall traps, which we already have reduction of cooldown, so this is going to reduce it even more. That's pretty cool. Uh, crossbow damage is doubled. We use the crossbow. And empty rift. We don't want to use the empty rift although i thought about using it at some point but all right do we do crossbow damage or do we do reduce cooldown of walls i got one more map i have to play and then that's uh and then it ends the uh the thing there cd okay go for the cd reduce yeah Okay, uh, hmm. Hmm.
Mm. Our city. Ever heard or been near a gunshot? Lightning strike a week ago. Sound like a gunfire. Yeah. Yeah, it really just depends on where you go. Um, and the media, they really want to find those kinds of stories. You want to play Coliseum? Brad, come on, man. Brad. I can't do it with I can't do it with reduced barricade health. Um God. Listen, I think Unchained is better, um, but in its own way. You know, it's a it's a different game overall. Brad, can I convince you to let me play Coastal Hallways here? Can I can I convince you for that? I'm gonna lose I'm gonna lose rift points on Coliseum. I already know it. The ultimate challenge. <laughs> oh, but Brad, listen, listen, listen. I already played one of these scrambles and I lost like four lives. Sure, okay, good. <laughs> um if I didn't have to deal dynamite and slow and barricade reduction. Johnny, 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 listen, listen, listen. Don't you want to see what it's like if I get a perfect score? What that looks like? Because if I do call Seam, I'm not getting a perfect score. I already know that. It's just not going to be possible. And don't, don't you want to see what it looks like? I have a perfect score. I'll see him looking kind of nice. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, listen. I'm cool with mountain trolls. Um... It looks like we got three for Coliseum and one for, for Coastal Hallways, so. It's an annoying map. It's a difficult map. It's the hardest map there is, other than Slagfield, in my opinion. Slagfield's a flyer map. Similar to Coliseum, you kind of see everything. Okay, we have to reroll barricades if we do Coliseum. I really don't like the fact that I have more dynamite archers and movement speed reduction as well. But, yeah, I have to reroll barricades. There's no way I can beat Calcium without that. Increase the cost of ceiling traps. See, oh, that's fine. I don't even use ceiling traps here. Okay, word up. I dig it. I'm cool with the reroll. I love the reroll, actually. All right, we're going to play Vorwick so we can teleport to get away or get around the uh, movement speed reduction. Um, We got really nice wall traps. We got cheap traps. And nice wall trap. So let's take a look. We could do a bunch of arcane dragons. I thought about doing that. Um, cooldown is decreased by quite a bit. We also have the. Let's get rid of this. Sawblade launcher actually is a wall trap, right? Yeah. So we're going to bring that. Oops. I didn't click that button. Yeah. Best in the life. Uh, we're going to get rid of the magic crossbow upgrades since we use the expo now. Or magic longbones since we now use the uh, crossbow. Okay, we got spike wall. Um, probably not going to use. We're going to refund this item because can't use it here. I was thinking wall charger, but, you know, here. We'll, we'll remove it by a second as well. well. We'll do the traps passively reset faster by one second. Mm, actually, maybe we should do heals barricades. We'll do that. We'll do heals barricades. Um, because we're gonna need to, we're gonna need it. <laughs> See, there's a deep freeze. This one, this one would be pretty good to use too. But I may just go around spamming a whole bunch of saw blade launch. Um, you know we can make the floor scorcher a wall trap too. We also got air walls. Air walls are really good. We're gonna refund auto ballista. Let's let's pump some money into air walls here. Uh, we'll go for Pierce. We got an idea of what to do with them. Actually, we got brimstone. Now we can do reduced cooldown or arcane damage. That's good. Um. Just trying to like kind of think about the waves. So we're gonna have sappers come out of the left hand side, right, on the top. Normally, I would use ceiling lasers, but those have been increased in cost. Uh, Discord has a movie trailer. 
So the acid upgrade for deep freeze. Not sure why someone would do that. I have no idea. <laughs> I agree. I, I, I think the the ice with the range is just sweet. Do you have any starter tips? Um, yeah, if you are struggling and you don't have the stone staff, I would get the stone staff and upgrade it as soon as possible and get the unique upgrade for... Uh, for the increased secondary attack range. And uh, then use the right mouse button for the stone staff and use the left mouse button for your other weapon of choice, either blunderbuss or whatever. Um, and I would also say it's a good idea just to beat the game in general so you can have access to the crossbow and... Uh, well, the crossbow is really all you need. Um, and that helps you with uh, headshot damage as well. And you get the other heroes and characters that you can go back and play on Rift Lord. So you can beat the whole thing on Apprentice. And then there you go. Um, if you look at my map video I did, I kind of, for each map, I give a little bit of an overview for how to set up traps to beat it on the more difficult ones. Um, and then I have my trap overview. But I, that was before any of this new stuff. It was last week. Okay, so do we do Acid Geyser? Oh, you know, we'll do Brimstone with uh, Arcane, and we won't use Acid Geyser. Yeah. We could do Boom Barrels, and I wonder if that'll be even cheaper. Oh, no. Or even uh, faster. Um. You know, let's go ahead and open up the Empty Rift, and we may end up using this as well. We may end up using the Empty Rift. Grinders will be good here. Renders are always good, but not the best. Butterflies are okay. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's hop in. Kind of sleepy, Johnny. Well, the last scramble we're going to do, then I'm going to take a break and eat some food, probably 45 minutes, and I'll be back on to do some co-op for the rest of the night until uh, the girlfriend gets home. So, Okay, so we're not bringing lasers, right? We're not going to do those either. Got tar. Uh, let's take a look at the arcane dragon here. Just see how quickly it, uh, see how quickly it triggers. Hey, that's pretty fast. That's, uh, that's pretty frequent. Look at the saw blade launcher, though. Yeah, that's also pretty fast. There's so many fish we just chat, yep. So, I think we're gonna sit with the arrow wall, um, and we're gonna do wall freeze with saw blade launcher. And yeah, I think we're gonna have to do the barricade heal as well. So I think this is this is the combo we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna use the arrow wall for this upper area. We're gonna place them in here to take care of some of the sappers. Hopefully, it takes care of most of them. That way, we don't have to worry about them going down there. Um, yeah, let's get this going. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Okay. I mean, it's all cheap. But we do have to sell it right away, so we're gonna kind of do something minimalistic. So that way we can sell this stuff right away to go down there and do some stuff. Um, matter of fact, we can go ahead and maybe set some of it up. There we go. Uh, let's see. I'm playing the game on... PS4, the game gave me some nostalgia. Sorry, my bad. Fine. Uh, the game gives you nostalgia. Yeah, it's good. I mean, there is. If you wanted to play on chain, there is an offline version that there that some people are working on. Oh, I forgot we had dynamite archers and stuff. Yeah, that's okay. I think we'll still be all right. I should have put the I should have put the barricades on the other side, I think. Got to get out of there. There we go. Yeah, these these saw blades are just going to be wrecking everything. 
They are on such a low cooldown. It is absolutely crazy. Celsius, so I couldn't see. I couldn't see. Okay, we're good. We're, we're okay, I guess I should say. Not good. But we can make this work. Uh, Alright, we're going to do that there. We're going to do a bunch of these. And a bunch of these. Probably not going to be able to read chat too much. Um, just let you know. This freaking guy. All right. Jeez. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and pop our trap reset trinket to heal those cades. Okay. And close. There we go. Oh god. Grant. Uh, that was close. Uh, uh, close to not being good. Oh, st oh my Jesus. I hate that bug so much, and that's even worse that it's a no grenadier. Oh, dynamite archers. Uh, come on. Yeah. There's some kind of a bug where the, where the no grenadiers would, like, not be able to figure out where you are. And so they'll attack Cades just randomly instead. And it's stupid, but it's a thing. That's one of the things that makes us challenging. The wall trap cooldown thing is really helping us out here. Like, really helping us out. Should help against a lot of those, um, a lot of those uh, sappers. Um, question. It's a random question uh, for Germany. Okay, cool. Uh, where are they coming from? Coming from underneath. I mean, yeah, that's fine with me. They just want to walk right in the rift. That's okay with me. <laughs> okay, take care of the dynamite archers. Just one more, and he's dead. Good. All right, that's good. This wave went. This wave went very well. Very well. Very well. Still not sure if we're going to make this part-time right away, but I'm hoping we are.
Uh, sappers up there, yeah. We put some stuff there to take care of them, so that's good. They got to take care of. Um, they can delete your traps. They, uh, I, I think you can actually, hang on, let me check. I think you can turn that off. Gameplay. Uh, sprint camera, gore, loadout. Uh, okay, never mind. I thought you could turn that off, but maybe that was just unchained. Where you could turn off your allies selling your traps. I mean, I'm assuming that people play to, like, win, you know? So... I'm hoping that that went swimmingly. Okay, those kids are fine. Iron Mine Archer. Okay, we got no Grenadiers uh, decided to attack the kids again. I just popped it as soon as I died, so that's good. Alright. We are so far okay. And I think this, uh, this whole wall space over here is going to be just fine. So I've got nothing to worry about over there. Let's go ahead and put some saw blade launchers over on this side. So that way we can clear these guys out and make part time. Um, we're going to do some air walls there. change anything ah uh, yes this put the ball blade there okay More enemies on the way. we've got no sappers this wave yet that's good They're coming from the bottom again can't afford to lose any of that uh barricade stuff Crap. Okay, we kind of need to stay up here for a second. Um, all right, we're good there. We're good. Ooh. Hardcore focusing right now. Well, I'm a little tired, but also hungry and uh, well focused. Okay. Good. Kids there. Another Cade here. And oh there is there are sappers that run out to the from the right. So we need to put that Cade there. Okay, soon. Put that Cade there for now. Yeah. We do need to save a little bit of money, but I think we'll have enough for at least one Cade, should we need it. Man, these guys are coming from downstairs. That's rough, dude. Break. I'm about to take a break if you want to. Um... Okay, yeah, let's do that. That's a freeze. freeze. Okay, they're damaging that Cade and they all died. They're good. Um, so I won't be streaming for too much longer. Alright, let's put it there. There we go. I don't think anyone's going over there, but we can put a decoy over there. Forgot I had decoys. 3 a.m. Oh, wow. I 
I maybe should have popped that. Um, that might have been a mistake. Pop that there. All the kids over here are good, so let's go ahead and put down. These kids are fine. Alright, that's good. I'll put Arcade here. Attacking the kid again. Alright. That's it is what it is. Alright, I think we're gonna make it. Uh it's wave eight to nine and so far we're okay. Haven't really had too many too many issues. Um all those kids are healthy, so I am not expecting that to be a problem. Looks like Looks like the firelings are are far enough into it where they're pathing far away, so that's good. I didn't need to sell that, but that's okay. Um, I don't really know what to do there. Okay, wave nine of nine. We have a hundred life points remaining. So, yeah, so far we're okay. We've still got a charge on our trap reset trinket. That's good. Dynamite Archer's dead. We just need to make sure we take care of these no grenadiers before they... Uh, okay. As I say, uh, crap. No, we're fine. What cade, what cade, what cade? Is it over here? Nope. Well, that one is almost down. I have to watch it. I think, uh, without the no grenadiers, I think we're okay with everything else. So we're just gonna have to watch this cade here. I'm in America, uh, in Central America. And... Uh, Kansas, basically, it's um, 8.30. So, East Coast, 9.30, West Coast, uh, 6.30. Depends on where in America. Okay. Okay, we're good. I think. I like a glove. Yeah, I think that's one thing that people don't realize about America is it it takes like eight hours for somebody to get from one country to another in Europe, but it takes eight hours for us to get from one state to another. <laughs> so it can, anyways, depending on the direction of travel. It's like our states are some of our states are the biggest countries, some of them missed uh bigger. Um we did it. We did it perfect. Let's see what happens. We did it perfect. I can't believe that. That's something else. I am just staring at it. Okay. Uh, I don't know. We got uh, 4.7 4. million score. I don't know what that means. Let's get a full leaderboard. Oh, no way. We got second so far. Juice Bags is up there at 8. Probably built a, built a trap loadout specifically for combos. Hey, that's pretty cool. Or 6.34. Yeah, for West, right? Aim and PM. Good question. That is a good question. Yeah. <laughs> Some people do use military time. They'll say like 0900 or... 
1300 or whatever, but mo I think generally in America they use AMPM. Uh, and I wonder if that has to do with our, um, our daylight savings. I know that not all European countries have daylight savings. All right, Brad, thanks for stopping by. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the stream here. We're going to continue on in a moment, but it's not going to be... Uh, we're just going to play co-op, and we're just going to go into the general queue for co-op and see if anybody there is in a general queue there. See how that works. So, Brad, you take care. Thanks for joining. Um, and I'll be streaming tomorrow and Sunday if you're uh, if you're available to stop by uh, tomorrow and Sunday. So. All right, guys, I will end the stream now. I'll be back in probably about 45 minutes to do maybe about an hour or so of, um, of gameplay co-op uh, with whoever's available for co-op, and I'll catch you guys then. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, I'll see you guys in